I drive a big Cadillac. <laughs> Well, only one guy can win the $5,000 grand prize from GoldenPalace.net. I'm going to uh, turn my attention now to a gentleman named Bigfoot. Yeah. How are you, my... Bigfoot? I'm fine. Well, we certainly need a Bigfoot in the uh, whack pack, I'll tell Why you that. Why is he Bigfoot? He's not that tall. What I'm size pretty foot? tall. I'm 6'4". I weigh 200 and... <laughs> 200 and 280 pounds, and I walk through the Bally Bow House Motel... Flower bedded. What size is your foot that you call yourself a Bigfoot? Size 14 Triple E. All right. Why so are we continuing guy. the contest? <laughs> You'll see why in a minute. Uh, Mark, it says here you're a schizophrenic and you suffer from sleep apnea, which, yes, uh, which I, means what? I've died 47 times in one night in my sleep. You die in your sleep. I've heard of this. Yes. And there's no way to fix this? No, there's no way to fix this. So the only you... way to fix this problem uh -huh. is you take <laughs> air and blow it up to your nose. Is, and the only problem with that would me, it makes my nose burn, it does, because of the air. You don't play chess, do you? No, I don't play chess at all. all it right. is a 4-9. <laughs> uh, well, say... well, he said he knew something about prostitutes. Yeah, what do you know about prostitutes? Well, I know about prostitutes. I had one from Vegas, it is, and she came up for two weeks, and I had the best time with her that you could ever imagine it is. Now, what do you mean schizophrenic? You have multiple personality disorder? Yes, I have multiple. What is the matter, Artie? <laughs> Artie's having a fit. Artie, you're going to be one of the judges. What are you doing? Oh, David, I think I've already won now. I want to go get drunk with this guy. <laughs> I have a room up at the Border Motel up in Derby, it is. Yes. He refused to clean my room it is because I I have coffee all over the place, ash, cigarette ashes and everything. He's so scared of me, even so scared to come up and clean the room. Alright, let me understand. Really? Do you hear voices? Yeah. Yes, I do. Uh-huh. Yeah. Do you hear a voice laughing at you right now? That's already oh, that's Yeah, real. I can hear the one on the other side of Why you there want... laughing up Hello. the storm. Why do you want to be a whack packer? Do you just want the money or you want to be No, a... I, I'm I'm going through a very rough situation right now right. because I got a very lengthy, Hardy, a, le a lengthy criminal record at least. Are you kidding? From B and E, breaking and, and entering. Yes, yeah, breaking and entering, <laughs> disorderly conduct, uh, sticking my hand through broken windows. It is. And, uh, Why would you rob people? You seem. Highway, in my hair, running in the gym, up in the air, living in distance, living in the night, living in the other I'm living up in the night. Oh, that's great. Hello? Hey, listen up at this. Yeah, who's this? This is the neighbor of this. This is a neighbor of yours? No, it's a neighbor of yours. Oh, of mine. And who may I ask who the neighbor is? <laughs> Brutus. Brutus? Yeah. Your cat keeps coming in my yard and is shitting on my bushes. I don't have cats that go into the yard. Bullshit. Yeah, maybe it was your pussy in my yard. How big is your pussy? How big is my pussy? As big as your prick. How's that? <laughs> hey, my prick's pretty big it is. Well, then that's how big it is. Your cat comes in my yard again, I'm going to fuck it. You're going to fuck it? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. You do that, okay? And I'm going to fuck you, too. Uh -huh. I'm waiting for you with a 32. I got a 32-incher. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Who is talking Hello? About? Hello? Get off the fucking phone. I'll get off the phone when you touch my cock. Talk dirty to me. Come on here, and I'll, I'll talk. I'll talk personally dirty to you. Come on, come Tell on. I'm waiting for you. I'm touching my balls. I'm fingering my ass, thinking about you. Oh, you are? Yeah. I beat the shit out of my wife. She divorced me after that. Then I went gay for a while. Oh, now listen. <laughs> Like I told you, I don't like you fucking talk to me. 
You better learn how to behave yourself with your mouth. Because if, if you're looking for trouble, I can give it to you. I'm tough. I love when you talk that way to me at this. Listen, Brutus. I didn't make the fucking phone call. You made it to me. Please talk dirty to me. You want me to talk dirty to you? Hold on. <laughs> Brutus? Yeah? All right. Now get real close to the, the phone. Get as close as you can get to it. Yeah. How'd that feel? Ah, I had the phone up my ass. You <laughs> fucked up my colon. I'm bleeding out my ass. Rub your cunt on the phone. Well, come on over. I'll show you how big my cunt is. I'll tell you. Dumb bitch. <laughs> All right, there's Bigfoot in action. Uh, I, love it. I, I really, I, I can't say this enough how much I love our latest choice and the yes. choice for a, a whackbacker. Well, uh, we doing some recordings of this? Uh, some more uh, jokes and stuff it is, and wondering if we could send it down to you. Sure, send it. I'd love to hear it. Absolutely, yeah. it is. Huh? All right, it is. Is that your bird? Yeah, that's my bird. Well, who's what the broad? What kind of bird you got? I got a, a love bird. <laughs> and what is that broad's voice in the background there? Huh? Who's the girl? The girl? Is there a girl back there? Yeah, it's a couple girls back here at this. They're chewing through the rope. That's my harem it is. <laughs> Your harem it is. <laughs> yeah, I think he's got him locked in a schoolhouse. <laughs> yeah. Is that a little hole in the ground? Yeah. A good day yesterday it was. <laughs> Picked me up three winches. Filled up the van and I did. <laughs> Put him in a hole like this. I bought the chloroform, it was. Hey, guys. Put it on the napkin, I did. How hey, did you guys. get shoved it on her mouth, it was. What are those girls doing with you? Hey. Knocked them out, I did. Put them in the back of the van, it was. Hey. Yes. Uh, is there any way you can send me that contract? I'm making I them fuck my it? bird, I am. What contract it is? The, the the one when I went in front of your uh, your guest there at this? Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about, Bigfoot. Yeah, Bigfoot, take it up with Gary. i got to move along, Bigfoot, okay? like the rest of the planet Earth, we don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Where'd you get those girls, man? Oh, My elbowed him in the face, I did. Randy this. <laughs> what? What? My new manager is Randy at this. You yeah. got a new yeah. manager. Yeah, well, the old one's dead. He sucks a mean cock, he does. You're not sleeping with those girls. Um, I can't really tell you about that. Yeah. Wouldn't oh. call it sleeping, I would. <laughs> All right, Bigfoot, thank you. They're knocked out, and I'm fucking. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what about you? You love pussy, right? Oh, I love it. Yeah. Any way I can get it. Right. When's How the last time? How do you get it? Oh, I got it when I was up in Vermont. There's some girl named Mel at this, and... She was fine. Yeah. Did the authorities know? <laughs> yeah, you didn't oh, know. I didn't need to know let no authorities know. I kept her in white colors and oh, you all, kept all, all, all that kind Chained of up in the basement. Good. How old a broad are we talking about here? Oh, about 45. 45 year old. Yeah, I, she has I, had a decent body. Oh, wicked body on yeah. it. Yeah, and you probably got a big, thick penis. So you oh, have... I told you, nine and a half inches. Yeah, and she handled it all? Uh, she handled the whole thing with a pooper, she did. You didn't need to wear a penis <laughs> with oh, a, a pooper. pooper. She, she gave it to her in the ass? No, I gave her ass backwards. Ass backwards? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. I, I do things ass backwards, sideways, <laughs> what, what, whatever way I can get it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Artie, like, look who's here. This? Artie Bigfoot's here. <laughs> I do things ass backwards, I do. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Artie. What do you think he's fucking a chick in the ass? What are you doing? What are you doing backwards? I don't understand. Oh, you can fuck a pussy his ass backwards at this. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you mean? Like she's on all fours or? Yeah, all fours. Doggy on style. Her, uh, yeah, uh, on her elbows and uh, knees. I see. Big Doggy Foot. style. <laughs> Doggy style, right. Bigfoot has clearly killed several people. Yeah. Right? <laughs> uh, uh, affiliated with the Playboy channel. Oh, so that's we right. Can also, uh, they're we right have an, down the hall. We can also mm. uh, use that avenue. So you could probably pull up my pictures. We could also use that they're, they're on there now. Now, you know what that means, honey? Victor We're the ones to fuck. Gotcha. Right. Yeah. Are, are you on the internet? <laughs> I am on the internet. <laughs> on, yeah. on, under what? Under, on Playboy.com. <laughs> uh, 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 under uh, Chicks uh, Bigfoot will never Victoria, turn. <laughs> Victoria Stevens, right? What's your address? Um, I have is. a MySpace account, so you can go to www.myspace.com slash Victoria Stevens. How many friends you got, you do? I just signed up there, so like 800. <laughs> 800 Bigfoot, friends. Bigfoot, yeah. you have a bang of chick this time. What, what kind of schizophrenia medication do you have? Uh... It's some green pill. Hmm. 
All right. Hey, listen, brother. Okay, we got that. You know your... what? That pill makes him stop saying it is after everything. Yeah, it, su it, su it sucks, that pill. Stop oh. taking it. Hey, uh... What do you do if a girl breaks out of your trunk? <laughs> uh, I don't think a girl is going to break out my trunk. I don't have a lock on my trunk. Oh, there's no lock. She can get out. Oh, that's I good. What in a... the basement I do. So, Bigfoot, you're up early, ready to greet the new day. When you're gonna, are you going to hit Starbucks and get going, or what are you going to do? What... Yeah, eventually. When yeah. do you get up now? What, what's your day like? What do you got planned today? Oh, I'm driving back to Vermont. Oh, you got to still get back to Vermont. Oh. Yeah. This is the longest trip to Vermont we ever. He didn't say Vermont. He said Mont. Oh, sorry. You left Vermont. New York. Vermont. You left New York two weeks ago. Mont is just an hour away. <laughs> what do you do for a living that you're so comfortable being naked? I used to be a stripper. I oh, design stationery now. I bet you made a lot of money as a stripper. You're a nice looking woman. I know a little bit about strippers. Really? <laughs> what do I you used know? to have one for I two used... weeks. Oh, she's crazy. Wow. Then what happened nice to her? Where did you marry? I know that they fit in my glove compartment. I think you've got big, beautiful breasts. I want to kill the stripper. Yes. I no. thought so. We got it done. All right, just hold I don't on. Don't have any friend. underwear on. Oh. <laughs> well, no, you don't. You've got what a something. snatch. <laughs> <laughs> What a body on you. Turn around Turn so we can around see it. You can see it. Wow, nice. The whole thing. So now she wants to be in porn too, huh? Nice old bush on you. Well, let's hold off for a second, Bigfoot. Jesus. And let's hear, let's hear from Bigfoot. Nine, nine and a half. No, you don't. You want a bat? I want to see it. Oh boy. Can, can we I'll show it to you right now. I <laughs> you want to show it to her? Go ahead. Shit. Prove her wrong, Bigfoot. Oh, my God, no. I don't want to see this. Oh, oh God, God. What's coming out of there? Exactly. <laughs> Bigfoot has nine inches. Is that true? I see. It's, there's something in his pants. Let me see that nine hey, inches there for cool. Tabitha. Let's see. Pull, it, pull that sucker out. Now, spit in your hand. Oh, no. Spit in it. That is not nine inches, Bigfoot. <laughs> and when it gets hard, it is. All right, put it back in your pants. Put it back in your pants, Bigfoot. It's ripping out. Wow. It's a dead skunk in his pants. Holy cow. I don't think it's nine, but it's kind of, it's, it's nice. All right, well, Bigfoot. When it gets hard, it is. Oh. That wasn't hard, uh, Bigfoot? That, that's somewhat hard. <laughs> When it gets hard like a banana, you know it. What are we gonna wash a everything banana. Bigfoot touches? I mean, what's like going? a what? Uh, Ever had a banana? A banana? A banana? <laughs> <laughs> what's a banana? It's a banana. A banana. It's a fruit. It's a vegetable. A vegetable. <laughs> are you talking about a banana? <laughs> yeah. How do you say that? A banana. Oh. Banana. <laughs> 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 Uh, Bigfoot, you're all turned on from these girls, aren't you? Huh? I said you're all turned on from these girls, aren't you? Do what? I oh, said Jesus. you're all turned on from these girls. Oh, you better believe it. Yes. He's the Michael Jordan. Take, him, take him home with me. All right, legitimate music. Uh, Bigfoot, I'm anxious to hear you sing. And again, what is the name of the song? It's about a white Cadillac it is how I get around. All right, do you have to do the whole song? Can you just give me a minute or two? Uh, we can do that, yeah. All right, good. All right, here we go. Go ahead, guys. All right. I drive a big Cadillac and I get around. If you want to know the facts, I can be found. Where it's at, DC bound. I got Howard Stern on the phone. Hillary Clinton all alone. And I gotta ride the big white Cadillac. <laughs> wow. Any time I would even speak to Dave in this house, he would flip out and act like a two year old. Plus, he sucks his thumb at night in bed. You he suck your thumb? your thumb? Yeah. Bigfoot. I mean, is yes, that, he does every night. Is that true, Bigfoot? Yeah, it is. You homo. Uh, right, that's why you shut the light off as soon as I was in the car at the kitchen. It didn't take too long to come out of his bedroom. So me and my daughter went back to bed when the cops come here. 
and they even come inside the yeah, house. Yeah, who called the cops on who my now? Daughter, your, your, your emergency worker did because he talked to my 14-year-old daughter, and she made statements to the emergency worker. The emergency worker actually called the police. I hope you had police. a lovely time with them. I, I didn't call the police. The emergency worker did. They said they've dealt with Mark Shaw for many years, and he's been kicked out of a lot of different places. From his mood disorder, he's on a different, a bunch of different psych meds. <laughs> I love when Bigfoot gets sarcastic. I hope you had a wonderful time it is. <laughs> Talking about Bigfoot, man. Richard had to call Bigfoot the other day to get him to voice some stuff. Yeah. And Bigfoot had a whole breakdown on the phone. It's wow, scary. really? <laughs> Hello, is Mark there? Yeah, it could be. What do you need now? Mark, it's Richard from Howard Stern. How you doing, buddy? Good. Hey, uh... You people don't even realize what I'm doing, do you? I've discovered something so big, bigger in fucking life itself. Really? What did you discover? I've discovered where I'm being discriminated housing. I mean, I can't even get my car worked on properly. It is. You got to slip in and everything else. Nobody cares anymore. I'm not taking my pills anymore. It's getting beef jerky. It is. Supposedly, uh, with my face on it, I don't see none of that. And you stop. You want stuff out of me. Well, I mean, I'm being discriminated housing up here. Do you even care about that? I do. I care about you, Bigfoot. <laughs> From house to house, I got fucking judges that think you don't know me. I got cops lying on fucking uh, down there, fucking uh, proofs, and he don't even know what the proof uh, is, and I know more of the proof than they do. Well, why, why would people hate you? Because I know too much. I figured out their crooked system right down to their judges, to their cops, their probation officers, and their fucking FSU people have more fucking civil rights than the fucking homeless do. You know that, too? Well, no, I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I do. Well, now, do you understand what I'm saying? I do, and I feel bad for you. You don't realize what you're dealing with, do you? I'm the one that goes around and investigates things, other things that can't be done. And I do it by myself, every day, by watching your crooked public. How he act, what he do. Uh-huh. Do you realize what I'm saying? I do realize what you're saying, absolutely. Right? Right or wrong? Yeah. All right, that's the greatest piece of tape in the history of the invention of tape. <laughs> that, I got to get that on CD immediately. Do you realize that, that's hilarious. he's being discriminated housing? Do you realize that I discovered the whole thing down to um uh, That I go, oh God, Richard, put that on CD for me. Hey, wait, uh, your uh, your uh, ex landlord is on the phone. Yeah. How yeah. long you think I should wait for the money? Oh, this guy says you owe money. Oh yeah. How long should I wait for the five grand, you cocksucker? What five grand? Five grand. What are you talking about? Who are you? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, dude. I what? haven't gotten paid yet. When am I getting the check? What check? I don't know. Let me tell you something. You, you, you I sold that. I'll have to go out to Linda and Linda and, 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 and write you out one. And you said <laughs> I'll give you five thousand dollars. When did I supposedly say that? I mean, now you're starting to piss me off. I mean, I want you to call me. Oh, come right up here and just see you. Never. I never got a fucking phone call from you. <laughs> you're really fucking pissing me off. You really are. Uh, bring it on. But what does that have to do with anything? Do we got to brought you a map how to get to the studio? <laughs> this was completely out of line, man. What are you trying out? Not to pay me? Is that is that the experiment we're working with? <laughs> oh, it could be. What does that have to do with getting money that's owed to me? It's my money. Take me to court. Hey, that works for this. I have to judge you to come out and just took him care of. Shit. What was that, sir? You're a fucking loser <laughs> faggot. Oh. I know that. Piece of shit. This Tell me something I don't know. This guy's rude. Faggot. He's an asshole. Whoever this is is out of line. You're yeah. saying stupid shit. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. I'm going to give Bigfoot a word. Well, I didn't give him the board. Someone gave him a word. Maybe Sal or Richard or one of those guys. And you have to guess what letter he's going to use to the first letter in that word. Does he know the first letter? You get the next. Hmm. All right. Let's say I'll take the next three. If you, get, if you get two out of three right, I'll give you 500 bucks. How's All that? Right. Okay. Forget that one. That was a practice one. Okay. 
Anus. 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 He might get that. I don't know. know. But he's kind of tricky, though. No. What do you say? Does Bigfoot know anus? anus? Uh, any help in the background, Adi? <laughs> Oh, God, dude. I don't... <laughs> it's a crap show now. Uh, Robin, what do you say? You seem to be well, keyed in. Well, again, he's hearing the A. That might be a tip-off yeah. to him. Yeah, I say he knows it. All right, yeah, I'll give it a yeah. All right. K? Oh, my oh, God. I Z off. Sorry, man. I thought you'd know it. <laughs> I have a theory that Bigfoot's I, a dumb guy. I thought you said canish. You've seen a word now. You're thinking of a word. You're going to give Bigfoot three clues. Give him a chance to respond every time you give a clue. So give your first clue. Orgasm. Say again? Orgasm. Okay. What do you say to that? Orgasms, that's like uh, very hot and bothered. Well, what word do you think of when you hear one word? She's trying to get you to say a word. Fucking you? Uh, fucking? <laughs> the word is not fucking. Give him a second clue. Um, female. Female? Female. Female? Yeah. See, now she gave you two Orgas words. Orgasm. Orgasm. Female. female. Kind of thing. I don't fucking know. You got me stumped. All right, give him a third clue. Uh, let me sing. See, this is not going well, Robin. No, it isn't. It's kind of hard to. Um, yeah, it's hard. August, the female. Um, sex. 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 It's a good clue. Orgasm, female. Try and put it together. And what makes? What do you think of? What word is she trying to make you say? Coming on herself, I can have an orgasm uh, to herself. That's uh, eleven words. I get the results of the football pool. Does anybody uh, want me to get everyone on the phone and tell them? Yeah, we we have a winner. Um, well, yeah, we, it's just, we have a winner. The reason we even got started with the football pool is that we said we could take the people who know the least amount of football, and they'll still beat Artie. Because Hardy's like the worst gambler ever, <laughs> and that, that's how we—that's the reason we have a that football pool. That is the football pool premise. Yes, yes. and um, <laughs> it, maybe I should get every. Since we went through a whole year of this, should we get uh, Bigfoot, Crazy Alice, and Elliot Offen on the phone for Do this? We have and, to get Elliot. <laughs> Well, I have to. He's, he's part of it. <laughs> yeah. The purpose of this pool is to point out something else that I'm bad at. Yeah. I mean, it's unbelievable, actually. I can't wait to announce the result. But you love to gamble, so it's uh, amazing I, that you're so good. I do, actually. Yeah. This might get you off Coke and gambling. <laughs> do you um, do you know the result, or am I telling I you? I do, oh, actually. You do. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's not as much fun. Do, do you guys think we should do that now? Gary, you going to work on that? Oh, here he comes. You going to? Yeah. But we know, right. we know we can't get Bigfoot on the phone now. Oh, you can't? Yeah. He's, well, what's he doing? You need a lot of... you got to find the guy that finds him. Oh. All right. Well, then forget. I'll just announce the winners. He's what, you want to try to get Elliot and Alice on? He, Will's working on it right now. Uh, Okay. Bigfoot's a great part. It's kind of fun when Bigfoot's there, too. Right. But fuck it. I mean, let's just do it. Bigfoot really wanted that money. Yeah. Bigfoot. <laughs> Some people actually took the time to write me email complaining that how could we allow Bigfoot to call himself Bigfoot when there was originally a Bigfoot, but he died. And I wrote back, not really, but I would have written back if I wasn't so lazy. <laughs> Drop dead. <laughs> hey, what, what, get, get a life. We're the we're like people who have a pet and we name it Rusty. Yeah. And then we name the next dog Rusty. Yeah. How could you name Rusty dog. Rusty? Because it's an animal. Okay. <laughs> That's why. Hey, the we get is Alice on the phone or I guess none, no one's on the phone for this the, the football pool. Football pool. Hmm. Hey, well, Alex, yeah. We had Alice on. She hung up. We're getting her back, and it looks like we're about to get Bigfoot on. All right. What about Elliot, Elliot Offen? No luck. No luck. Elliot, okay. no luck. Well, maybe that's our luck. <laughs> thanks again, Artie, for the New Year's gig. No that's problem. Fun. Thanks for coming. Shalom, I... biatch. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I wish people would have heard. That. I wish people would have heard it more. Shalom, biatch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Well, here's the results of the football pool. The twenty-five thousand dollar prize. Twenty-five grand, man. That's a that's lot of a money. A lot of money. So the twenty-five thousand dollar prize for our football pool is provided by BetUS.net. Call one eight hundred seventy nine BetUS or go online to BetUSUS.net. Do you know the results? No, I don't. Okay, these are funny results. Now, the whole point of the football pool was to say to Artie, who 
obviously has a gambling problem. <laughs> Along with the other problems. Along with his other problems, <laughs> soda addiction, et cetera. But, uh, you know, to say to him, I'm going to take three people. I mean, one year we did it with a chicken. Yeah. I mean, we're going to take people and a monkey. who know nothing about football, and they'll do better than you. Right. And sure and enough. sure enough, they do. This is unbelievable. Oh, here's Bigfoot. Okay. Bigfoot, hey. Hold on. Let me make sure you're in there. You yeah. in there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. And Alice is... Getting her. We're getting her. Do the other people in the football pool know the results? I don't or know. Or do they not? I know Artie knows. They would just have to follow it. I mean, it would be so easy here, for them to know. Here is the amazing... But they don't even know that much. Here's the amazing thing. What? The only person who didn't win is Artie. It's a three-way... <laughs> First place tie. Are you serious? <laughs> Let me, here, wait. Of course, me and Wheels, the poor guy. Alice, out there. Alice do, you know I the, was playing for. do you know the results? No, I'm too depressed to find out. What are you depressed about? Why are you depressed? Because I didn't win. You, you Bigfoot, won. and Elliot Offen all won. Everybody won. Except, except Artie. Me. Except. I'm kidding me. No, except Artie. Okay. It's actually the way you wanted it to be. Well, well, it's a new year. I don't, I don't want to fight with Artie no more. All, All right. of the freakishly ugly people won. <laughs> bitch, see, bitch, you cocksucker! So you say you stop <laughs> fucking with me, you cocksucker! But isn't it great? You're such a loser <laughs> in the gene <laughs> pool <laughs> and a winner in the football you know, pool. Meet your big blip ass. See how big you are in person. You make sure you have some room for me to get in that in that studio. If you're so goddamn ugly and fat. Just. Finish, the, fuck finish the word the person. Fuck I still can't stand your fat ass, you lying motherfucker. I'm just like the devil. You Alice. won. This is how you like when you won. You won the pool. You lie. But you said. How am I lying? Fuck you, bitch. You say you're going to stop fucking with me. Okay, I'm a black woman. We don't put all bullshit with your ugly ass. Come on, fuck face. Who Bigfoot. Who the fuck you think you talking to? Bigfoot. Yeah. You I win. Right, Bigfoot. Uh, you won. I won. Elliot oh, won, well, who and won Alice won. It, it was that you split the twenty-five thousand three ways. Three ways. Yeah. You that means what? you got a hundred dollars. <laughs> okay. Bigfoot, no. you're talking to Big Mouth, the other winner. Oh. Hey, Bigfoot. What? You're talking to Big Ass. Yeah, oh, I'm right here. here. Okay, Bigfoot, when you come in through, do you go kick that ugly cocksucking faggot for me? The three hundred pound. You got to hear this. You got to hear this. Yeah. This was based on whoever had the most wins. Alice, Elliot, and Bigfoot all had seven wins. Bigfoot yeah, had had the least amount of losses. He had two pushes and eight losses. Oh, wow. Alice had ten losses and Elliot had ten losses. But because it was it's based on wins, wins. Yeah. it was a three-way tie. So you each get a check, I believe, for, is it like 8500 bucks? Eighty-five thousand. Yeah, something like that. No, no, not thousand. No, I like when Bigfoot does math. Don't <laughs> wait, Big, so Bigfoot no, had the least. Math very well. Ba okay. B Bigfoot, I wait. Let me guess here. If you got twenty-five thousand dollars, three gives into twenty-five thousand eight times. It's about eight point. It's eighty point two, eight point three, yeah, somewhere yeah. around it's there. Eight point three, three, three point three, right. three, three, three. We're not basing this on the best record. Shut up, bitch. You shut the fuck up. You now blew it up the studio. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Not you, not you, Bigfoot. Too much a faggot. Bigfoot, you won over $8,000. I won over $8,000? Yeah. Wow. Now, when he comes down to New York to get it, he might just make it back to Vermont. <laughs> Alice, that ain't bad payday for you, over 8000 No, it's not, but I, was, I thought I was lost. You want a dollar for every pound you are. Shut the fuck up. When I come up there, you better stay away from me, bitch. Bigfoot and big chins. I like you. I like big, I like cocksucker. You better stay out of my face. Did your mother die over, over the holiday? Did your mother die over the holiday, bitch? Alice, uh, what are you going to do with the money? That's out of line, Alice. You know what? what? I'm going to have a hit man and, and, and shoot the fuck out of that, that cocksucker next to you. That's out of line. Uh, Bigfoot, what are you going to do with the money? I'm going to try to get my own place in this. That's good, Bigfoot. I'm not going to spend it foolishly this time. You're going to call it to you. Yeah, last yeah. time, what did you spend it on? I spent it on my Cadillac and some stupid broad. Right. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it, Bigfoot. I've been there. Hey, Alice, you should use the money to widen your door so you can leave your place. You are the one that used my own horn, bitch. That, that loser. That don't have Zana no more. Did you suck dicks over the holiday, bitch? Alice, 
widen your door with the money so you could squeeze out. I told what I'm going to do with my 8500. I'm going to hire a hitman to kill your ass. Oh, jeez. Now, what are you going to do with the other 7500? You fuck. Still, if you're not dead, I'm going to get you killed all over again. Listen to it. Listen to Bigfoot carrying on in the back. What He's having he a genuine reaction. To? He's excited. He's talking to the oh, young uh, girl he trapped last night. <laughs> that fucking, that fucking fat, yo, uh, uh, Bigfoot, I can't stand that ugly thing. That 300 pound fat fuck. That he doesn't know what shit. you're talking about, Alice. Talk about that thing, that 300 pound thing on the left side of the house. Let me hear Bigfoot. He's having a genuine happy reaction. Okay, go ahead, Bigfoot. This is the happiest thing that ever happened in my new year. You it's... actually, Bigfoot, had the best record. You had seven wins, eight losses, two pushes. By far, he's got the best record. This yeah. is the best thing that's happening to him in the new year. But Alice and Elliot, because they had seven wins and you had seven wins, it's a three-way push. So yeah. you guys get to split the uh, the winnings. And Artie, again proving my point, oh, he knows nothing about what football. What did Artie, what was his final record? Four and 13. A <laughs> <laughs> of shit, that's what he found. That's what he won. He won a flat Hey, flat Alice. Flat. Uh, Bigfoot, first of all, since you won, be a good guy. Let the girl go today, just for today. You're a girl? Oh, I didn't, oh, I didn't know what no mean. Man, you can't you kill her. You're a woman. Bro. Alice, don't take this the wrong way. Shut, shut the fuck up. up. Fuck up. You know what? Alice, don't, don't take this the wrong way. Shut the fuck up. Well, fat congratulations. Ass. Congratulations to. What Alice, Bigfoot? you want money. What are you doing? What Bigfoot? Everybody knows my mailing address down there. Yeah. Where's Elliot? Why are you not on the air? We couldn't find him. We can't get him. We can't get a hold of him. But... I talked to him yesterday. Yeah, sometimes he's hard to get a hold of. All right. All right, but anyway. Um... I wonder what he'll do with the money. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, I'm sure everyone can use it. So I thought. Th Chop up Artie. <laughs> How dare you make these Shut threats? Up, Shut up. We're mailing it to uh, no, 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 fat, no. smelly I fuck. See, I want to see your ugly ass in person, Hitler. You spoke to Elliot yesterday, Alice? Yeah, man, I was on the phone talking a few minutes, and, and I got very depressed. I didn't feel like talking anymore. And you felt like you didn't win? Yeah. Hey. What did you think, Elliot had won? Hi, sweet thing. How you doing, Robin? I'm good, and Happy New Year to you. Did Elliot know who won yesterday? No, man. Elliot was dead the same thought. We thought we fucking lost. No, it's a three-way tie. How dumb could you possibly be? Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. I told him how it hit me. You were betting on something on national television. Shut up, whore. Shut up, whore. Now, see, you better stay the fuck away from me. Why were you depressed yesterday? Because it was another New Year's of you being enormously fat, ugly, and alone? Last night, I, look at how I was staring last night. I saw your face. That's why I got depressed. All right, Alice. Thank, congratulations, Bigfoot. Congratulations. Okay, you, you take care. All right. What is that? You got my mailing address? Well, hold on. The guys will get it. Oh, you want me to hold on? Yeah. No. Hold, well, hold on. Bitch, no, Alice. Hang up. Shut up. No, bitch. Put I down the ham. I, I want to hear the hitman. I'm half Italian. I want to hear the hitman. And All when right, he comes, on. I'll double his pay to kill you. You cocksucker. All right, hold on. <laughs> oh, my. They are. I hate to say it. Uh, let me bring in Bigfoot. I got his band all set up. I want to hear what's going on with him before Janice Dickinson gets here. The guests are coming in. They're pouring in. Just before he came in, quickly, they were running him. His girlfriend actually was taking him to the bathroom. Well, yeah. they. His girlfriend was... You didn't see, I hope. No. Good, because we're going to have a game. Guess who's Bigfoot's girlfriend? Well, actually, I did see it. Oh, I you can't did. play that. Okay. Well, you can be the host. Why'd you let Robin see Bigfoot's girlfriend, Gary? It What's the matter with you? It was an accident, I'm sure. See if I don't micromanage? No, no, no. You don't have to. <laughs> yeah. What happened? We have, the door shut. we have the door shut. The doors come open, and Bigfoot and his girlfriend suddenly have to go to the bathroom when Robin happened to be What'd walking What did you have about? to do? Duty or pee-pee? Oh, no, this sucks hair. my hair a little bit. You had to fix your hair. Yeah. What do you think that's going to help? Are you serious? He's a rock star. <laughs> Bigfoot, uh, what are you up to with the band now? Tell me what's going on here. What's going on is I've been around a lot of places. And I broke people around a lot of places. Right. <laughs> and me and Kenny Sawyer sat down in this girl's Pam's place. Is, and we started coming up with some. How did you get a girlfriend? I can't wait to learn this story. Artie, he's your favorite, right? This guy's uh, this guy's Elvis, man. Right. Look, he's, he's telling you his Springsteen story, and you're interrupting him. How Sorry. he became a musician? All right, go ahead. So there was a guy, <laughs> anyway, and a girl. Yeah. I went to this Pam's house. It is. I come from a small came town. It is. <laughs> and came and it is. I started wrapping <laughs> off some things I do in my life. What I do in my life. What do you do? 
What I do like, what is transport you say to people around. I love cigarettes, beer, tobacco, whatever. Tobacco. You, you have break in into an occasional like home and eat this, food, once right? In a while. You started to tell these people about your life, and you say your life is a backo. <laughs> yeah, a backo. A backo. A backo. Yeah. What is a backo? Something like the cigarettes you smoke. Is that tobacco? Yeah, whatever, whatever way you want to say it. Why do you say tobacco? What do you mean? There's only one way to say it. What do you mean? Whatever. Uh, my way? English is not very good. It's never been very good. My English. Really? Really? Okay. I have a speech impediment. I'll say tobacco. If you're in the tobacco business, you got to learn to say tobacco. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, so I'm in so that's like Howard saying I'm, uh, in, I'm, I'm in, in Dadio. <laughs> uh, I'm in two different kinds of business. The uh, tobacco is the green tobacco. And the brown the back. Oh, the happy right. smoke. Right. Yeah, now you get an uh, Explain idea. it. You sat down with them. You said, look, I've had a lot of life experience, and there are songs in me. And you said, what are the things you do? I didn't hear the full answer. Tobacco and what else? And the, the other funny stuff. Uh, other funny stuff. The green the, stuff. Right, the, the marijuana. Yeah. And what else do you do? I mean, what do you do with your life? What are the well, things you do? Well, I do. I transport people around. You transport people around? <laughs> transport. You transport people around. That's what I'm trying to get at. What do you mean by you transport people around? You get loaded in my car, and I even come up with a new policy now. What are you, you're a taxi you get, cab driver? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Why would you just say that? You're because a taxi I'm cab driver. Because I'm an undercover taxi driver. Oh, you yeah. don't have a license. You don't have a hack license. Right, exactly. Well, you can get loaded way, in your car? If you listen to this, I got the system figured out. How? I didn't say anything. It's already interrupting you. Uh, 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 anyways. If you say the money is donated to you, it is. You uh, don't charge no taxes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, anyway. Yes, you getting a call. You know, you got to pay taxes. I no. hear what you're saying, but I tell you what, the judge ain't gonna want to hear that. You want to talk oh, to well, our friend? I don't care what the judge wants to hear. You want to talk to our friend Cabby? Right. You got to be very careful with stuff like that. I know. I you always gotta pay I'm walking on that straight and narrow line that's right. on the edge. And that's off the edge. Who gave you this tax advice? Yeah, I mean, I know you're... Are you retarded? I learned it on my own. Oh. All right, listen to me. Are yeah, you retarded? Breaking the laws and going to jail and coming back. And How many times you been in jail? Half a dozen times. Did you write it. about that in your music? Yeah, a little you bit did. I did. Yeah. What's that song called? Breaking My Heart of Stone it is. It's oh. called I Went to Jail I Did. <laughs> Breaking My Heart of Stone it is is the name of the song. Yeah, the, right. the song where this girl broke my heart in this. Because you were in prison. I weren't in prison. And, uh, and she felt like I was in prison. It is a way she was treating me. I can't wait to hear this music. <laughs> well, Do you ever write symbolic. about gay sex? I know you've experienced gay sex with men. You've had sex with men. Do you write about it in your music? No, I don't really like to try to write about that kind of my stuff. It is cause You've had a penis in your in your rectum, right? Yeah, 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 one time. One time, and why not a song about no that? No song in there? That's enough. Uh, I'd rather not get into that kind of nasty... I gross. had a penis in my rectum. <laughs> I did. It came very fast. I couldn't believe that thing was sitting in my ass. I said, no, get that Stuck penis in falls in prison. <laughs> with a penis in my ass. <laughs> and you've blown guys, right? Uh... I have before. Right, right. Did you write anything about blowing a guy? No. Nothing like that. All right, well. So your songs are mostly what? Love songs? My songs are about me transporting people around. And some of them are about love songs. It is all the girlfriends I've had in the past. It is. Uh -huh. I've had over more I can count on two hands. Really? Wow, wow. so like 11. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you, you, what song are you doing for us right now? Because I do well, the song I'm going to do for you right now is going to be about my white Cadillac, how I get around, how I can be found. Right. And who is He's like Bruce. Wow. And, and I usually hang out with a... You wrote this? He, my... Uh, Kenny Sawyer wrote. Who is Kenny Sawyer? Which one is Kenny Sawyer? The guy with the babushka? The, what, yeah, the one yeah. with the Well, put a microphone on the guy. How can I talk to Kenny Sawyer if he's going to stand there like a lummox? You say you're not a, uh, you're a contributor, and Robin uh, <laughs> points out you're a. Uh, you never have to ask for a mic. Uh, yeah. No. You, you, say, you say you work hard. <laughs> what is your name again, sir? My name's Kenny Sawyer. Kenny, how'd you hook up with Bigfoot? What's the story there? Uh, my friend Mel called me up when I was living in Brooklyn and said, 
biggies in her life, and he was on Howard. So I went back there and started writing songs with him. All right. So whose lyrics are these? Are these yours, Bigfoot? Okay. Um, yes, yeah. These, these are your lyrics, and he writes yeah. the music? Yeah, and he right. writes the notes. All right, good. Now, were you a musician before this? Did you ever think you'd be doing music? No, I never thought I had it in me. Oh, mm -hmm. and now you realize you do. Yeah. Okay. What else is in you? Do you really feel your I music? I don't know. You feel your music? Whatever good? you can happen to find, good luck finding it. All right. So now we know music has been in you. A big dick do you, has been in you. Do you, uh, Bigfoot, do you, uh, do you, are you high right now on pot? Just a little bit. A little bit. You had a little pop before you were saying? No. All right. Okay. A little of a happy song. Yeah, it helps. It helps. Take Relax the edge. Take the edge off. Are you nervous about singing for us? No. No. Good. Okay. That's good. All right. And uh, who's your partner over there on guitar? That is my Peter uh, Paul Stone. Is, he's the one that pieced everything. He said his name is Paul, not Peter. Um, <laughs> you got what, the wrong name. The guy. Whatever. Peter, uh, pay Paul. He does. Paul, Paul, I meant. You guys like working with Bigfoot or is it a challenge? I mean, what kind of thing is this? Well, you know, I kind of grew up in the same town as Bigfoot. I saw him growing up since I was nine years old. I've seen him in court cases and stuff, and just seen him what around. What court cases did you see him in? Well, one particular one, I had to kind of verify with him because I thought maybe I didn't recall it correct. But you know, I remember this one time. I think he was in the court, and he said to the judge, uh, or the judge said to him, "So, oh, Mr. Shaw, why is it that you beat up this man?" He goes, "Because he stole my dope." It is. <laughs> like right that there, was it, huh? Yeah, right there in court. You told the judge he, the yeah. guy stole your dope. Uh, uh, and he ended up getting his money back, to me too. where I am, if I have something to say, I'm going to say it to a judge, state attorney. I don't care if it's the president of this land. Right. I'm going to tell <laughs> him exactly how I feel. Right. You have your rights. <laughs> yeah, right. We, know, we all have a right to talk. Like if you wind Indian. up with the president, I know it's going to turn out bad. Right. <laughs> I love being Maybe it was really just smoking joint when, when you were... were take some a, down some of this important information. As a friend of Bigfoot, it must have been upsetting to you when you saw him throw away the whole case by taking this to the judge. You know, judge. he actually got his money back for it. He did? <laughs> wow. The judge, I believe, made the individual... Give him back his money. The judge was taken with Bigfoot's honesty, I guess. <laughs> That's because I put the judge in my trunk. Must I be. did. <laughs> Have you ever seen Bigfoot do anything weird, like sexually? <laughs> and, yeah, 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 what do you see him doing? What, do, what kind of weird things is he up to? Well, he got laid in front of us last night. That oh. was really disturbing oh. after we got in. What do you mean, with the new girlfriend? Oh, yeah. And, yeah. and you were all in the same room. Yeah. No, and he me. started banging her. <laughs> yeah. Is that true? We, we even recorded it for you. You recorded your sex? Oh, you're yeah. Oh, now that's something I want to hear. Now, Bigfoot is a giver. Sure. That's good stuff. No kidding. Yeah. Wow. We... Yeah, have that if you want. I want to hear. You, where you is should it? wait. You should wait till you play yeah. a game. All right. Okay. Hmm? Wow. And what did you see? Did you see it in the broad daylight, or did you did you just hear it, or what happened? I heard it. It was very disturbing. I just closed my eyes, prayed it would be over soon. <laughs> what was disturbing? Does he grunt like an animal? Is it the noise? Is it the? Is it just the mere thought of him having sex? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, Bigfoot having sex one is scary in the thought. Did Anybody having him? sex while you're laying there is not good either. Did you ask him to stop? Did you say, listen, this is disturbing me? It's for Howard's show. Yeah, I went right. out the tape recorder and recorded oh, okay. it. Okay, all right, fair enough. All right. So you're all in the same hotel room, and he just says, fuck it, I'm going to get laid here. No, we got a little place in Brooklyn. We went there last night. We got in at 2.30. All right, let's hear some of oh. this music. Are you proud of the music, or is it a good? Yeah, yeah. You're proud of it. All right, yeah. okay, guys. Uh, it's legit. Guys, all right, legitimate music. Uh, Bigfoot, I'm anxious to hear you sing. And again, what is the name of the song? It's about a white Cadillac is how I get around. All right, do you have to do the whole song? Can you just give me a minute or two? Uh, we can do that, yeah. All right, good. All right, here we go. Go ahead, guys. All right. I drive a big Cadillac and I get around. If you want to know the facts, I can be found. Good job, guys. Is that the whole song? Did you forget? No, it's, it's a really close. 
<laughs> Did you forget some of the lyrics there? It looked like you spaced out in the middle. Yeah, uh, spaced out a uh, uh, couple of lyrics. Like Elvis. There's, like Howard, there's, a great, uh-huh. there's a great dynamic where the guitar player sort of nods his head when he's supposed to come in and he comes in <laughs> about a half an hour later. You were very focused on Yeah, him. I wondered why yeah. he was staring over there. He just went, and Hillary Clinton and a white Cadillac. You should What's let him do it? a couple more seconds of one, can you? Sure. That uh, here's my story one. All right, it is. He can all. sing all fucking day. This one is called Here's My Story. It's it all right. Is. It is. It is. Here's, it is. It is. It is. It is. Uh, this is uh, called It Is. After your thing that you always. Why do you always say it is? Sing along with me. I will. Uh, what, what? What is? Uh, why do you always say it is? What is that? It's just some speech impediment I have. Okay, so you have to I've say been, it. I've been saying it is for, I don't know, 25 years or better. Okay. Really? Good. And I'm glad you wrote a song about it. That makes sense to me. I, yeah. think, I think I like this better. <laughs> yeah. All right, go ahead. Here's my story. It's true. I was once just, just like you. It is, it is, it is, it is. <laughs> Can I interrupt for a second? I, I hear more of you than I do of Bigfoot. Right. Do you have this recorded? I yes, mean, he's uh, singing lead on the on the CD. But... Well, you got to let him sing for Christ's sake. Try it. Yeah. I mean, uh, let him do it. Give him a mic over here. You, a little, you, you, you have got a mic. microphone. You're talking oh. into a mic. Oh, I am talking into do, a microphone. Do you hear yourself? Don't you hear yourself? No, I'm very good. I don't. Uh, just... That's a mic it is. Oh, it is? Me, go ahead. Let, play a little and do it the way it's supposed to be done. Let Bigfoot All do right. his thing. Have a little faith in the guy. He's a lead singer. All right. All right, go ahead. My story, I used to be just like you. All right, all right, you're doing good. I, I used to, I can't remember the words. Hold it a second, we got a problem. Very Elvis. <laughs> this All right, is not Bigfoot, a what's good going first on? Performance. You want the guys to remind you of the words? Yeah, I need him to remind me of the words and sing along with it. Can you read Bigfoot? No, I can't read. Uh, and you know that. That's him. Don't look at me. He looked at me like you were going to kill me. No, Gary's up. Uh, guys. That's it, why it, I need both about... of them to be playing and singing at the same time. Well, I'm singing. All right. I can, I'm, you, I'm sorry. I we can hold the mics a little bit farther away. All so right. That okay. He can, it's like I'll a, mix it. Okay. I hear what you're saying. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. I'll, I'm sorry right. to interrupt it. Go ahead. Here's my story. Here's my story. I it's a bus. He can't hear them now. <laughs> it is. It is. All right. Let's Come go. On. I got a manager. All right, I got to stop this farce. Well, yeah, he's singing lower because he's trying to hear them. It's better on the farce. CD. Yeah. Oh, man. The White Cadillac song he knew a lot of. He knew a lot about the White Cadillac. Yeah. That was his first I got to stop this. It is, it is. How many days did it take to record? I don't know. What's the matter with it? What's the matter? You don't know the words to your own we song. We can't hear you, Bigfoot. You're not saying the it's words not, You're the guy who's supposed to be singing. Yeah, I'm trying to sing it. I need them to sing along with me. Or well, he was. I mean, what is this? And then you sing lower than they do. I mean, how can you have a music career if you don't know the music? Well, he is a babe in the woods in music. I understand yeah. that, but come on. This is a big-time show. you got to come in here yeah. prepared. Yeah, I know. I've been trying to be impaired. It is. These You're guys impaired. Wouldn't let me right. Impaired you are. It is. <laughs> you wouldn't let me practice it. What did you do? I wanted you to practice. You could have practiced all week. What do you I got to do? This is the show. This isn't rehearsal. You're busy fucking in your hotel room instead of practicing. That's what happened to, you know, all the greats. They fall into that trap. sing with my buddies here and do it? Sure you can. I mean, that's why, uh, I mean... I just said to do that. All right, let's do that, then. Because the CD does sound good, guys. You worked hard on it. The only thing musical about you is that Elder Bar's jacket you're wearing. (laughs) Ours about a jacket? What do you mean by that? Oh, nothing. All right, guys, don't let me impede the process here. Why don't you try it again? Do it the way he wants to do it. I'm teasing you. You know you're incredible. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right, here we go. Let's go. Here's my story. It's true. It's true. I used to be for you. Oh, boy. All right, try another one. <laughs> this is more like it was. 
All right, let's meet your girlfriend. How's that? You getting upset, Bigfoot? Yeah, I am kind of. It is. I wanted to fucking make sure this went all right and then screwing it all up. <laughs> Did you rehearse? I tried to rehearse in the car and nobody would be quiet the whole last night. I know how he feels. He did his hair and everything. <laughs> hey, you even did your hair. Girlfriend. Does it stop talking? Uh. You want to try again or what? The white Cadillac song or what? <laughs> well, I, I think we're going to end up not selling anything if we do too many more <laughs> songs like this. Well, listen, maybe let's fucking a more rehearsal next time. <laughs> right. <laughs> how about you? You're right over there. You're going to scratch your face off the way you're scratching. You know what's a good song for Bigfoot to cover? I think <laughs> We Didn't Start the Fire by Billy Joel. You want to do that one? Oh, fuck. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm afraid Bigfoot's going to kill his band. <laughs> Are you angry right now, Bigfoot? You look like no, you're I'm just, there. What? Tell me what's going I'm on. I'm a little disgusted with myself. It is. I've been going through a lot of stress. Everybody's been arguing me over this over this money I'm supposedly getting. It is. And, what, the 5000 No, the... Eight thousand there or whatever. The, the one third of the Super Bowl, uh, the football Who's pool. Who's yeah. The football pool. Who's arguing with you? You're getting eight thousand dollars. There's no argument. Yeah, uh, all these other people are hounding me like dogs wherever I go. It is. I even got pushed down on my birthday all day <laughs> by a woman. Because everyone wants your money. Yes. What about this girl who's banging you? Do you think she's after? Did she come into your life after you won the eight thousand? No. No. Geez. Wait a second. How long have you guys been together? We've been together for about uh, two weeks. That's oh. after you won. <laughs> she came into your life after you won. <laughs> no, I've not gotten the money yet. Oh, but I know, but she knows the money's coming. Yeah, she? I know. Yeah. I'm still planning on getting a place that is of my own. You think for 8000 bucks you're going to be able to get a place of your own? Yeah. Uh -huh. Where do they have a place for 8000 bucks, Guam? <laughs> I mean, where is this place? Yeah, where are you going to live? You're going to yeah. buy another it's Andy Gump? It's a trailer for 1900 it is for a trailer up in Derby, Vermont. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. You got a plan. Yeah, I got a plan. Right. 1900 bucks, you get a whole trailer. All right, guys. Just get with this song it is and fight this. All right. What is this? <laughs> yeah, you, you guys are you messing up. All right, uh, Bigfoot getting upset with his band. Go ahead. Give it to him, Bigfoot. Come on. Let's try. What yeah. do you want to do? We'll do it. All right. Any song you want to, just, just get it right this time. <laughs> Come on. I'll do my best. He's, He's demanding. He's demanding. He's demanding. He has a karaoke Bigfoot. over the do you think? Do you think it's their fault or yours? I think it's part of all our fault because <laughs> I didn't have a chance to practice. And I warned them all night that I got to practice these songs. <laughs> and no, would anybody listen? On the way Not you know a it. single one of them would listen. <laughs> this is the greatest all you're concerned ever. about is drinking their beer and. <laughs> <laughs> yes, man. It's hard being so here in. So I mean, this is how Guns N' Roses and, broke up. And, you guys refuse to practice? Is that true? I, that, that's I'm what he said. I want to practice 24-7 with him. You're busy talking. Damn, no, we're getting one of my mouth. Wait a second. What are you saying? I'm just saying that, like you said, there's a lot of people that are trying to get after him because they think he's got some money now, and there's right. been a few distractions in the past few years. He's got $8,000. Right. So, I've been, yeah, we've been trying to get him to down and together with us. And well, Howard, all fairness, yeah. throwing the five yeah. he won for weather oh, he is a lot He's got 13. Like the harder night it is. Uh, you got this money girl, now. Pam was there. I was trying to practice the song. She kept running her mouth, running her mouth. I couldn't even, every time she kept talking, I was literally crying at the studio because she was upsetting me so much. It is. What Yoko. was she saying? She's just running her mouth. Why did it's you... a drunken, idiot, fucking childish <laughs> woman. Typical broad. Why didn't you throw her out? She didn't have no transportation. <laughs> well, she didn't, if you're not she didn't transportation. Have transportation. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to transfer her or you have to get rid of her. All right, so you got problems with money and women, and now your band is all fucked up, and everything's going wrong. Isn't this every band? All right, why don't you guys... Talk it over right now, have it out, and then give me a fucking song that's professionally done. I can't okay? wait for Bigfoot behind All the right, music. This is a white Cadillac song. We know we can get that right, don't we? Oh, yeah. But didn't we do that? All right, talk to you, Ben. I don't want to interfere. Go ahead, Ben. Talk to him. Is that what you want to do, Ben? Yes. Let we'll me know. Do lead that. the way. Do the white Cadillac song. All right. You remember the words? Yes. All right. I drive a big white Cadillac, and I get around. If you 
want to know the facts, I can be found. Bigfoot, what happened this time? <laughs> no, Bigfoot, whose fault is that 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 didn't come off the ground? Get it right. Yeah, he's not singing with me. There's the able to me to pick up the word from his voice at the same time. And I fired the keyboard playing monkey. <laughs> what? I had a keyboard playing monkey that took some direction, but Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> But this is not working out, is it? No, it's not. The time I you thought you would good. be working with me instead of against me. <laughs> <laughs> we planned this. Yeah, I bet you did. How can we I wonder, six million people? I wonder, just a thought, could you play with the CD? No. Yeah. Because he sings yeah. really good along with well, the CD. Well, I don't think that. that, that, that my, audience wants, hear this. my audience yeah. wants to hear a live right. performance, I believe. Well, this is Bigfoot. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Bigfoot, I'm sorry, Bigfoot. it's not my fault. How I'm are trying... you going to go on tour, Bigfoot, like this? You can't tour. I and... know. I we got to get rid of these scum bums. These are the ones who want to destroy my career. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to practice songs. Does anyone even let me practice? It's like the Rose. It's like Bette Miller and the Rose. <laughs> wow. What do you sing along with me? Well, I think you're the lead singer. I think that's what the guy's way. Are. Yeah. The CD's really good, Bigfoot. What do you feel, you got to make that point. It is. Bigfoot, I thought these words were your words. You got to... Yeah, in my words, I was having help along with doing it. <laughs> I weren't doing it by myself. Really? You had backup. That, I had we took backup. Vocal out. These guys were back, my backup. Oh, so I see. So he'd sing along with me, and I'd pull my vocal off. I and see. Just I him. see. But he knows the songs. If I know CD. the songs. I just uh, can't. Honestly, I don't see is anything. Is there anything you can sing for us no. today? Is there something simpler, maybe? That you remember the words, too. Happy, Happy birthday. Can't, can't you help me out with the words, Kenny, here? Or what? All right, let's do one more. All right, give it a shot. Okay. Let's work this. Let's have a happy ending. Yes, let's have a happy ending. All right. A little bit slow, bit dim with it. When I want something, I'm sure to get it all. I'm on the highway, stern and slow. Got a white Cadillac, and I drive it. When I want to see, I'm sure to find it all. I'm on serious radio. There you go, now you're wrong, now you're wrong. I'm on serious radio. All right, that's good. Now, now you did it. Now people like that. Wow, you pulled that through. All right, nice you want to talk about? You have to work with me. Right. It's probably jitters. His first time really doing yeah, it. It's yeah. also jitters, I imagine. Yeah. You did well. Yeah, Very good. but you did smoke a little. Maybe that didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> Your jitter smoke. <laughs> You know that dog Maybe. in caninus does a better job. <laughs> you ever hear the band caninus? It's a dog singing. <laughs> and he does a better job. Where's that dog? Is that for a songwriter? Uh, let me see here. Howard Page 1. <laughs> this is a dog, Bigfoot, and he even remembers his lines. <laughs> yeah, let me show you. Excuse me. I've not had much practice with the song. This is a I... dog. You're saying the dog got more no, practice than you. Probably. The dog would have to go to his I mean, I send the guy to go down the driveway, or bring a car back to his, back where I'm living, three miles in the woods. Uh-huh. He drives it off into a ditch mm. after I assumed that's what was going to happen when he got into the car. Well, let me figure this out now. Is Janice Dickinson ready to come? She in? is. She is. All right, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to let Bigfoot and his band go chill out. And then when we're done with Janice, we're going to meet your girlfriend. Okay. Yeah. And we're going to try and guess who your girlfriend is, all right? Right. Now, the band, uh, by the way, uh, this band, what is this? Let's see. To purchase Bigfoot's album, Big White Cadillac, call 802-399-8066. And you got Kenny Sawyer, Paul Stone, and Bigfoot. And that is the band. What is the name of the band, Bigfoot? It's about, well... Uh... 
The real Bigfoot band. You didn't even know the name of the band. <laughs> and these guys no. are the ones that made them. Mom, what is you your band, real, Bigfoot? You've been doing the work for me since I've been up in the woods three miles in the woods. All right. Well, I uh, mean, I heard you guys were even concerned about me dropping off the face of the earth. Hey, guys, where is the album itself? Uh, let me play a track as we go into commercial before Janice Dickinson. There's a, it's a whole box in the mountain. No, no, I mean, what page is it on? Uh, Richard should have it. I, I don't know one page from the next. His, guys, MySpace. what page is it on? It should be on GP1 in purple. GP1 in purple. No one ask. No, nope, that's not it. All right, here we go. This is a little bit of the finished the, studio the stuff. Yeah, I'm not. Shattered heart. She took my freedom. She took my heart. We defended in the dark. Defended in the dark. That's Wait a minute, is that the CD? That is the CD. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's much better than even the studio stuff. Wow. Well, congratulations. Oh, man. All right, Janice Dickinson is going <laughs> to... <laughs> nice job, guys. Kenny and Paul. Thank you. Proud of you. Thanks. Good job. I guess if you didn't have anything else to do, that was okay. It's a lot of fun, you know. Everybody I know really wants to see him succeed and do well. So, all right. Marty, any chance Bigfoot could open for you in uh, your big uh, <laughs> and, uh, he could come Super Bowl weekend in Vegas? He could come with me anywhere I go. All right, sure. Bigfoot, I'm going to ask you to go chill out. Janice Dickinson's going to come in. Yeah. I'm going to do a little interview with her, and then we're going to meet your girlfriend. How's that? All right. All right, real good. And don't forget, you got to get Bigfoot's album. They're going fast. Big White Cadillac is the name of the album. 802-399-8066, and uh, we'll hear more from Bigfoot later. Thanks, guys. We'll be back right after these words. Sorry. You're listening to The Howard Stern Show. I can't wait to hear Bigfoot and his sex tapes. He's getting his teeth fixed? You know, I'm in such a rush to get back to Bigfoot, who's been out there patiently waiting. We heard a great segment where Bigfoot performed from his new album, Bigfoot... Uh, just announcing that he came out with a new record. I got angry at his band. I was really impressed. It was a great, thank you. It was a great, great, take a seat, Bigfoot. Impressed with how he whips those guys into shape. To purchase Bigfoot's album, Big White Cadillac, call 802-399-8066. It was quite impressive how you got your band in line. Yeah. You uh, got to talk to him like that sometime, huh? He's like Pete Townsend. Yeah, I do. I, sometimes I got to call him out and give him peace of my mind. Right. Uh, right. Well, you did the right thing. I uh, so, sorry about the Janice Dickinson breaking up your appearance. I just uh, wanted to make sure we had time to get to everyone. Right, exactly. That's yeah. all right. Yeah, and uh, and I'm sorry you had to yell at your band in front of us, but uh, I understand how hard it is. I'm the leader sometimes of this group, and uh, I can understand how it's uh, tough. Yeah, it's a tough, tough situation to be in. It sure is. Is that the hardest part of your new music career? It's out of the part to get difficult when I have to break up fights. or Break up fights? Our little argument is like on my birthday it is I got completely knocked right over on my birthday it is and uh, I got knocked over and part of the door handle was off the door it is and I got my arm up here scraped it is when I <laughs> fell over it. Is. But you're a pretty big guy. Who knocked you over? Some crazy girl named Lynn it is. Girl? And, yeah, some girl it is. And I mean, she fights like a football player. I could imagine. Why did she get so angry? To I don't know. We were having a little party there and we were a little happy smoke. And she weren't happy because it weren't enough happy smoke and it was more pills than it was happy smoke. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> uh, it's a pill thing going on up right. there. What okay. kind of happy pills did you have? You had happy pills? What kind of pills? Well, Vicodin, uh, Codeine, Threes. Uh, <laughs> you, you, you name it, we can get it. Wow. Really? Okay, I'm, I'm going to name some later. <laughs> Marty's into the name game. Yeah, I can even get Berkus. Can you? Yeah. Can okay. you get any? Uh, can you get any H? A little. Uh, a little uh, heroin? Uh, if I tried hard enough, I probably could figure out where to get it. Oh, good. Can mm -hmm. you still get lewds? Quaaludes? Quaaludes? I don't think I'm so. I've not seen those around in quite a long time. Yeah, nobody has. No, they're, they're gone. <laughs> oh, I've seen them in the past. Right. It's been quite a while since I've seen them. Yeah. Right. Well, 
Hey, anyway, I was glad to hear the news, too, that you have a girlfriend. Yes, I um, do. I, so I thought we'd play a little game here. You have three women yeah. are going to walk in. We're going to try and guess which one is what having sex. What does he here. mean by girlfriend, really? Yeah, talk to us about that. How long has this been going on? How many weeks? Well, it's been going on, like, two, three weeks right. now, it is. And she's with you every night? Yes. Uh -huh. most, well, I'm, li I'm meet? living in the same house with her. Oh, you Where'd moved in. Where did you meet this girl? This was the girl I screwed for two and a half hours in, and rocked her world. Oh. And she wanted to marry me the first night I took her to bed. <laughs> wow. Now, she voluntarily went to bed with you, or did you... Uh, of course she volunteered to go to bed with me. She didn't. You didn't force yourself upon her? I didn't her. force myself on her. Right. She wanted me to do what she but wanted. But where did you find her? I mean, you didn't just find her in your bed. Where did you find her? I went, like... Cruising around, you'd be surprised some of the places where my Cadillac could go. Oh, is that right? All right. She and fell you... asleep in my chloroform handkerchief. <laughs> oh, it you is. just be quiet. It is. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm kidding around. I'm going to guess the girl with a bandage on her head, if there's one. <laughs> All right, let's bring in the three ladies, and we'll have a little fun here. Which girl was brave enough to have sex with Bigfoot? This is uh, lady number one. There's lady number two. And lady number three. Oh, Janice Dickens is one of them. Come on. All right. All three ladies. How nice. Girls, we're going to play a little game. We didn't know that Bigfoot had a, a new lady, and we thought we'd... Uh, hello, number one. How are you? Uh, let me see if I can get these microphones working. Okay. Go ahead. That's number one. Okay. Hi, number one. Hi, Howard. And uh, your first name is? Debbie. Debbie. Debbie, how did you meet Bigfoot? Well, um, I don't remember because I was a little... I was a little blacked out that night, but right. he took me home, and he's just, like, the best, and he is, like, the best, sweetest puppy. I love him so much. And uh, is he the first guy you ever made love to, or have you had others? No. No, I was married. You were married yeah. at the time, yeah. 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 And, 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 and Bigfoot claims he rocked your world. What does that mean, he rocked your world? You know, Howard. What did he do to you that really moved you? He did everything. He like was so what? Well, even if I have my period, he'll eat me. He's wow. so good. Wow. <laughs> Holy that really foot, isn't that something? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> he'll go down on you no matter what's brewing downstairs. Well, yeah. Yeah, you got a nice body. I can see that. You're a pretty girl. And uh, I guess uh, men are few and far between sometimes. It's hard to find a good one. Well, he's so ni he's nice. Yeah, and he's you would marry mean. him? Yeah. You would. And you woke up and he was living with you <laughs> from your blackout. All right, let's go to number two, yeah. okay, guys? And we'll do a little bit of interview with number two. Number two, hi, what's your name? Charlotte. Charlotte. And Charlotte, how did you meet Bigfoot? Um, on the out, outside. We were outside, and um, he just... Outside of where? A house. Uh, outside yeah. of someone's house? Why are you so foggy? Are you are you high yourself on some sort of drug? Uh, I, mean, I, I don't I don't know. Um, yeah. I, I don't know. You don't know anything. No, but yeah. I mean I I don't know what you mean. Are, but, you, have yeah, you ever been my, with a man before, Bigfoot? Is this the first oh, time? Yeah. Oh, you've been with yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Was the man a Sasquatch yeah. as well? Is Bigfoot? Yeah. What is it about Bigfoot you love so much? Oh my God, he's so. Oh, he's so sweet and cute, and he. He tastes really delicious. And you and blow him, I guess, huh? Oh, yeah. Let me say that, yeah? Oh, okay. my wow. God. Yeah. That's and why. you guys have sex all the time? Oh. 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 How Everybody's often? shaking their heads. All the girls are <laughs> shaking their heads. Right? Yeah, yeah. He has a lot of yeah. needs. Oh, yeah. All right, so. Uh, on the way here. Oh, I, I want to talk. Tell about us what that. happened on the way here. No, no, no. It was just, oh, God. It was like we were all in the car and it was real hard to find space and stuff but i i we um and well i you know it's like we just i understand you had sex in the hotel room last night in front of the other musicians is that yeah. true <laughs> oh oh sure yeah number one you're shaking your head you had sex with him in the hotel room too well, yeah yeah all right well number three let's get to you now robin i'm starting Hi. to get my own opinion number Hi. three you claim to be Bigfoot's girlfriend. What's your first name? Um, my name is Lori. Lori. Lori, and, how'd you meet Bigfoot? Um, I One night I went to the bar, and I was awful wasted, and he was a sweetheart and gave me a ride home in every sense. Um, we've just been together, and he's hot and sexy and gorgeous. And uh -huh. 
Hey, I like this Bigfoot. <laughs> right. And, you know uh, what they say, Bigfoot, big. He's got a big, so yeah, nice. he's got a big one, I mean, and I'm like, his fingers are kind of too big for me. <laughs> you don't let his hands near you, huh? You got to oh, keep them away, yeah. It's like one's enough, man. Right. You know what they say, Bigfoot, great but singer. We, we, had a, we had a great time last night, and I'm so happy to be here. I what, watch your show all the time. What's the rudest thing you ever, he ever did to you, the... Uh, he was um, farting in the green room. Oh, yeah. He That's farts and gags me. You light a match. You might gag or burps once in a while and you by accident in your face, you know. Does he ever, does he ever do anything rude to you sexually? I mean, is he um, No, actually, no. he doesn't. Um, but what I'm, is, what is I'm a kinky kind of girl, so I try to, you know, we try to get What is that, Robin? Kinky what does Bigfoot like to do in bed? Oh. Fart. No. He just likes to fuck. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Straight ahead kind of guy. Straight ahead yeah. guy. All right. I, I'm, gonna, I'm ready he to make likes, my guess. He likes to get his, you know. He likes to get off. And... I think I'm ready to make my choice as to who I think Bigfoot's girlfriend is. <laughs> Robin, are you ready? Uh, are I'm, you not I'm very ready. Oh, you know the answer. Right. All right. I'm very ready. I'm Gary, very confident. You here. know the answer, right? Okay. I guess it's me, Artie, and Fred. Uh, yeah. uh, I'm very confident that it's number one. Very confident. Her body language, she's been nodding toward Bigfoot. She looks to him every minute. It's like there's love in the air, and she is madly in love with him. If I'm wrong about this, then I'm, then, then I'm doubting you my whole... You don't know anything. Well, that's right. Go ahead, Artie. <laughs> I've seen enough shitty auditions to know the first two are acting. It's number three. You think it's Whoa. number three? Yep. All right, man. Go ahead, Fred. The number one fooled me. Go ahead, Fred. I almost think number three is a little too articulate for, uh, Big for Bigfoot. Bigfoot. Yeah. So it's between number one and number two. Uh, uh, Charlotte, it is. You say number one. Number two. Number two. All right. So we all disagree. Uh, who wouldn't say, be more articulate? I say number one. <laughs> Artie says number three. And uh, Fred says number two. Who's the winner, Gary? Um, will the real Bigfoot's girlfriend step forward number three? Oh, yeah, it's I'm gotta wrong. be the first two are acting. Wow. Wow. Hi. Number wait a second. First of all, number one, you're a good actress, aren't you? <laughs> well, thanks, Howard. Yeah. I mean, where do we find you? We called, you know, uh, Benji's got some actor friends, and we called She's a friend terrific. of a friend. I th you had me totally convinced. I'm 100% hook, line, and sinker, even looking at Bigfoot and, 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 and like, almost ready to have sex with him. Uh, number two, where are you from? Another actor friend? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, I know Benji. I know I know everyone that, um, and, I, and now I know Bigfoot, too. Right. Are you acting now, or are you, no. is that how you really are? I don't know how I am. I yeah. see. Well, the two of you are very good actresses, and I want to thank you for playing along today. Oh, thank you, do you, Howard. Are you plugging anything today? Any, 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 go ahead. What are you plugging? Yeah. Oh, we're actually what are you comedians, plugging? Tell me. and we're in a little show at a cabaret in the village on Saturday night at Rose's Turn. And I know you're going to laugh at the name of the show, Howard. It's called If We Were Men, We'd Be Famous. Of course, really, if we were men, we'd just be pissing standing up. Right. But yeah. It's five female stand-up comics. Yeah. Nine nine o'clock on Saturday. Sharp. Ten short. And uh, so oh, it's get ten dollars thirty to get Is that a right? seat. And we'd love to see you or Bigfoot and Laurie or anybody. All right, great. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. Yeah. you are very talented. Thank you. Rose's, very much. Rose's turn is the third Thank place I ever did stand up. Is in my that right? Yeah, okay. Rose. There you go. It's well, a good place. Fun. Fifty-five Grove Street in the Village. Yeah. All right, girls. Right. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks for helping us out this morning. Thank you. Thank you, Benji, for turning us on. Hey, the woman that got you. Do you want my cell phone? Shecky Green. I want to give her my cell phone. All right, we'll do it in a minute. Hi. Hi. I'm actually looking out for him because a lot of people have been being gold diggers and upsetting him, and I think that's why the addition didn't go well, as Let me ask today. you something, and, and this is an important question. Right. Bigfoot came into some money from this show, $8,000. Yeah, and he hasn't received it yet, but all these girls have got claws out on him. I mean, this lady literally beat the shit out of him, telling him he's going to pay her 1500 taxes. I mean, it's ridiculous. So I'm up there burrowing money for him myself, and I'm, I'm taking care of him. So you are with not my after, own funds. you're not after his funds? No, not at all. What would you I, like to see him do with the funds? Invest? I would, I would like to see him get himself some nice new clothes and do things for him. Yeah, and fix his car up. Right, and then where where did you really meet Bigfoot? How did you guys? What was the I, I really favorite? I really did meet him downtown at downtown? the bar, and I needed to ride home because I was so wasted I couldn't drive. Right, and, and I followed her home one night. And she was all over the road. Yeah, and he right. helped me out. I mean, and I admit to that. Right. And, I must. I I actually had a girl be a designated driver, but I didn't want to drive my car after I got pissed off. Have you it. introduced Bigfoot to your parents yet? 
Um, yes. We, he's actually been right over there today. Yeah, I've been right over there. And I'm trying to be therapeutic and, and help him out a lot, you know? Now, when he walks in the house and your parents look him over, are they a little scared of him? He's a very intimidating man. No, because he actually, in the right. past, had been to my parents' um, through my brother. I see, yeah. yeah. I oh, see. so you guys are all friends. You sort of know. Yeah, we know people. of each other. And Now, when it got romantic and Bigfoot pulled down his pants, were you shocked by the size of his uh, member? Oh, my God, yes. That's right. huge. I huge. Mean, for me, it's huge. It was hard for you to handle. Yeah. Right. So did you have to ease it in? Was that the problem? Yeah. 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 Kind, of, yeah. It's kind of yeah. like how, how difficult was it? It was fairly difficult. Yeah, so sometimes I uh, have a little problem hitting the right area. Oh, and, really? Oh, you have yes. trouble finding the spot? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and we need to work on that. I mean, he accidentally put it in your behind. Oh. Is that right? Is that what happened? No, actually, that it. would be cool, too. That would work for me. Right. He's well, just hit nothing. Have, Where the fuck he put it? Yeah. He doesn't know how to put it in. You know, I we actually need to learn how to be more compatible so I can get off and all of that. Oh, oh really? really? So you haven't yeah. received an orgasm from mm, Bigfoot? Not yet. Why is well, that? Bigfoot, you told us you rocked Ooh. her world. I rocked her world uh, the first night. The, 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 the reason why is because, you know, it happens too quickly. And oh. You, yeah, he gets so excited that it says, boom. You mean he rocked his own him. world? Uh, yeah, yeah, his world is rock. So, Bigfoot, what happens? You put it in and then you, you it's explode? It's gone. It's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's and we fast. need to slow it down something. Is the happy smoke doesn't slow you down? No, it just makes it work all the faster. It did, no, it, it just makes him... Did uh, you try doing it more than once? How about cock rings? <laughs> did you try doing it more than once? Yes, um, several yes, times. Several times. And in one night? Yeah. And you yeah. still uh, finish just as fast? Yeah. Yeah, he can't... He can't hold back? No. Wow. Do you wear a rubber? No. No, you cut, you, you go in bareback. Aren't you guys afraid of having a baby? Um, No, because I got my tubes tied. Oh, you did? Yeah. Uh, oh, thank good. God. Good. That's yeah. good. That's good. Yeah, most See, definitely. You know, I uh, knew anything about that. That's yeah. the first time you knew? Yeah. <laughs> did, you thought think? you were having a baby. <laughs> did you want a baby? Is that what you were going for? Don't home? matter to me. I soon do anything. What, what happens? I don't care anymore. You know. I mean, literally, there's been oh, rumors. I, I, I would, I would like to see someone like that happen. It is. You right. would. You would like to see a baby I'm come out. I'm not sure medical science would. But uh, yeah. yeah, right. I'm afraid of you two having a baby. Honestly, I am. Right. I don't think it, it would be good. It reminds me of Brangelina. No. Yeah, I might. The kid no, might no. be a big mess. I don't need no baby right now. Right. I, I've already had three kids. Yeah, well, oh, you have. Okay. Yeah. They must be doing great. Yeah. What is that, Bigfoot? Let her finish telling the story here. It was about some guy asking her one time. Is that about me going out with Lori Green, what it is, and what did the guy say about me? What? <laughs> about me being a rat, supposedly? Oh, yeah, and all this other stuff, yeah. Yeah. Wow. A, a, yeah, and to a, watch out for him and crap like that, but you know I mean, what? Uh, you, you have a bad reputation. Bigfoot guys are warning her away wow. from you? Yeah, he yeah. warning Yeah, me but a lot of people are starting trouble right now. Like, these girls are dead set. I mean, they're up there telling people stories that I'm holding him hostage. Could you see me holding a guy like him? No, hostage. he's a tough guy. I'm willingly helping him out of the kindness of my heart, which God teaches me to do. Right. And I'm I'm going overboard. I mean, I'm, I've got my own expenses. And are you in love with him? Um, yeah, I mean, it takes a while to fall right in love instantly. Right. I do love and care about him, and I'm looking out for the best interest of him. Would you it. like a proposal? Would you like to be married to Bigfoot? Um, I don't, I don't know. Uh, if she don't really want to rush into that. Yeah, yeah. Half no, right of eight G's, I've known baby. him for three weeks. You've got to at least give a relationship a little time to well, You two are it. already living together. That seems a little fast to me. You yeah, he, he didn't have a place, though. Oh, no. he's got, it's either that or the street. Oh, yeah. Hey, Lord. Well, uh, but, uh, but, yeah. uh, Bigfoot says that everyone in town is very jealous that he has such a hot girlfriend. And I can see you're an attractive woman. So. Yeah, and yeah. I look rough today, but if I I don't, don't think so. I would like to come on your show when I can really be decked out. And look yeah, well, good. that would be nice, too. I'd like to see that. And right? I love to, you know, every time I watch a show, I'm like, wanting to do this. Show Let me show, show, show me your titties. Let me see. Yeah. Let me see what you got. I've been wanting to do that. Wow. Like, show my Look at those up. things. They're a little wrinkly from having kids, but you know, I get them tanned. Hey, bed. Hey, so Laura. Nipples. She's not shy at all. No, she's not you shy like at all. Very you nice. Don't want shy. If I get tanned, down to her if I get tanned, I got whatever. Hot. What did you say? She soon not down to her underwear or right down yeah. to her bush. Wow. That's why I need to get tanned again. I want to come on here. I want to have the opportunity to come on here again and be all decked right out. Now, tanned. Bigfoot says Losing you're the perfect. Bigfoot says you're the perfect couple because you both take seizure medication. Is that true? Yes, yes it is true. I'm actually on a lot of medication now, which I never was. I'm shocked by that.
Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I couldn't tell. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. We'll, we'll keep the name. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Anyway, she yeah. has psychic powers <laughs> doing this. Psychic I mean, uh, powers? Huh? Oh, 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 ordinary read things ahead of time in this. Is that right? Uh, she warned me about something at this, uh, what was going to happen down in my studio at this, uh -huh. and I didn't listen to her at this. And I drove off, of course, because it was, uh, it really let happened. Let me finish the story. What happened, as uh -oh. soon as we got there at this, there's people coming out of the studio like a swarm of bees at this, swarming around her car at this, and driving me so mad at this, I was screaming all at them at this. I tried to get them away for her car. Uh -huh. You sound like Frankenstein. You walk through town and people swarm all over you and you bat them away. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, why are people... That, you, you say you have psychic powers and you They're warn him... They're out to get him for his money. They know he's coming in six grand. It's like Pam's got dibs on it. There's this... Uh, but guys, Linda. guys, we're talking about $8,000. It's hardly a fortune. I know. I mean, exactly. what are we talking about here? Everyone in town is chasing Bigfoot? And why does everybody... Yeah. Yeah. Well, him for his money. It's nothing. That is nothing. I mean, when he's got to fix his car, he's got to, you know, pay bills. Bills. I mean, he's right. got to be responsible. Buy clothes for myself. Yeah, he needs clothes badly. Right. I wash these pants for him. He's only got two pairs. I don't understand why everyone in town is after eight thousand dollars and trying to. You it's know, a poor town. Yeah, but this is crazy. I mean, he's, I know. He's been saying you won the money. It is certified yours. Bigfoot. You why it. does everybody know? Yeah, because he told them. Uh, no. He made the mistake of telling yeah, everyone. Everybody else found out over the radio, too, and he going around telling nope. welfare workers and everything <laughs> else. You uh, need to hire a bodyguard. Yeah, exactly. Pretty, pretty yeah. near, I got a bodyguard that watches over me. I really? A EP at this, I'll cook my person. meals, and wow. appears my laundry, or... Does what does what homework I have to do with writing le uh, letters or sending out checks? Gee homework. whiz, it's complicated. Johnny Absolutely. in Denver, go ahead. He has a question for Bigfoot. We're here to yeah. celebrate Bigfoot's new record release, White yes, Cadillac. Yes, exactly. Yes, go ahead. Uh, Bigfoot, in your eyes, describe your, your girlfriend to us because I'm kind of curious. It's like, to see, like, what kind of lady would be attracted to? Bigfoot. Describe your girlfriend to the audience because it's radio, Bigfoot, if you could. Well, my girlfriend is, is a redhead I got right now at this, and she has a kind of a fairly good attitude at this, and she realizes... Well, describe her appearance. Yeah, I mean, they want to know what she looks like. Does she have a pants or, or, or... Yeah, she's sexy. Would you tell us what tell us. Tell yeah, us. she's very sexy. Yeah. Is she beautiful? Why do we say some things? <laughs> her pants <laughs> about five foot... What, four five. inches tall? No, I'm five foot, uh, five. Five, five foot. foot five? Yeah. All right. Well, ass, we... ass, no ass. But with my heels on, I... Oh. You got a nice ass, right? Yeah. Let me see that Does thing. Does she have Stand a good ass? Let me take a look at your ass. Yeah, the pants are a little loose. Let oh, yeah, how do I... Hey, like, stand up and let me see what's doing here. I mean, the pants are Let me see. Pull that pant. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, no, those are nice. Yeah. That's nice. Are you like that, right, Bigfoot? Mm. Bigfoot, that's nice. You ever, yeah. you ever hit her from behind? I, I think he wants to see the... Like, I'm, I'm, oh, she's taking her pants down. I'm a little shocked here. Yeah. Let me see that. Wow. That's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I can see why you don't last that long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got it. All right. Not bad. Hey, Lord. Uh, I didn't need any caviar either. Uh, Lord, I don't need anything by this. You know, we're just talking. Do you uh, do you have a problem with like uh, any drugs, like opiates or something? You got to yeah, put your headphones on so we can no, hear I'm you. No, I'm honestly on a lot of um, medication. Wait, 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 honey, honey, listen. Put put on these headphones because it's got a microphone on it. Yeah. So I can hear. No, I'm yeah. honestly not. Put it on the right direction so that things out of your mouth. Okay. Oh, there you That's go. going on the wrong way. Uh, Help that, her out, okay. Gary. Okay. Okay. Give her a hand. Thank you. It's like a retarded love connection. All right. <laughs> I love it. That's what I love about you. I watch you. I, I watch you all the time on TV, thank you. and thank you. I'm so, so thankful to be here. Well, thank well, you wait for a minute. being you here. You said you. Oh, you Bigfoot. look good in your Santa suit. Do it. On, 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 on the Letterman show. The, the David Letterman show. Oh. I was watching that. <laughs> thank you, brother. Wait. Uh, uh, one more question. What? Okay. Everyone was watching. One more yeah. Question. Who's on top? Who's on bottom? Yeah, what do you like to do? What's your favorite yeah, what's your position, position? Um, as a new couple? Yeah, I like him on top. On top, yeah. It's yeah. kind of kinky. Well, I like it every way, actually. We're getting into different positions now, so I think that's going to start out. I also like to ride. Right. Well, if he could hold out just a few minutes. Yeah, just a few more minutes longer. Right. I mean, I hey, could be. The rubber, the rubber. Yeah, maybe the rubber would help because the pussy wouldn't feel so hot then. Yeah, that's the problem. The pussy's too hot. <laughs> right. That's a nice lump. And, he's very, and he's very large? Yes, and yeah. I'm very tight, so, you know, it, like...
It's just a commotion. He just sticks his head in and he's off. I wow. He doesn't even get past the head. <laughs> oh, my god. You don't goodness. even get the whole thing. <laughs> KY in a rubber. Wow. Oh, Bigfoot, he'll calm down. You know what it is? It's new, you're hot, and he's, yeah. he's excited. That's it. Right. Yeah. Have yeah. you lasted longer with other girls? Oh, I can't really get into that because uh, other girls, I've messed around with them for uh, like 22 times they got off at this when one girl. One girl got off 22 wow. times. Yeah. Good for you. Wow. Or did you get off 22 times? I got off 22 times. Yeah, that's times. what I thought you said. <laughs> yeah. A girl registered a big goose yeah. egg. Right? Yeah. So she might have, uh, she might have not, but. Yeah. yeah. I, th I think she called 911 22 times. <laughs> That's what I think. But uh, you two are a lovely couple, i got to tell well, you. Wait a minute, yeah. let me go back to something. Uh, Artie said you did say you were a little um, inebriated the day, I think, the day you met Bigfoot. So on top of all this medication, you drink? Uh, no, I'm actually pretty good. Um, actually, I was so excited to come here last night, I did drink, but oh. well, I'm not you a normal. Is, is it true you taped your sex last night? Can we hear that? Do you mind if um, I play that? You know what? I wished it would have been more kinky than it was. I don't mm -hmm. know if it's even going to sound good. All right, let's take a listen. I haven't heard this tape at all. This is I, Bigfoot in the hotel with uh, the very beautiful... The hotel was a apartment. Room. Apartment, okay. Yeah. Building. I'm not sure it's even going to sound right, because if I knew it was going to be taped, I could have really made that. Well, this is good. I like that it's real. Yeah, it's real. Let's, let's yeah. see what's going on in the bedroom now. This is a Lori and Bigfoot. Are you eating my pussy? <laughs> oh, God, when he eats my pussy, I like that. I wish he'd just stay down there longer than I'd be. He's good at that, eating the pussy. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. Okay, good for you, Bigfoot. He sucks on the clitty nice and everything. Yeah, really? Kidding. Where'd you learn that? Don't worry. I, I, I've been around the farm more times than probably you have. I bet you have. I'm bi, by the way, too. You Are know, you? a nice hot woman. Oh, God. You like that? Yeah, but I'm not, you know, I don't want him to think of me in a sick way or anything. But no, uh, no you know, he's bi, too. He's, he's, had, he's had You know, man. a nice hot woman. Oh, God. Would you like to have another woman in the bed with you, Bigfoot? Oh, I would. Don't matter to me. Would you wouldn't believe what was going on last night. What was going on? I would be in on? heaven. What happened uh, last uh, night? What, uh, what happened? Well, I, I don't know if I should say this or not. Well, nothing happened. Um, our guy just needed a bed to stay, and he gave Kenny his bed, and he just slept on one side, and he actually didn't fall asleep. Yeah, so well, I mean, Nothing happened, but if somebody was to come in and look at it, it'd be two guys and a girl in the same bed. You like that too, Bigfoot? You want to share her with another guy? No, no. See, not, I don't want to get not, into not, that. Not really. It is. The manager was tired, it is, and what happened, it is. Yeah. I slept on one side of the bed. Lori was in the in the okay. middle of the bed, and the manager he was on the other side of Lori. Is. Right. I see. And and he didn't get it on with her in front of you. No, he didn't. No. no. Okay. No, I don't. I don't want to be shared with another guy, but another woman. Oh yeah. All right. Well, maybe that'll happen, but that'd be nice, uh, wouldn't it? And the most. Yeah, we're trying to work on that happening. The too. most important thing I want to let you know that Bigfoot really has worked hard on his CD, and I know he has. Kenny inspires him though. He plays the guitar so great. I mean, he sings to my soul. Literally, when Kenny's playing that music, Bigfoot can start singing and. Jamming. I know, and in fact, 802-399-8066, the number for uh, ordering the album, and I know a lot of people right. are going to want right. to do that. Right. Um, I would like to hand you all, or he's going to hand Let me play you. you guys having sex, and then we'll do that. I'm going to wrap it up, because we got to get going anyway. Yeah. So, uh, here is Bigfoot having sex, Robin. And, uh, all right, let's look. Uh, and right. Lori, right? And Lori, yes, of I'm, course. I'm not sure if I was making noises or not. Here we go. Uh, uh, that's what God, I was buzzing. <laughs> oh, it sounds. Oh, that sounds pretty hot. Yeah. I guess we do that. <laughs> He must have been eating you, right? Yeah. That can't be from intercourse. Oh, God, he had to have been down there mounting on my pussy, because then I'll start groaning and moaning, and you know how it all rolls. I was eating her. <laughs> Were you eating her at that point? Well, you ain't keeps his beard so healthy. Yeah, that's right. That's hey, true. I actually helped trim him up a bit, so he could come on and be more representable. You know, when Brad Pitt got with Angelina Jolie, they called him Brad Brangelina, and, and, and now we have Lori Foot.
Yeah, <laughs> yeah Lori and Bigfoot. Lori foot, yeah. Lori foot, yeah, and I got a big well, foot too. I always. I was going to throw you on the Sibian since you haven't had a, a, a good <laughs> orgasm in a while, but maybe the next time we'll get you. Actually, look good. at the size of her foot. That is a big foot. I have a big, a big foot, foot for one. I hate yeah. it. Well, you two are a lovely couple. This is a ski foot. Oh, look at that. Look, look at those four socks, Yeah, too. you might want to wash those socks. They look like Bob Lanier. You want to sit on the uh, Sibian, <laughs> Bigfoot? You want her on there? What's in the Sibian? Uh, you sit on it, it'll give you an orgasm. Oh, wow. You want to sit on that thing? <laughs> it's up to you. you no, know you want Feel it. free if you want to. <laughs> I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, it's well, like a, vi it's a vibrating seat. Fire it out if you want it, What are you saying, Bigfoot? It's a vibrating seat. Oh, yes. You sit on that thing, it'll rock your world, baby. You and them. You might not go back to Bigfoot. Yeah, you might dump it. <laughs> Should I do this next time? I don't know. It's up to you. Maybe, maybe there is no next time. What if you two break up? All right, do it now. Mm. Yeah, maybe you should. Take the headphones off. If you want to, headphones, go ahead. Headphones. Take the headphones off. Oh, go yeah. sit on that shit, thing. Shit, shit. Might have to pull your pants down. It is. <laughs> but. Uh, not even you saying it is now. I, I'm finding myself saying it. <laughs> you sit on that. Yeah, you're gonna take your, you got to take your pants off, I think. Uh, yeah. Oh, boy. Right, yeah, that's fine. Go, yeah, you can sit in your pantyhose. You'll feel it. That'll, that'll go right through it. I need pantyhose on, though, because it's okay. horrible. That's okay. I don't have pantyhose. I mean. No, I need pantyhose. Oh, you don't, don't need have pantyhose. You don't need pantyhose. You're hot. Horrible. My legs are scarred up and stuff. So I'd prefer to do this next time. I would love to. All right, next time you'll do it. Is that from no, the no, cigarette burns or what? Was that from we... Bigfoot burning you or what? <laughs> no, he didn't abuse me. I was actually, he saved me from all the abuse. He did? Honest to God, he all did. Right, that's good. A, a big guy like him, they're scared, they run. Oh, I would have messed with this guy. He could fight. I mean, seriously, yeah. I will do this next time if you'll let me back all on right, the show. Baby, you and got I want to be all dressed up and have hot pantyhose. All right, you got, fair enough. We'll wait till right. next time. But Lord, the, guy before you, be back. the guy before you, Lori, would, would burn you and abuse you that bad? Oh, yeah, badly. I mean, that was ridiculous. So jealous that he literally threw a thousand dollars on my clothes in my yard to milk. Well, that's the problem when you're hot like you. Uh, the things like that Guys happen. Guys go crazy. Guys yeah. go crazy. Oh, Bigfoot, don't get super jealous. Okay. No, I'm not up right now. Good. So, like, I'm thinking I'll get tan and beautiful before I come back. All right, fair enough. We'll wait for you to feel like you're in real pretty shape. I you would know love I mean? to come back. All right, here. Bigfoot, I want to thank you and good luck with the album. And right. I think and, um, we're going to work out fine because uh, I think I'm therapeutic for him and he's good for me. He doesn't right. let nobody abuse You don't have to sell me on this he's love match. He's a gentle giant. Uh, he sure is. He's a good guy. He's I like a, him. I, and scare, Laurie, I scare all our drivers the way it is. I come walking up the road and you think I'm uh, yeah. credible. What, what do your kids think of him? Do they like um, him? They like him. They like him. Yeah. All right. That's good. Is it, yeah. it, it, it's romantic. It is. It really is. Yeah. They liked him over anyone else. All and, right. and Bigfoot, you like the kids? The kids are fine. It is. The it's only just, thing I didn't like about the kids kind of threw a little tantrum when we yeah. brought her home it is because she thinks we stole to her CD. And, and of course we didn't. And, and just because she lost them, she thinks we are responsible for them. <laughs> right. Did you take the CDs no. from the kid? No, we no, would have no, no use no for them. That's silly. I, it's unbelievable. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think you would do She's a 14-year-old like child, you know, and she teenagers... They go crazy sometimes. Sometimes. you got to be patient, Bigfoot. Yeah, That's I know. You Are you it. ready for the, the uh, responsibilities of fatherhood, you think? Mm. Oh, he's uh, ready. Yeah. I, well, hey, I was born ready in this. Stay away from the kids you should. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've already I, had three I, of them. I, I, I've, I've had kids of four around me. At really? Years, and I took money right out of my pocket when I was dealing in drugs and uh -huh. stuff like this uh -huh. and buy food for the house. That's I four see. kids. Yes, All yes. Right, well, that's well, I'm not the kind of person that is it's cruel against kids. No, but now, Bigfoot, will you continue to give uh, Lori kids your drug dealing money <laughs> as a good father <laughs> no, uh, make uh, really I don't drug deal anymore it is the only way I do that is I do special deliveries oh okay good. all right, right well there you go there's a lot to talk about a lot more to get to Always but yeah. something to learn. Time, that's right but do you just... think you could come up with some type of special talent you would want me to do for your show because I'll come Fully Honey, ready next this time. Is, this is as bad, the good a talent as you get. Just being okay. with Bigfoot, I'll tell you. It's really okay. quite tough. Can you do a little soft shoe? What does yeah. Bigfoot semen taste like? Leave us with that oh. thought. Oh, so that's we... sweet. It's Definitely, sweet? Definitely, yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, it's sweet. It, it doesn't good. taste like fish and all this good. It's good. All yeah. right. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know how some men have a smell yeah, of a semen? You know. He's going please. down on me, of course. What is that? Peace, He's guys, going down please. on me, of course. She's gone down on you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She did that the first night. Yeah, I'm real good at that. I swallowed that whole. Wow. You took all of uh, Bigfoot's load? Was it a heavy oh, yeah. load? Oh, actually, I don't like to swallow, but I swallowed it. His 
penis all I meant. Yeah, you took it all in. Yeah. Right. I could do it all in, and it was good. You spit it out afterwards. Yeah, because I don't like to swallow. Understood. I'm going to throw it myself in. I'm a kinky kind of girl, but I don't like to swallow. Yeah. (laughs) Welcome to Gross Week on the Howard Stern Show. Nice. I'm canceling my subscription. Uh, Thank you, Bigfoot and Lori. Uh, How are you? Uh, Yes, Artie. No, oh, oh, sorry. Um, Somebody saying oh, something? Yeah. Richie. Uh, yeah, I, oh, think, Richie, what? Okay. Yes. Well, I, I couldn't make out who was Can we see it. proof of this relationship and have them make out? Why I do I have to see that? I, I believe that. You I have to see, see that? I got to see this. Would you guys want to make out? I got to see this thing. Let me see you make out. He doesn't believe you're a couple. All right. Oh, dear. Fucker. We are a couple. Yeah. All right, I've seen enough. Oh, my. Throw up, I did. Uh, anyway, uh, congratulations, you two. Bigfoot, let's just right. give the number out one more time for Bigfoot's new album. We heard some of the music live. It was awesome. Big White Cadillac, call 802-399-8066. Um, and uh, thank you for being here, my friend. My no giant. problem. Uh, Do you uh, did, that, um, did you hear I need to have, uh, I mean, um, wait. Howard Stern radio it is. Well, that way I can able to hear you. Oh. Yes, we have to get that for you. Sirius Satellite Radio. Do you think yeah. like yeah. Uh, next time like Kenny could jam some uh, is, guitar is that music? Be paid for the whole year. And we could do, I could do some dancing. Well, we're going to get down to all your needs. We'll see if we can get you right. signed up for everything. All right? You didn't have uh, right. a radio before yeah. Bigfoot? No, yeah. I didn't. My, my I gal, have a tape deck, honey. My, my gal had one. I never had one. Oh. It's All right. Well, why don't we go expensive. sort this out? We'll sort this out. I um, promise you. What I All was right. wondering if we could come I, here. Like have Kenny play, he'll sing, and I'll dance. Right, let me let me, uh, let me think about all of this. There's a lot for me to absorb. Right. And, I realize that. That's right. why. <laughs> all right. So when you want me, you got my number, right? All right. I got your number. Thank you, Bigfoot. Thank, Thank you, you, Lori. So Thanks, yes. everybody. Thank you. We're yeah. gonna take. Do I need a break or can yes, I go right do. to my? Get my okay. Yes. Oh, I say. All right. We'll be back right after these words. All right. All right. Everyone Everyone easy. Letters about Bigfoot singing yesterday. How did that go over? I wonder. People liked it. See, I'll tell you what they said. <laughs> oh, that's good, man. That is really good. So, anyway, getting back to uh, Bigfoot. Who cares if Bigfoot can't remember the lyrics? Jesus, let him sing. Let him sing. Well, that's what we're doing. He got upset that he didn't remember the lyrics. Uh, here's another one. You got to tell us on the air where we can buy the Bigfoot CD. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, I got to say, listening here at work to Bigfoot sing is hysterical. I'm sitting here laughing out loud. Poor guy was so upset he couldn't remember the lyrics. If he doesn't realize he's tone deaf, then he has more problems than just bitches chasing him for eight grand. Please, <laughs> someone put him out of his misery. Uh, he's like, oh, my God, this Bigfoot is too funny. I almost choked on my oatmeal. Artie, I love you, and I really wish you would take better care of your health. Try to lose some weight. And finally, great show today. This bit with Bigfoot makes up for yesterday's gay shit. <laughs> Here's someone's reaction to Artie's diet. Oh, my God, that was terrifying. Artie could try to write down his intake in an effort to control it. Maybe seeing it would make him more real. Maybe get a personal trainer, dietitian. He needs intervention. Uh, Artie going through what he eats in a day. I know. Yes. By the way, I would like to hear some of Bigfoot's music from the CD. You I what? couldn't believe what you played yesterday. Hey, Gary, where is that CD? The the Bigfoot one. See, it's not as funny. I like it when he does it live. but Well, uh, on the CD, it was worse than it was in the studio. <laughs> I told Artie he should bring him on tour. Like, <laughs> You're right. Like, uh, a musical opening, opening act. act. Yeah. I would do that. I'm working on get one. I think it's in the, the office. Hold well, on. I know you got something on. Um, you got something on the uh, thing here from yesterday. Yeah. What thing? Uh, my, my, my thing. There's a song. Yeah, one of the pages. There was a song. I, mean, I took it down because I didn't think we needed it anymore. What do you mean you took it down? You took I, it down already, Bigfoot. Well, I was cleaning up. I, I put it whoa, back whoa, whoa, What do you mean took it down? In other words, it was on the page. Why would you take it down? Because it was for yesterday's appearance. Gary. But we're still talking about... What, what? What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? Huh? It's so preview page one in gray. So you had it, didn't you? So we just put it back up. I had you there, you motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had you, you motherfucker. All right, where is it? Oh, is this also Johnny Frotto's upset? It's a Johnny Frotto's upset. Yes, we got to get to I a statement. A, yeah, but I've got a, uh, a voicemail he left for Gary. Oh, okay. 
All right. We played you the tape of Bigfoot having sex. What did you think of that? Uh... Because there was another guy lying in the bed next to them. That I don't know. It was pretty loud. That was pretty weird. Because she said that Bigfoot, when he gets inside of her, he comes in two seconds. He, just, <laughs> he barely gets the head in, she said. Oh. So the, she said he must have been going down on me. Yeah. In this. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, 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 Bigfoot having sex. She said he's no good in intercourse, but oh, geez. He's li she says he's good at licking her. We are just animals. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is gross. What? I don't know. Can you stop the camera? Yeah. <laughs> Enough. Is there going to be an, a video of this? Can you imagine what his breath smelled like? That's what I was thinking to myself. What? Could he smell good at all? I'd put that on Howard TV, that video. <laughs> I really would. I'd want to see it. I don't know. Everyone's getting all uptight. I get all these letters. Don't put this on. Don't put that on. Put everything on. If you don't want to watch. The great thing about Howard TV is you, it's on you, demand. You can choose it or not. Yeah. All right, here's Bigfoot singing Shattered Heart. She took my freedom, she took my heart. Maybe we find it in the dark. Left me stranded in the dark. The purpose of that is. He's got a couple of songs. One's called Serious Radio. It is. That was the one he was trying to sing yesterday. You want to hear it? Is. Yeah. I might want to hear. I might want to hear all of them. <laughs> uh, this one's called It Is. Here's my story. It's true. I was worse off than you at one time. I got a manager. It is, it is. I got the weed. It is, it's a terrible it song. Is. I got serious radio. It is, it is. I got Melanie. It is, it is. I got a fine, fancy motel room. It is, it is, it is. Wow. wow. Uh, you want to hear weed is weed it is? <laughs> You want to hear that one? Yes. All right. Hold on. Take me a second. I should play all of them. I think this, I'm not sure if this is it. Let me see. Testing, testing. One, two, three. I love weed. Yeah. <laughs> but growing in the sun. Should be free. You know what? But this is depressing. I don't know. Weed is weed. Just let's get baked. Let's just get baked. I love weed. <laughs> <laughs> Take a little music off. What this was that other one with the Cadillac? That's the one he was singing yesterday. Big white Cadillac. Yeah. Okay. I can get that for you. <laughs> I got requests. Yeah. Hey, look at it. Look how you know the songs. I buy the big white Cadillac. Get around. I got America's back. I won't let you down. If you want to know the fact, I can be found. It's good. I'm hanging where it's at. Does he know he's not singing? I like the guy in the background trying to make it musical. <laughs> I know. That's kind of cool. Thought 
what he was singing. Yeah, it, that's what was so sweet about it. He really <laughs> thinks he's doing it. He's kind of like American Idol, you know. <laughs> Jim, you're on the air. Hey now. Hey now. Let me tell you, that was the funniest radio I have ever heard yesterday with Bigfoot. He, he was so frustrated. I think I will listen to every single replay yeah. of the day just to catch that again and again. <laughs> yeah, that's a winner. You know, uh, with your meeting with uh, Tim Sabian this afternoon about programming, you should have the Bigfoot Music Hour once a week. That could be something, you know. I mean, that could actually be good, the Bigfoot Music Hour. It's funny, I, um, I was talking to Rob Smigel when I started these channels. I wanted him to do something called the... Triumph the Insult Dog Musical Hour. Uh huh. Because he does a lot of music, and I thought it'd be fun to have musicians. But I don't know. Bob never got back to me about it, so maybe I just give it to Bigfoot. Yeah, why not? We oh. have we have all the machinery in place. Didn't know Bigfoot was into music. Yeah, yeah it'd be kind of cool to hear him interview musicians about their music. Him for for him to talk about his music. It's like one musician to another. Maybe they could play together. Yeah, like a little half hour program. Yeah. Oh, such a train wreck would be great. Yeah, like jamming. And- <laughs> Like he could have his band there, and, <laughs> and that, that, cool. was the, that was the other great thing about that. The, the guy who played the uh, the plays the guitar and actually can sing a little bit, trying to make it sound like he's actually singing a song. Yeah, I wonder if we should do that. Why you know? not try it? I think it's radio gold. I hear you. Thanks, man. Hey, no problem. Hey, Howard. I think actually, I think we might put that together. You've you've uh, you've hit onto something. Yeah. Hey, any. any- yeah. Uh-oh, breaking news. Fred, give me the uh, news sounder, please. Breaking news. A uh, Howard Stern exclusive. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your hats. Bigfoot's girlfriend has kicked Bigfoot out of his apartment. Uh-oh. Out of her apartment. On our phone now is Lori, I believe. You country. Bigfoot's girlfriend. Uh, Lori, you're Bigfoot's girlfriend? Yeah, no longer at all. Hold on. Uh, I can't hear you so good. We ha- We seem to be having a problem. Stay with oh. us. Okay, I am. This is a big breaking story. What happened? Give us the details. Oh, my God. It was sick, Howard. I'm telling you, you don't know how crazy this guy is. I called two emergency crisis people, and they said he's been evicted from every place in town here, and that he goes through this, and he tried to OD in my house the other night, and and before he tried to OD, he wouldn't let his EP have a plate of food. He told him he couldn't eat. And what is OD? Him. Um, he accused me and my daughter of being lesbians because I admitted on his show I was bi, and he was accusing me and my 14-year-old daughter of eating each other's pussy. Oh, gee. Well, what is OD'd? OD'd is an overdose. She said yeah, he OD'd yeah. the house. No, then, no, no. She, she said, tried to, He tried to OD in my house. Oh, in the yeah. house. Oh, I see. Okay. I'm, I'm having exactly. trouble understanding. It's a very emotional moment. So you're claiming Bigfoot accused you and your daughter of being uh, lesbians. Yes, I swear to God. And... Uh, and the cops and everything had to come get him out of there, and they said this ain't nothing new with Buck Shaw. They said he's definitely a case. Now, you tried to, to ask him to leave, I imagine, and what, he wouldn't? Yes, yeah, he would not. He refused. And he says, have the strike word take me out. I hope you'll like it when I'm dead in your house, he said. Mm-hmm. And so then he started eating trays of his medication. Oh. Yeah, and where is the $8,333 he won? He's got 1900 in the bank, and he's carrying like two grand after he got done buying a bunch of, you know, the happy smoke and all of that crap. And he had to pay $175. So he's telling a lot of lies about me. That's not true. Well, what, 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 what specifically is he lying about aside from the lesbian stuff? Okay. He's, he's saying that I've been abusing him and everything, and I have, and I haven't been abusing him at all. And I guess he's done that to every one of his EPs that he has fired in the past. Because I run into Mike Gallup, and Mike Gallup said he pulled the same shit on him. EPs? Like, What's an EP? I, mean, I don't an know. Essential uh, person emergency because, something. Oh, essential, essential person? Yes, because he cannot read or write. He's illiterate. But I have never judged him or put down him for Well, that, I know? can't comment on this till I get Bigfoot on. I tell you what I'm going to do, Lori. Tomorrow I will try to line up Bigfoot and you so we can get to the bottom of this. Oh, I mean, Really? Listen. This yeah. is crazy. Uh, Lori, I will get you on the phone. I'll put you back on hold and make arrangements to get you and Bigfoot on at the same time. I want nothing to do with him. He's, I have a witness right yes, here. Yes, but we have, to, we have to at least get to the bottom of what Maybe happened. Maybe we can straighten you two out. Right. I don't want to ever be with a scum like that again. No, ever. but we need, to, we need to hear you both together so that all accusations can be put on the table. Right. All right. We have to hear his side. You yes. Understand. you got to understand, Lord, we're just as shocked as you that Bigfoot has done something crazy. Right. And we want to get to the bottom of this. 
We need yeah, to well, hear well, you. Yeah, well, I had a lie for you, and the EPA and my 14-year-old daughter were right there, and it was freaking me out. Actually, my EPA? Daughter... What's an EPA? No, my daughter spoke with his emergency worker that works with Bigfoot because of his disability, All right. and she told him the truth. All right, listen to me. Said... Tomorrow, you're going to get on with him, and we're going to find out exactly what the truth is, okay? Okay, call me on 802. Oh, no, 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 no hold on. The number. We'll hold give on. you to Gary. I'll give you to Gary Fafafui. Okay. Fa fa Okay. Thank you. Fa fa fui. I am putting Lori on hold, and so we may follow this breaking story. It sounds like, according to Lori, once Bigfoot got his hands on his some money, he became a big problem. I don't know, Robin. I want to hear both sides of the story. I'm a very fair man. I was just summing up what she yeah. said. I'm I'm concerned. By the powers vested in me by the FCC, <laughs> I have to wait and find out the whole story. All right. As you know, I have taken a legal oath. Robin, what else is yes, in the news? Yes, you just can't take one person's word. Right. <laughs> On the phone now is Bigfoot. Oh, Bigfoot, let me lock you in. Hold on. I can't wait. For let me see if I don't want to. I don't want to lose him. So hold on, Bigfoot. Hold on. Yeah. And then Lori, your ex-girlfriend. Now, I, let me set this up for the audience. A few short days ago, Bigfoot was down here with a very beautiful a girl named Lori. Yes, we thought he had found yes. love, everlasting love. And I said to Bigfoot, do you think this is about your money? And Lori said, no. You know, Bigfoot won $8,300 on our show. Yes, hadn't gotten the check even yet. Right. Now, I got a call yesterday, a very excited call from Lori, who says Bigfoot, she had to throw him out of the house. Right. And making all kinds of accusations. I wanted to get you two kids on the phone. Bigfoot, what happened in your opinion? And then Lori, hi, Lori. Hi. Yeah, I want to find out what happened, see if we can straighten this out. Bigfoot, what happened? What happened is she decided to uh, start a big scene it is because of my EP it is because I bought Chinese food. What is EP? If somebody helps take care of me and stuff at this. Who, who, how do you get an EP? I keep hearing that word EP. That is somebody who helps take care of me. Is it provided by the state? Yes, it is. Why do you need someone to care for you from the state? Because I can't read or write. Oh, oh and so you went to the state and they said you can't read or write, so this girl comes you in and does what? You get a whole well. person when you can't read yeah, or write? Yeah, I mean, that sounds fantastic. That sounds like executive <laughs> producer EP. The blind, they just give yeah. a dog. What, is, what does EP stand for, Bigfoot? Yes. What does the letters EP stand for? It's stand for is for essential person. Essential person, okay. And who is this? A woman or a man? It's a man. A man, all right. And how many often does he come to see you? He lives right there with me, he did. Wow. The state gives you a full time person. Right. Jeez. God, what a job. What a what a country what we live in. What a job. You, I, I I didn't know they were still giving out people. That is fantastic. <laughs> so so why so why do you think you got thrown out of Lori's apartment and why did she break up with you? What happened between you? Why well, I got thrown out of her apartment is after I bought Chinese food. Is she thought my EP needs something to eat and this from my food it is after he left my fingers freezing at point. Point, pointing below it, is, it was all right to him to leave my fingers freezing it is, when I wanted the cup of coffee. <laughs> and what's happened besides there is, um, I said I was going to sleep on the couch and everything it is, and she decided to bring her daughter to bed with her. There's a 14 year old, and she's 34 years old. And she was making accusations and covering her head up. But there's, oh, bring that next to me. And it's, and Lori, what, Lori, is he claiming that you? he's accusing you and your daughter of being gay together? Yes, he is. And he said, because I admitted I was by on your show, that me and my daughter were eating each other's pussies. And he said that to my daughter. And she talked to a caseworker, um, Bigfoot's caseworker at mental health, because he goes to mental health. And they said... That is child abuse, and work, the cops are coming up to remove them from your place. I would never sleep with my daughter. We were both fully dressed. 
I mean, she slept on one side of my bed and I slept on the other. Now, Bigfoot, you understand that uh, a mom That's and a daughter will occasionally sleep in the same bed. It's not a sexual thing. It's no, no, he doesn't understand that. Well, let me let me see if I can. Look, Bigfoot, do you understand what I'm saying? No, I don't. All right. He doesn't understand that. And you know what he said real sick to my 14-year-old daughter? He says, I hope your pussy smell good. That was really sick, and I ain't putting up with abuse like that to my child. Then he turned around and said, we're a bunch of lying bitches, and he called my daughter a bitch. Bigfoot, is, is any of that true? Did you say to the girl, I hope your pussy smells good? I don't even remember. Dude. I was taking overdose of pills at this, and I hope she's real satisfied at this. I even crashed my car in. Into the front lawn of the hospital. It is. Now, how are you allowed? How are you allowed for attention? How are you allowed to drive if you can't read? Very easily. I have studied the test. There's 100 percent, and I know the test it is. And you and did they ask it to you verbally? Yeah, verbally he asked me the test. All right. Verbally. Why is it so important for him to drive? I don't know. Like, whoa. He's got an EP. He's got a yeah. driver's license. I know. I love how I got to pay high taxes because he didn't pay attention in the second grade. Well, I don't know. I don't. I, so, so, Bigfoot. Let me understand something. Why do you assume Lori is a lesbian with her daughter, just because they were in the same bed? Did you think that, Bigfoot? Yeah, I really thought that. Oh, Why? Why do you think that, though? Because that's the way she was acting. That's absolutely disgusting. You know, when he was sitting here ODing on his medicine, and, the, and everyone in town says. He's been evicted from every place he's ever gone, and I give him a nice place, and he fucks yeah, it up. Yeah, you give me a nice place, all right. And he fucks it up. I mean, I, I never abused What him. does that mean, Bigfoot? She gives you a nice place, all right. <laughs> yeah, she starts your bullshit in first thing in the morning about his shoulder and everything it is. Rags on me all day about money it is where I paid her insurance. I paid her... Uh, never ragged on him about his goddamn money. He gave his EP, uh, he gave his uh, manager two thousand five hundred dollars of his money. He had nineteen hundred in the bank, and he was carrying around like three grand with him. But he buys his happy smoke, and he blows it in my daughter's face. And I won't tolerate that. She's fourteen years old. She does not want happy smoke blown in her face. Yeah, and, you can't smoke weed in front of a fourteen-year-old. Yeah, but. and he won't stop it. That's child abuse. He blew it right in her face and said, "Fuck you, bitch." Oh, did you, Bigfoot? I don't remember. How come you never yeah, remember any of the He never remembers that, but he really did it, and I will not tolerate that in front Bigfoot, of my daughter. do you still love Lori? Not anymore after what I've seen in her approved colors. Well, it sounds to me like she didn't do anything really that wrong, Lori. I mean, I... Oh, I, yeah, I she wanted my EP to fucking do something with him, and she was more concerned about him than she was me. Oh, you got oh, jealous. God, oh, childish. now I get it. Bigfoot. That's childish. He didn't want, he was, yeah, that's childish. He didn't even want him to eat a plate of food. He wouldn't even allow him to eat a plate of food, okay? You know what um, it is, Lori? I'm going to tell you something. This sounds like a classic case of jealousy. Bigfoot loves yeah. you so much. He didn't want yeah. you talking even to your own daughter. Or, yeah, exactly. or, or the EP. I know, and it was not any time I would even speak to Dave in this house, he would flip out and act like a two-year-old. Plus, he sucks his thumb at night in bed. You he suck your thumb? thumb? Yeah. Bigfoot. I mean, yes, that, he does every night. Is that true, Bigfoot? Yeah, it is. You homo. <laughs> He's immature. I don't think that you're ready for fatherhood, Bigfoot. I told you that when you were here. Hey, you know, just because a guy sucks his thumb doesn't mean he can't be a dad. <laughs> well, he surely didn't treat my daughter right. I mean, you don't say those six things. All I, right, so I, what's going to be, Bigfoot? No more with this, Lori? No, he's nope. not getting me no more. All right, and Lori, you're, you're done with Bigfoot. I'm done, definitely done. I mean, Howard, I'd like to come see you again, but on different circumstances, definitely not with him. All right, because, you know, when you two guys were in here, I thought, uh, you know, the, the, we called I you, know, like Brad and Angelina, we called you Lori Foot. I, and it went downhill so I know. Yeah. I, try, I tried, Howard. I, I just can't deal with that. That's, I mean, blowing pot in my daughter's face and accusing us of being lesbians. We were both fully dressed. She was on her side of the bed. I was on mine, you know. Would you but, like to date high pitch Eric? Um, no. No, I'm I'm all set. Lord, well, you could uh, you could certainly come yeah, up here again if you start dating him. All set is this. What'd well, you say, Bigfoot? I hope, I hope it is two hundred dollars last for a real long time. I don't know why he would only have two hundred dollars on him because when he no, left here, he two grand in his pocket. No, I having two hundred dollars on him. As soon as that's gone, you'll probably kick him out too. Oh, the EP's still at Lori's house. Yeah, oh, yeah, sure. 
Well, what does that mean? Wait a second. Please, Lori, please, why please. is the EP still at your house? Oh, he's, he's a good a... guy, you know. He cooks and cleans for him is, and everything yeah. else. Yeah, well, um, you know what's weird? He used to always accuse us of stuff, and we would never cheat or anything on him. Well, yeah, and you right. know what's weird? <laughs> You know, oh yeah, right. It's the God's honest truth. He's just a jealous freak or something. I don't know. Did I you, can't go out with immature people. Are you now dating the EP? Um, we're, we we're actually thinking about it, yeah, because um, yeah, maybe not, thinking about it. Yeah, you thought about it the first night I was gone. Well, maybe Bigfoot's right then. Maybe Bigfoot. No, maybe, no, he's, he's not right. Um, maybe I'm you had an attraction. Right. You, you we never ever. To it, we never it? ever. I swear to God, on a Bible, we never ever ever. We barely even talked to each other when Bigfoot was here. Well, you can't just fall for the first guy who comes along who can read. <laughs> you know, come on. Show some, no, uh, show some I willpower. Under I understand that, too. So right now we're just hanging out, you know? Oh, my God. You're going to be yeah, with you're the hanging EP. Out, all right. You're probably having a lovely time without me. Well, listen, this well, is I what happened. I can't put up with someone that accuses my divorce. Yeah, how about you? Know, your fucking me, gas bill I paid, your turns, I paid your garage appointment. And then... I talked to my landlord about that Bigfoot, and she said since you stayed here for a month, you ought to at least pay, pay some of those bills. And, you know, you I did paid. pay some bills. I paid. paid your fucking church lady. Oh. What more yeah, do you want? Well, and who is that? Uh, uh, I'm happy. fucking dollars and wasted on you. He did not, and that's the God's own truth. He did not spend thirteen hundred dollars. I mean, I will take a lie detector test on that yeah, one. Right. That is a goddamn lie. And my landlord knows it too. He paid my propane and um. Who plowed your fucking door yard? Sure. You sure didn't do it yourself? What was that? Oh, he paid forty dollars. He paid forty dollars to Ernest Judd to plow this drive yard up. Um, the driveway up here. Anyways, that was his choice, not mine. I did not ask him to do any of that. He did that willingly. Now, who I just, is, who, I just don't even want to deal with someone like this any longer. And who is uh, Jonathan? Is that your manager, Bigfoot? Yeah, and I called Jonathan repeatedly to tell him what he was doing that night um, to my daughter. And well, let me get him on. Me, Jonathan, you on there? Yeah, I'm here, Howard. What, what do you want to add to this conversation? Well, I was just going to add a couple of things. One is, uh, if you're at all interested, I've got a bunch of voicemails that I saved from this whole thing happening from about 11 o'clock at night until 4.30 in the morning. You kind of get the blow-by-blow blow as it was happening on that. But also, I wanted to add that I just on Thursday last week, um, Lori was talking about bringing this EP guy, which his name is Dave, down to Connecticut and dropping him off at a hotel, pretending they were going to go in and, and get into a hotel and then leave him there in Connecticut because Dave had wanted to ride to Yeah, that surely got turned around, didn't it? Yeah, and, you know, it's a big switch from Thursday of her wanting to leave Dave in Connecticut to, you know, on well, the was, weekend. This is all very, very, very unfortunate. Uh, Patrick, go ahead. What do you want to add to this? Um, what do I want to add to this is that that was Bigfoot's choice. He wanted to get his EP out of here and just dump him off. Patrick, go ahead. What do you want to say? I mean, this guy's got a better life than Jeff the Drunk. Got a manager, an EP, <laughs> driver's license. Yeah, uh, Bigfoot has a, almost has a whole entourage. Yes. Why don't we get Jeff to be his EP for a show or two? Oh, it might be very, very good. It's well, not often you hear the sentence, this guy's got a better life well, than I Jeff the Drunk. I hope I can see you again, Howard, but I mean, my minutes are really... See, I'm on a track phone up here because I'm in the middle of the woods. My cell phone's like... Yeah, I hope you're in the here. middle of the fucking woods and I open your fucking place fucking props he, to the yeah, ground. Yeah, he... He threatened me to burn my camp down that night, too, so that's why I called emergency crisis. That's, that's bull crap for him to be acting like a child like that. I'm not going to put up with this. Wow. We, he well, threatened to burn my camp down in front of my daughter. My daughter says, you goddamn won't, and that's when he called me. Bigfoot, did you threaten violence? Yes, he did. Bigfoot? I don't remember exactly. And I'm he not can never remember. Well, don't, 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 that, no violence here between you two. That would be a big escalation and a big mistake. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm not making you no know, threats in any way. All right, good. But he did make that threat. Well, that's the God's honest truth. No, and he I don't says he didn't. Let's let's that. be honest. Now, uh, if you two can't make it, who can? You have such a great life, and, and they show yeah, you. I thought well, they were wasn't perfect. Wasn't a great life? I thought you two were going to end up married. I did. So, how much of the money do you have left, Bigfoot? I got about three grand left. Oh my God! You can go through money faster than anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, on top of it, my cranny fucking way on top of it all. Play the market, huh? Once you invest in the market, yeah. 
in the market. Yeah. Yeah. I got to think about putting a roof over my head first. Oh, so real estate. That's a second. That's a good investment too. <laughs> Let me ask something though. How's he gonna get along without the EP? Are you still talking? I've to already him? got another one spotted out anyway. Oh, okay. Bigfoot sounds like EP stands for evil person to me. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like it to me, too. It is. You take right over your whole girlfriend and everything else and you think nothing's wrong. That is fucked up. I mean, you're I a sensual person because you can't read fucks your girlfriend? <laughs> that's fucked up because we never did no such thing. When yeah, I was right. That's why you shut the light off as soon as I was in the car and at the kitchen. He didn't take too long to come out of his bedroom. So me and my daughter went back to bed when the cops come here. And they even come inside the yeah, house. Yeah, who called the cops like, on? Who like, now? Your, your, your emergency worker did because he talked to my 14-year-old daughter, and she made statements to the emergency worker. The emergency worker actually called the police. I hope you had police. a lovely time with him. I, I didn't call the police. The emergency worker did. They said they've dealt with Mark Shaw for many years, and he's been kicked out of a lot of different places. From his mood disorder, he's on a different, a bunch of different psych maps. <laughs> I love when Bigfoot gets sarcastic. I hope you had a wonderful time it is. <laughs> Mike, go ahead. You're on with Lori and Bigfoot, who uh, announced their hey, break. Howard, yes. uh, Bigfoot used to be a happy-go-lucky pothead, man. Now you got some money. It's like the root of all evil. That was all <laughs> turmoil in his life. He gets the trophy, girl, the money. Money's ruining his life. Bigfoot, is money ruining That's your life? That's what I was thinking. It's all going to his head or something. I don't know. He was acting like he was a millionaire. He bought himself two big 14-inch pizzas and ate one and a half of them by himself. <laughs> God, that sounds like exactly what I would do with AGs. Bigfoot, is money, in a sense, ruining your life? I got a feeling it is. No. <laughs> I might as well be like a bum and live in my car and I'd have a more normal fucking life. Yeah, well, you got to listen. You got to just calm down. Calm down about what? Bigfoot, about, remember the good old days when you were broke, but, you know, you were you were breaking yeah, into people's homes and raiding the refrigerator. Bigfoot, was life easier when you used to just blow guys instead of taking up with women? <laughs> and I think I'm just going to go fucking back to fucking company. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to go back to. Where's that Bigfoot we remember who would just, you know, break into a kitchen and start eating food and, <laughs> and a strange? Well, Lori, home? at least there was a great sexual uh, chemistry between you two for a while, right? Yeah, um, for a short period of time till my money showed up. I I can't really say that because he still couldn't learn how to get me off. Oh. Mm. Well, you oh. said when he ate you. It, I uh, hope your fucking e uh, my EP can get you off. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like he is. Oh boy, I'm telling you what, I just can't put up with it anymore. I swear to God, I tried my hardest, and the emergency workers even told me they dealt with this plenty of times with him. And get, nobody rent him around this area. I mean, I called around for him. And you know what I did for him out of kindness of my heart? I read all through his paperwork. I read all through. I wrote. I um. I um. Bigfoot, I, is it true what Lori is saying that no one will rent to you? You'll rent to me. It's just you burn a lot of like, bridges. Did you burn a lot of bridges? <laughs> It's the truth. He can, he's evicted from the border motel. They get a no trust pass. You know it all. You burn bridges at the motor hotel? <laughs> yeah, he's got a no trust pass in order if you don't kill him on Rite Aid. On Rite Aid Pharmacy because he robbed him $200. Hey, Bigfoot, is it true that a lot of the motels will not have you? Yeah, I suppose we scare him. I'm some big scary psych, you know. I'm, no, it's because he threw a fit. You, you, you sure the zoo is not missing some chimp? No, it's because he threw fits and yelled at people, and they. Well, maybe you need uh, a yell at him terrible. Don't I'm not. I, I can't even. Talk, I can't even talk at this, and I'm slowly yelling. I'm yeah. not leaving till he says chimpanzee. But Bigfoot. He accused his insurance company of robbing him a hundred dollars the other day, and the lady must know how to count money. I mean, literally, she works for an insurance company. She he handed her five hundred dollars and. Didn't, didn't give her the other hundred, and then started flipping out on her, telling her she was a liar, because um she wrote him a slip, and she realized... Well, wait a second, wait a second. You, I mean, you, you said, you're saying, Bigfoot, maybe yeah, you I, need to... You know, Ronnie the limo driver gets crazy, too. I mean, like, maybe you just need to get anger management. Like, maybe you get angry too quick. Yeah, and he's too jealous. Yeah. <laughs> and, I mean, you are very jealous, right? But maybe Bigfoot's Whatever right. Whatever you think it is, I am... No, no, but I'm saying, Lori, but in a sense, he's right. I mean, you are now with the EP, so, you know, maybe he had a right to be jealous. And we were never, ever flirtatious with each other or anything. We never even barely talked. He used to sit in the back room because of Bigfoot. Right. Yeah. 
And he's the way down in the hand and book. Now, explain, explain to me, Howard, how could Dave freeze his hands when Kenny Sawyer dropped us at the end of this road? We had to walk up through it, and it was very... I don't know. I don't understand it. I mean, I, you guys we were so in love, and now it's this. And then by the time we got into the camp... He says, make me a coffee now to his EP, and his EP says, wait a minute, I'll get you a coffee. And he got all pissed off because it weren't fast enough, and then accused his EP of freezing his fingers. How can he freeze his fingers when we were the two walking? I'm what about excited. that, Bigfoot? What do you think of what Lori's saying now? What she's saying now is very true. It says, Dave, this is more important going to bed is in the morning there and fixing me a cup of coffee. Wow, right. Bigfoot, you're kind of a tyrant, I think. What do you mean by that? You just order this guy around like he's a slave. slave. Well, he's essential. What do you think I pay him for? Just stand around and do nothing? <laughs> it's his assistant. Yeah, he's supposed to be doing I that. I gave him extra fucking $30 to shut him up at this, and then she runs her fucking mouth saying and I didn't give him enough money. Actually, that's not true because I get yeah, to read the slip. I know. I've heard about it. All right, let's go to Rob. I read the slip. Hi, uh, Howard. Yeah, let me get let's get Rob on with you guys. Rob, go ahead in Toronto. Buddy, this is a new reality show. You gotta <laughs> you gotta get a network to get you gotta call the network and get this on. This guy, these two are hilarious. They're like Ricky and Lucy. Oh my God. Uh, Jeff, go ahead. You're on. Hey, Howard. Uh, hey, do you do you know uh, you made such the perfect choice in this guy? He has given you more more material than the rest of the wet pack combined since you came on the air. This is awesome. Oh, yeah, it was a no-brainer, that competition. Jeff is uh, is right. Uh, Bigfoot and Lori, a uh, very big home run. Steve, go ahead. You're on the air. Yes, hey Steve. Yeah, hey, now. Hey, uh, this is a fascinating look at the underbelly of society. These guys are like social dust mites. I mean, it's amazing. Well, no need to attack uh, Bigfoot and Lori. Let's uh, hear your thoughts on what they're hey, saying. Lori, I mean, what were you thinking getting into a situation or putting a situation, your daughter in this situation with Bigfoot. I mean, clearly this guy's got issues. Well, exactly. And I, I didn't realize he was going to flip out of my child like that. It was all good until I asked if his EP could have a plate of Chinese, and then he flipped yeah, straight out. Yeah, more worried about him than worried about her own lover. By yeah, the way, for uh, I'm, I'm sure yeah, I'm sure it was true. tough to pick him out of the crowd. Huh? Well, let's find out what um, uh, Steve has to say. Go ahead, Steve in Tampa. Good morning, Howard. Good morning. Hey, it sounds like poor uh, Bigfoot was played by the skank. Why do you say that? Well, I mean, you're you're banging his EP. You're taking his money. I mean, he's paying his EP to bang you. That's not true at all. Oh, it's true. Yeah, come on. right. Come on. What, I what, wasn't. What, 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 I wasn't doing times? such a thing. So yeah, that's right. Wrong. That's exactly oh, that how it wrong. happened. Hey, no, it's I wrong. promise you it's the big... fucking world, and that wasn't good enough my... for you. <laughs> it's Bigfoot. Does she take Bigfoot it? promised you the world. <laughs> you think Booker's a player? I paid her Bigfoot insurance. promised her the world. I paid her gas bill. You lived here. What do you expect? You lived yeah, here for a month. Lived, uh, fucking how I paid long? all the rent. Free... I paid all the rent. I paid seven hundred eighty nine of my own bills. Rachel, I had a dollar eighty four left in my account. Yeah, paid the garage bill. That don't mean nothing. I, I paid seven hundred eighty nine dollars this month, honest to God. And uh, I'm sure well, we're not a using skanks, so that guy can Yeah, you are. Oh, sure you are. Sure, you all stars. You can, you're with a big star. Big for no big star. You're a no one. Good well, no one. No one can treat my daughter that way. That's child abuse. Well, listen, I, I, I heard you try to way. get on the Stern show, or you crash it without me, Lori. Lori, did you try to get on our show without uh, Bigfoot? I asked you someday I could come see you again. Right. That's all I said, didn't I? Well, there's yeah, nothing more wrong. You're a trash without me. You're a what? See what I mean? I'm trash without him, he said. Oh. Well, you know what it is? I'm going to tell you. This is sad because I'm going to tell you something. I think the two I of you. I hope you have a joyable life. Oh. I think the two of you had something special. I know you only knew each other for a short time. Uh, unfortunately, things have gone horribly, horribly wrong. Yeah, because yeah, you can't treat my daughter like that. No one well, can. Let me yeah, tell you something. I always steal my VCR tape, especially the movie it is when she was on, on there on the Stern Show. You even stole that out of my bag. Yeah, what videotapes did she take? Oh, the one it is when she was on the Stern Show. No, he robbed still it right got out five. my bag. <laughs> no, he still got five CDs in my back of my car that I had forgotten that were there that he can have back that I don't want them. I'll drop them. I don't the even studio. want to fucking see you. 
CDs. I don't want to see him either, but I'll drop him off to Jonathan or his. Uh, it's you know. probably better that the two of yeah. you don't see each other because right, exactly. you, you're very. I got left in the back of my car. Yeah, I don't want to disturb your nice fucking EP. Actually, fucking... when we met up with Jonathan at Wendy's one night, I was supposed to give him those five CDs, but I forgot them in the back of my car. That's where they're sent. Well, right? you know, Bigfoot, ever. I'm going to tell you That's something, not, and I'm going to tell Lori something. Bigfoot, you got to move on. Yeah, I am going to move on. Oh, you got to stay. Than her it is. Stay away from Lori. It's not good for you. I don't need yeah. to waste my time with her. I got I other things in life. He's and, not good around children. He's immature. I mean, and, you don't treat my daughter like that. I don't and care. Bigfoot, if you get another girlfriend, uh, uh, no more good-looking EPs. Right. Yeah, he'll steal, steal your girlfriend right from you. Right. What? Uh, what's with the thumb sucking thing? What's going on there? That's something I've had for years. Right. This don't is you think something it's... like a security blanket. It is after the way I've been treated a half a dozen times by different people. It is trying to run me over and trying to beat me all with right. a belt and all, 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 all kinds of nice little things I've been through with this. Well, Howard, I've told you the God's honest truth. I really oh, have. Oh, yeah, you I have, all right. Well, Lori, I believe you. I'm about the fucking EP. Fucking yeah. <laughs> I never fucked his EP. <laughs> yeah, well, right. I hope you have an enjoyable life with we him. We can go to hell. I mean, really, literally. Have you yeah. fucked him and now? I hope you're real happy with each other. I don't want to be swearing it immature like this. I right. just got to go. I'm on a track phone, okay? All right. Hey, hey Lori, let me just say something. I think what? here's my advice to you. Okay. You two have to stay away from each other. Right. Lori, you will go on, and I believe you will have a nice life. You're a nice girl. I like you. I, I am a nice yeah. person, yes. and I got a kind heart, and I did treat him right. Not now. Heard all I went and read. Oh, it read, it, was, it wasn't for you, the Bigfoot thing. You tried. You got. Listen, yeah. it's very simple. You're actually doling out practical advice. Yes, you guys are very lucky. You found out early in the relationship you weren't right for Thank each other. Thank goodness you right. didn't get married. Right. If you had got married and had children, this would be a lot more complicated right. for all of us. And I, I, I don't helped. know how to treat a child. I helped him to treat, um, to pay all his bills. I read all his paperwork for him. He didn't even know he had a $175 bill or they were going to repo his car from New York City. So I made sure to bring him right to the post office and tell him he had to get that out immediately. All right. and well, all you, you, were, you were good for him in some ways, and he was good for you in some ways, and now you're not good for each other, right? Right. Fair enough? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Because it's, it's child I'm abuse to blow happy smoke in my daughter's face. All right, we and heard that. And call her a bitch, and we're a bunch of lesbians, so. That's not right. It's That's not right. right, and I did keep calling Johnson's phone to let him know what's going on up here. All isn't right, it? all right. Listen, let's. Uh, we've heard that story, and Bigfoot, okay. you're going to stay away from her, right? Yeah, I'm not going nowhere near her, and I don't want her nowhere near me. Just okay. let's remember the good times. Remember when you two made love? Oh yeah, right. Let's what? remember what? that. What's wrong with that? Let's think what's of something. What's wrong with that? All she did is the plane the whole fucking time. Complain what? in bed? Yeah. How oh, so? my shoulder. Oh, I need some of your medication. I didn't ask him for none of his hey, medication. Oh, I get yeah, my own from my doctor. Anyways. You know how many shoulder problems I've given broads after sex? Hey, uh, Lori, is that true? You complained all through sex? Um, I I was not sexually happy with him. I agree with that. But you want to know something? I don't ask him for his medication. I get my own from my doctor. Yeah, right. And That's he why actually, you drink it actually, with your friend Dave, too, sold, every day. He actually stole some of my Valium. I hope you have a few Valium. drinks today with him, too. It is. He actually stole some of my Valium and took them illegally. Oh, so. I stole some of your Valium. You gave me some of your Valium to take because you were driving my nerves so fucking crazy yeah, by your mouth. Yeah, fat lie, but whatever. Well, will Bigfoot record a song about Lori? I know you're an artist now. I wanted that mm -hmm. taken off. I want that, you know, the new one that Paul made, I want that taken off the air. I don't want it on there. I don't want nothing to do with him any longer. Well, no songs about you. my daughter you, huh? cry her eyes out. I mean, no. Well, that's not good. Yeah, right. Well, did, you do have a song about Lori on the new album, Bigfoot, don't no. you? Do what? Do you have a new song about Lori on the album? Yeah, we did have it. I don't know what to do with it at this point. Which song is it? I'll play it. I don't Can even... I get off? My track minutes are running out. Oh, though. all right. All right, Lori, thank you. Okay. Big foot. Thank you for the track minutes, too. All right, thank you, Lori, and I'm sorry it didn't yeah. work out. Big okay, nice thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you, fucking whore. Oh, all right, that's well, not that's nice, no Big Foot. Goodbye. That's not a good way to, to, to end things. Okay. End them nicely. Well, say good night. Say nicely, Big Foot. Goodbye, Lori. No. Oh, boy, that's bitter. All okay. right, Lori. Be a better man than him, Lori, and say, or a better woman than him. Say okay. uh, say goodbye and good luck. Okay, goodbye and good luck. All right, that was very sweet. All right, Bigfoot, okay. you want to say goodbye and good luck? 
No. All right. Well, Bigfoot. That's did you uh, hold a grudge for the rest of my life, Audrey? Well, right. that's terrible. But Lori, thank you. Okay, that mm-hmm. is ter- okay. Thank you, Howard. That is terrible that he feels the way to treat my daughter that way and think it's All right. okay. All, All right. right. I wish I knew what line Lori's on. I'd hang up on Lori and then keep Bigfoot on line. Yeah, because I want to hear about I can't, his overdose. On the system we have, I can't tell what line is which. Oh. I'm gonna, I know. Okay, Lori, well, right, I'm going to hang up. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bigfoot. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry for you. I was happy for you when you came in here with a woman. I never thought I'd see the day. But explain to me why you overdosed. Huh? Why did you overdose? Because I cared about her so much. So what did you do? I took about four trays of my medicine. Four trays? Yeah, four <laughs> trays, 14 pills a day. Oh, my God. 14 pills a night, I mean. What kind uh-huh. of pills are you on? Uh, seizure pills, schizophrenic pills, uh, sleeping medication, uh, arthritis medicine. I mean, you name it, I'm taking it. An overdose of arthritis wow. medicine. Wow. I hope you can find some joy in your life. Yeah, I hope so, too. I don't seem to be any joy in this state. Yeah, Are you going to move, try to find some joy elsewhere? I'm going to try to do something in this if I have to move to fucking Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Bigfoot in Africa. We'll film that. Like Brad Gelina. He's going to well, go. By the way, from, maybe I'll have phones right on the freezers where I can talk to people. There's a half a human to me. Remember Eddie Murphy wanted to do that. He couldn't find a girl really into him, and he wanted to go to Africa. And, right. Yeah, that, you're, you're having those celebrity type issues. He went to Queens. Yeah. Uh, you know, Bigfoot. Let me uh, just say, uh, I like you very much. Yeah. And I think a lot of these problems have to do with, uh, you know, your not understanding instant certain things. fame, yes. And your fame and all of that. And you got to hang in there, and you got to just work your life in a simple way. And I'd hate to see you kill yourself by taking uh, an overdose of arthritis Remember medicine. Remember us when you're feeling it. It wasn't just arthritis medicine. It was schizophrenic medicine. It is and fucking uh, uh, Seroquel and stuff like that. Yes. So right. what happened to you after you took all that medicine? I almost died from it. Really? Did you have to go to the hospital? Yes, I had to go to the hospital. I even crashed in the, on the hospital front lawn. Oh, that's when you crashed. <laughs> you know what I got to do? <laughs> Bigfoot, you ever see the movie Frankenstein? <laughs> yeah, I think you should make a movie of me out of that. Well, we are. First of all, let me just say. Get the bolts in the side of my neck it is and the whole nine yards. No, I think we need to sur- in In Bride of Frankenstein... Frankenstein, uh, the Dr. Frankenstein found a bride for Frankenstein. Yeah. Made a bride. I gotta find you a female Bigfoot. Yeah. You see, I. You look real hard. You're gonna have to look real hard and deep. You don't know about that. Huh? We'll find you someone, hopefully. Yeah, and, and, right. And the thing is that. Maybe um, we should have probably, a maybe and maybe fall in love with. Well, uh, you know what? You fell hard for this, Lori. I understand why. She was. Yeah, a... I did fall for her. She took me for $1,300. Well, look, you were living there. I understand her point. But uh, whatever. It's water uh, under the I mean, bridge. That's quite a bit of money there to charge you for one month. $1,300 for one month. Well, that's true. I paid two months insurance for her. I paid her gas bill. But I you didn't have to, Bigfoot. Bill. I paid her church lady. Well, you didn't have to do that. I know I shouldn't have done that. It is, I've done it. It is out of the kindness of my heart. I thought she wanted to care about me afterwards. And no, she wanted to care about my fucking EP. <laughs> my EP is more important. All right. Well, this is sad, and I wish you the best. If you need to talk, you call us anytime. And uh, by the way, Bigfoot, I understand Howard TV is spending the day with you and doing a day in the life. Is that correct? Huh? I understand Howard TV has agreed to feature you in a day in the life kind of thing. They're going to follow you around. I think that would be an interesting thing for them to do because yes. it's very interesting in what I get myself mixed up with. Yes, it is. Well, I, I don't know. What I get myself mixed in the one day it is. It's a fucking scene in itself, it is. <laughs> All right. Well, that I mean, we... it's even fighting going on here where I'm staying here, it is, where I. You, 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 you just don't understand what's going on. Well, there's fighting going it, on there now? Yeah, it's fighting going on here against somebody else's wife and their boy, his his husband is complaining about me being here. Oh. Mm, well, this is terrible, and we're going to get our cameras down there as quickly as possible. Yes. I think you better, because I'm going to be moving again very shortly here when I get a rent-a-car 
gear underneath my feet. <laughs> See, and my planning went in my car, too, on top of it all. All right, so there's a lot that has to be looked into. you got to get a new EP. There's a whole thing going on. Yeah, i got to start all, right. all over fucking again. Yeah. Well, apparently my crew has missed season one, but we're going to pick up on season two. Uh, Doug, if you don't get down there today, uh, you're fired. Thank you. And I'm living in Newport Center right now. Right inside of a church. Well, Bigfoot, I love you. I hope so, Howard Stern. I really like your show a lot, man. And I'm the one telling the proofs what she did to me. If you want to believe some whore is or what she's saying in the back? Well, I think you're both good people. I think it's just, you know, it just didn't work, it didn't work out. Didn't work out. I mean, I'll tell you I what, Bigfoot. I tried to give her the fucking world and a silver platter, and it weren't good enough for her. I'll never leave you for an EP, I'll tell you that. One no, thing about I'm probably better than any EP you can ever find. I'm better than the mailman. At least I'll show up when I'm supposed to show up. Well, Bigfoot, you got a big heart, and I'm sorry it didn't work out for you. Sometimes life can get confusing when... You don't understand things, and let's say the woman doesn't understand things, and it can get confusing. Are you okay now? You're not feeling like committing suicide. No, I cried a little bit yesterday over you and did everything cry. else. You cried? You have tape of that? I'm glad my crew wasn't there for that either. <laughs> <laughs> it is. We're not making funny. That's Benji. Artie, not we, me, Bigfoot. That was Benji. We feel for you. And, uh, Come on, Artie, have a heart. The guy just lost his girlfriend. When yeah, you lost Dana, when Dana was gone. And you, uh, you were pretty broken up. I lost her to my essential person. <laughs> Actually, he, he yeah, went right. I, he, I, I, listen, if there's if there's any message for kids out there, learn how to fucking read. Hey, Bigfoot, Mike's on the phone. Your first manager. Do you want to talk to him? No, I don't want to talk to him at all. He's a piece of shit. You don't want me at his place. I don't want to talk to him. All right, good he enough. Threw you out too. Yeah, he threw me out, too. Can we find out why? Can we well, talk he, to him? He claims I owe him $600, and he don't want me on his property. He can go piss up a rope. <laughs> and I hope he's fucking listening, too. Should we put him on? Let's straighten that out? No, we don't want him to straighten that out. That would start uh, a big can of worms and open it is. All right, well. If you don't want to do that, it might turn into a fist fight. I don't want to certainly uh, instigate that. All right. You, All don't right. Want, you, don't, you don't want to start that up. Again. Hey, Bigfoot. Sounds like we might want to start that up. Bigfoot, where are your parents? My parents are in Newberry, Vermont, and I'm the black chief of the family, and he don't <laughs> give one hoot about me. He don't care about me. Your dad? Your dad doesn't care about you? No, my mother or my dad. Where I'm is your mother? Are they married still? You ever heard of the black chief of the family? I've heard that expression, black sheep of the family. You're no, really I'm one is. of the black chief of the family. In other words, it, it, to black sheep, you're a black sheep. <laughs> yeah, I'm black. You're black. the blackest sheep in the, in the lot. Yeah. yeah. Do you have brothers and sisters? Yeah, I got brothers and sisters. You don't care much about me. My brother probably set me up with yeah. a stolen truck. And try to get me to bribe it and get me sent back to jail at this. Oh, wow. You're the purple sheep, you're so black. Huh? <laughs> I say, you're the purple sheep, you're so black. It's you're the, called purple. Exactly. You're the Yafit so Toto of sheep. Don't the color of me. Even sheep don't believe the color of you. It's the called purple. You're yeah. so black, you're purple. Do you think, uh, <laughs> do you see, I see a pattern here, though, Bigfoot. Your parents, your brother, your sister, all these people. They... Everybody's throwing you out and setting you up. Yeah. So maybe it's something you're doing. It's just a thought. Maybe it's something your maybe your behavior's a little outrageous or something. I don't know. I'm I guessing. don't think it is. I think right. it's uh, them so jealous of me is that they can't stand the, the ground I walk on. Hmm. That's what I because believe. Because you're famous. It is. Do you think it's because you're famous? Because he's jealous over my caddy. He's jealous over anything I do. Hmm. That caddy gets you into a lot of trouble. Yeah, he's jealous over it. When is the last time you spoke to your parents? Last time I was down at Hanover Hospital when he was having a bowel operation. A who what? He, he had a blockage in his bowels where he couldn't shit right. Who's that, your dad? Yes, my dad. Hmm. Your dad can't shit Mark straight? All right, listen, we need to get cameras down. There's probably a four-camera shoot, I would suggest. <laughs> I'm not an EP, but uh, I know that. <laughs> So you went to the hospital to see your dad? Yes, I did. And uh, certainly he must have appreciated that. Well, I don't know if he appreciated it or not. He hardly even talked to me at all. Oh. Well, something I must have happened. I think he was a little amazed I was still alive.
Uh, well, you're, you're making your way. I was uh, trying to kill myself and everything. So do you think you'll be okay today? Are you going to cry today? No, I'm over it today. Just, hang in there, pal. I'm trying to hang in. It's just I'm going through a hell of a fucking turmoil again. Yeah, I bet. I bet. All right, listen, you hang in there seriously and, and take care of yourself. If you need to talk to anyone, you call Gary Delabate, all right? Yeah, I will. All right, he'll take any call from I'll you. I'll your number. Is. All right, thank you, Bigfoot. Thank you, Howard right. Stern, and have a nice day. You too. Well, there it is, the latest saga with Bigfoot. Uh, Lori and Bigfoot officially have broken up. Uh, alert the Howard 100 News team Yes. to uh, be on top of that story. Paid professional journalists covering Bigfoot. I love it. That's the, our big story. That was unbelievable. Yeah, that was an amazing story. Yeah, and it'll we show. Gotta find Bigfoot's parents and find out all that stuff. We got to do the doc. Uh, Howard TV is working on this. <laughs> Drop all other projects, please. Now, if Bigfoot wasn't the black sheep of the family, God, we should find the black sheep of that family. <laughs> now, he uh, says he is the black. He's definitely it. it. Right. That's right. Uh, uh, Wolfie, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey now, Howard, you're on fire today. I love it. Of course. Hey, I, I just wanted to uh, to mention the uh, Bigfoot special on Howard TV. It was uh, it was truly outstanding. It's just amazing to see that that sector of life in America. <laughs> you you don't think people live like that until you actually spend a weekend with them. It was absolutely great. Yeah, oh. I got to check that out. I'm fascinated by Bigfoot. I would love to know more about his life. The How guys, does he live? <laughs> the guys did a tremendous amount of work on this thing. I mean, this is like a full blown out. What would you you know like a real masterpiece right yeah i i just i can't imagine steve actually spending that much time with him and that gang that he hangs out with well you saw steve got snowed in there yeah it was it was just insane yeah yes uh, actually steve couldn't get out of there what do you click under uh wolfie how do you find that on howard tv uh i think that was under oh i don't i don't even remember it was on the left hand side somewhere i know that's not very helpful uh the, the one thing though that i wanted to ask about uh, Bigfoot sits down for a meal and eats an entire pizza in one city. Right. <laughs> I wanted to see if there's any chance we can get an eating competition between Bigfoot and Artie to see who could eat a, a large pie faster. How long did it take them? Well, they, they did it in fast forward, so they didn't give you the exact time, but oh. it, it looked like he went through it fairly quickly. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I, I, uh, if I was in full competition mode, Robin, you know how hard it is to get in that mode. That's with the race true. car yes. driving. Yeah. I'd have to be in training. <laughs> I, uh, what a great special. Artie and Bigfoot go out into the woods and have to kill food and cook right. it and eat it. Who's going to bring back the bacon? We'd have okay. to hunt the pizza yes. and, and kill it? Well, oh, Yes, you'd have to hunt for a pizza. I don't think I could kill a pizza. I mean, you get all the ingredients. <laughs> I'll eat the pizza, but I don't want to be there when it dies. What, what do you think, though, Artie? How long would it take to eat, to eat your favorite large pie? We did this once at uh, K Rock, and I ate uh, I ate an entire pie in a half an hour, I believe, or twenty eight minutes, maybe something like that. So yeah, I uh, bet I bet Bigfoot just out of sheer size could do that. Quicker. Fifteen minutes. Yeah. I bet yeah, you I, I mean, could out eat both these guys in terms of speed. I am one of the fastest eaters on the planet. Well, let's have a contest. But you have to eat the volume too. I could eat the volume. <clears throat> You'd be surprised what I could shove in. You, I bet you your stomach has uh, so shrunk you could never get one of those pies no, down. You don't think? No. Never. A whole? You think you could eat a whole pizza pie right now the way you are? What you're used to eating? Yeah. You think so? Let's do it. I want to see this. I won't do uh, it. Howard, I think you'd, you'd be disgusted after three slices if Boy, you get it that far. I was over at Nick and Tony's with my daughter this uh, past weekend, and man, oh, man, they they got that wood oven thing going, and uh -huh. they have pizza in there. They make a pizza. I was looking at it. I was salivating. That's great. <laughs> I Nick could eat the whole thing. You think you could. I don't see you doing it. Well, there's two types of pizza. Now, the, the the pizza I see Bigfoot eating on the... Uh, that's a pizza. That No, that that looks like a, a bar pie, which is smaller. That's a bar pizza. Oh, you think that's only like a nine-inch? No, no, no. Yeah, that's, that's a bar pie. That's smaller than what I ate in 28 minutes. Well, that looks good. It looks amazing. Yeah, it looks like a good pizza. <laughs> well, I'm curious. What I, I, you know, now you got me curious to see this uh, special... Because I like feeling good about myself, so I want to see how Bigfoot lives. <laughs> uh, what else? What else is fascinating about it, Wolfie? Well, the, the one thing he, it seems that he lives from motel to motel. He doesn't right. actually have a home. Right. So, 
So it seems like when his money runs out, then he goes to another motel or a friend's house. But what kind of baggage does he roll into a hotel with? What does he carry? It, it looked like a uh, plastic bag filled with some clothing and maybe a, a couple of two liters of soda. And that, that's about no it. Louis Vuitton. I, I, I didn't see any of that high-end stuff with him. I feel like he's almost homeless. Uh, it sounds like he is. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, you know, he's just carrying around a bag with him. Yeah. And he he has his Cadillac, but apparently it, it broke down at some point. So <laughs> he goes to a uh, car dealership to barter with this guy to buy a new Cadillac. He's got a Cadillac. Uh, it, well, no, it just it was unresolved. They never they never made a deal. Bigfoot just kind of walked away and went on with his life. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, it's just you know his uh this the one scene he's having a party in this motel. People just show up with cases of beer. They get drunk. They're they're getting naked. It, it's it's really insane. It's an insane life, and it's not like he puts it on for the camera. I mean, this is what goes on. All right, Wolfie, thank you. Talking about Bigfoot, man. Richard had to call Bigfoot the other day to get him to voice some stuff. Yeah. And Bigfoot had a whole breakdown on the phone. It's wow, scary. really? <laughs> Hello, is Mark there? Yeah, it couldn't be. What do you need now? Mark, it's Richard from Howard Stern. How you doing, buddy? Good. Hey, uh... You people don't even realize what I'm doing, do you? I've discovered something so big, bigger in fucking life itself. Really? What did you discover? I've discovered where I'm being a scrimmonized housing. I mean, I can't even get my car worked on properly. It is. You got to slip in and everything else. Nobody cares anymore. I'm not taking my pills anymore. And getting beef jerky is supposedly uh, with my face on it. I don't see none of that. And you stop. You want stuff out of me? Well, I mean, I'm being a scrimmonized housing up here. <laughs> do you even care about that? I do. I care about you, Bigfoot. <laughs> From house to house, I got fucking judges that think you don't know me. I got cops lying on fucking uh, down there, fucking uh, proofs, and you don't even know what the proofs are is, and I know more of the proofs than they do. Well, why, why would people hate you? Because I know too much. I figured out their crooked system right down to their judges, to their cops, their probation officers, and their fucking FSU people have more fucking civil rights than the fucking homeless do. You know that, too? Well, no, I didn't know that. Yeah, I do. Well, now, do you understand what I'm saying? I do, and I feel bad for you. You don't realize what you're dealing with, do you? I'm the one that goes around and investigates things, other things that can't be done. And I do it by myself, every day, by watching your crooked public. How he act, what he do. Uh-huh. Do you realize what I'm saying? I do realize what you're saying, absolutely. Right? Right or wrong? Yeah. All right, that's the greatest piece of tape in the history of the invention of tape. <laughs> I got to get that on CD immediately. Do you realize I, that, that's hilarious. he's being discriminized housing? <laughs> Do you realize that I discovered the whole thing down to home uh, That I go, oh God, Richard, put that on CD for me. Well, here he is in person, aggravated beyond belief. Bigfoot, maybe he can explain. Bigfoot, come on in. Everybody loves Bigfoot. <laughs> you know, if you'd like to book, if you'd like to book Bigfoot for an appearance, you can email Bigfoot at guidinglightmarketing at yahoo.com. Guidinglightmarketing at yahoo.com. I think Will was indicating that Bigfoot smells a bit today. What, booze? I don't know. He was just waving his hand under his nose saying that, you know, he was catching a whiff of something. Bigfoot, what's going on? Oh, quite a lot of this. I almost got mugged while I was down down here this morning. Well, what do you mean? I mean, you're such Who a, would mug you? Who would mug you? Aren't people afraid of you? I mean, how tall yeah. are you? I'm six foot four inches tall. And you're a big man, and you obviously can fight. Yeah, I can fight you. I almost had a fight with uh, Terry... Uh, Collins up in uh, Newport is this. Why? He punched me in the jaw is and I 
swung around it is and got in his face it is and I was about ready to elbow him. You're a little old to be fighting with people like this. This is stuff but kids do. Fight hey, like that's how retard. I keep my, my strength it is going it is. Yeah, how's it going? The last phone call you had with Richard there was terrible. I, mean, I know, so it's in getting worse and worse while it goes on. I understand you're homeless now? Do you know? I'm not completely homeless. I found a back door way through a apartment building it is. Somebody is ranting it is, and it's not in my name, and it's not in anybody else's name. It's in somebody else's name. Right, and I no. want to show you something here. <laughs> I got discrimination papers here. It is on two landlords up in Newport. It is. One is Doug Spates. Well, Martin you don't Lowe. have to mention names of people. Right. Why are they discrim? What do you mean discrimination papers? I mean, people don't want you to live at their place, and you're getting upset. But you gotta, you know, where are your teeth? What happened? Are they all gone? No, not completely. Let me see. I Give me a smile. Oh my no, goodness! What, what the happened? I feel like you lost some teeth since I last saw you. Yeah, I did. What I happened? Some, I've been trying to get them pulled. There's it was some of my teeth are almost falling right out of my gums. Are you so not brushing? Just falling out. Are you not brushing your teeth? I don't usually brush them anyways. Why? Why, Why not take care of them so that they, they don't lose because them? Because I'm going to end up getting dentures eventually. Yeah, but they do your precious teeth. Try to hold on to them, no? No. Uh, uh, you, look. Uh, oh, God. Uh, farther out there, it, it's deteriorated right around the gum. That's I probably see. the most gross thing I've uh, ever seen. All right, what? now you have filed a discrimination suit against Vermont. Yeah, against Vermont, with all the landlords in Vermont, is the ones that don't want to rent to me. Don't you think they don't want to rent to you because you don't have no money? No, I had money it is when I got that $8,000, yeah. and still nobody would want to rent to me. I went to places it is, and I would have other people go there it is. He would say he wanted like $550 for rent. This is because I went there, he hasn't asked him, and told him I was a celebrity on Howard Stern. Right. He wants $650. They think you have more money than you have because you're a celebrity. Right. That's what you told him was your job? I told him I was, I basically talked to Howard Stern and explained some stuff that is what, what I do for Howard Stern. Uh-huh. Did you uh, make any money with the record you put out? You, you're singing. I didn't make any money. I made very little bit of money. I made maybe forty dollars out of the whole thing. It is forty dollars. Yeah, After, I'm glad you saw something. And he totally destroyed that. It is Kenny Sawyer did it. it is he it was the one that made them all of this, and then he turned around and kept them from my manager and me. It is uh, that way we couldn't get them published. Out in the public. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, I do. You're broken hearted. This is you singing. Yeah, I know. And I got all kinds of people who are proud of the music I've done. And you can't listen to it because the destroyers ruined it. The good part is Bon Jovi behind you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Highway. Or, uh, Joe Walsh on guitar. Doing in my hair. Well, I really think people should be buying. <laughs> God, I own three of these. Are you kidding? I like it. <laughs> I think it's all right. You buy it. I would buy it. Why, why, why do I have to buy something I've already put out? I'm just saying, if it wasn't you, you'd buy this. Right. Yeah, I probably would. Okay. So <laughs> you, you're suing Vermont. You yes. say you will not file your taxes next year until you can find housing. Exactly. You're going to end up in jail. I'm telling you, that's what happened. Oh, well, you, I'm uh, going to put a little pressure. I mean, somebody is tied. Is this you pressuring? I mean, I mean, you don't, I don't have, think you really can put much pressure on them by not paying your taxes. Yeah. Are you are you uh, such a big income earner that <laughs> how much? Oh, I, I don't know. You don't know. You probably I don't made know. more this year. I've than not you've filed ever any taxes for so long. I don't. I don't even remember the last. Well, year it I might be back. because you don't make any money. Uh -oh. There's probably no need for you to do that. Yeah. Like, well, my manager's I... saying that he thinks I'm going to get money back. I'm not even going to waste my time to do that. Right. How do you get money back though if you're not filing? They don't think you exist. Well, well, if I don't exist, it is. I mean, at least I exist on the Howard Stern show. 
Right. Well, eight thousand dollars, though, you know, you have to pay taxes. You have taxes to declare on. that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know. That's why I figured I put a little pressure on the state. Oh. That way, figuring they tied mental health hands, he tied the neck of buildings hands, he tied welfare hands, where he can't do anything supposedly for me. He can help the people are on FSU with this and house them in. The housing group it is, yeah. and then he expect me them the me to buy by their curfew. Did you get any pussy in a housing unit? No, I mean, are you getting any girls? Of course, I get girls oh, once yeah. in a while. When was the last time you got laid? Oh, probably a month ago. Oh, you did? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, all right. So you're getting laid? Yeah, I'm getting laid eventually. Yeah. All right. That's good. Well, you're unemployed. You can't well, find now, a where job. Where are you sleeping if you have no home? I have a home, and I just can't say where it is, because if I said where it was, the guy would come up there it is and kick me out of where I'm at. It is and this way, he, get, he can't figure out exactly where I am. Hold I, on. Uh, Vermont is calling. Yes, Vermont. Bigfoot, it's Vermont. This is the state of Vermont. This is Vermont. Bigfoot, you'll never, ever live in me. In <laughs> Maine? No. In, in me. In Vermont. In Vermont. I'm Vermont, Bigfoot. I'm the one that's fucking you over, it is. Good. I'd like to get his little piece of your action it is, and come here and face me at this. I'm a hell of a lot bigger than you are, Bigfoot. I don't care how big you are. You can fall just like the rest of them, though. It's the t entire state of Vermont, so. I got my own zip code. What the fuck do you have? It is. I don't care if you have your own area code. Uh, you know what? I was talking to my buddy, New Hampshire, and he don't fucking want you either. <laughs> I don't want New Hampshire either. You I'm wanted what? down there anyways from hitting the Z-28. You know who wants you? <laughs> Kenya. You're, Go there. You're, you're wanted in New Hampshire? Yeah. Really? I hit a Z-28 with a uh, Dodge... Monaco, I believe it was. Right. When and, did that happen? Oh, that happened several years ago when I wrapped up a bunch of tickets is, and the cop told me to wait there. Uh-huh. Oh, what do you think I was going you, to do? You left. Yeah. Right. I, I figured I'd made my welcome in that state, and now I'm leaving. You're not going to resort to crime again to support yourself? No, right? no, no, no. I don't need to do that. You yeah. say you have no money, but you I, I Afford that beautiful, like, Eldebarge leather jacket you're wearing. <laughs> Eldebarge? How much is that always jacket? got cuts in it, it is from something. It is, and what I do you spend on a jacket like that? How much was that? Yeah, that was only $20. Oh, all right. No. Well, no, he, actually, it was $50. Oh. And what, you paid what, for it? You didn't steal it? No, I didn't steal it. I, I don't steal. How are you getting money? Like, where is money coming from? Oh, I have my little money freezes out there. I yeah. have I have the girls out in Westfield, that is, and uh, I have a what, thing what? here. What do you mean? You get money from women? Are you a pimp? Of course I do. What oh, do you mean? look at you. Whores? Huh? You, you have a whoring business? No, I don't have a whoring business. I have a kind of uh, escort service business. It is wow. where where this girl paid seventy five dollars and me to steal their decision here. It is where he wanted me to pay him one hundred and sixty dollars. What do you do for the women? I don't understand. Oh, I get their little supplies for them, like their beer. It is he want every day. It is and. Uh, uh, supposedly she takes pills that is and stuff it is and and the pills she don't take it is and uh, she claims it is she has a mental illness it is it's the only mental <laughs> illness I've seen her have is her alcoholism right <laughs> and I thought that was supposed to stop years ago. This girl came to you and says I'll go out and make money and give you a cut. Yeah. Yeah. And no. what do you do, I mean, bodyguard? she takes it right out of her jacket. Is. She gets. Uh, uh, she sells her vagina to men. She don't sell her vagina. She is a um, <laughs> uh, lesbian. It is right. <laughs> and she she's had her uh, her boob operated on it. She's kind of flat chested. Right. All right. But why does she give you money? Because she thinks I'm her little road dog. It is, and she beats me up. It is um, when I don't do. What I'm supposed to do for her. Okay. She right. thinks she can pound me at this in order to get me to do what she wants.
Bigfoot, what can we do for you? You just seem generally agitated and, and things are going poorly for you. I mean, what is it we can do for you? I don't, I don't have the foggiest idea, actually. That's what I was trying to wonder if you could figure out something. Yeah. I, I don't even know what the problem is. Well, you've got I don't even know now. what the problem is either. I was listening to some people on the street this while I walked down the street and um, I went and picked up some tobacco, some regular smoking tobacco. Like right. the, not the happy smoke. No, not the happy smoke. <laughs> this was less regular tobacco this time. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, I understand you can't get a job. And you I say can get a job. But they say I just don't, I'm, not, this, I'm not looking for one. But people won't rent a place to you because they're afraid of you? They think you're wearing a mask? What? You think it is... Because of my looks, I'm too scary looking to be out in public. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Is there thing? a law? Yeah, I've Ooh. heard this clear across the street after you had a riot is after beating up each other out in out on Main Street. And then I walk down the street, oh, stay away from that guy. He's scary looking at this. He might do something to you or hurt you. That's discrimination. Yeah. That's why he's suing. Yeah. And that's yeah. why I'm suing. Yep. Yeah. Wow. It's and even certain bars up there is they allow me to go in and he won't even allow me to have a break. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that's on a uh, I mean that's the kind of bars you got up there it is. If Why you, do you if live you there? don't fit into their little clip, if you don't know somebody or know somebody else or been in the school with them or something else, you're not into their little clique. Why you know do you what live I'm saying? there, yeah. Bigfoot? Why don't you move to another state? What do you think it's going to be better? Vermont is the only area I really know very well. I see. And somebody who don't know how to read, I'd get lost in my own backyard oh. if I didn't have a road map that is able to figure out where I was going. So if you can't read, why are you carrying around all those papers? Because I figured somebody else would read them on the <laughs> studio. It is. What do you mean you can't read? You went to school now? Yeah, I went to school. I went to special ed. And you can't read? No. They didn't teach you? No. Or you just can't figure it out? All the times I've been taught how to read, he always found better things to do with this. Like, I started with the learning center at this, and it was this girl, um, I can't remember. I didn't know you didn't know how to read. I didn't either. And, and anyway. I guessed it. She was a tutor for me for a while at this, and almost got me to learn how to read. And then he found another job for her, or is her name was Gretchen or something like that. Mm -hmm. Well, I tell you, this is just a terrible story. And anyways, he got her working for a radio station in Newport, this, and then he tore her from me at this uh, that way. Do you not understand the problem here, Artie? I think basically I do. Yeah, he's living in uh, on planet Earth, and he's not from here. Uh, yeah, right. Where am I from? I mean, you say you're trying to... I came out. My mother is. My so mother don't like, want Where are you me. living right now? Is your mother at odds with you? Does your family like you? No. They don't? I'm the black chief of the family. You're the black, black chief? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let me ask you something. Why not? What would you do? Let me ask you something. Go ahead. You're the same mother that didn't teach you how to read right. is now mad at you? Of course. Why? Because my father told me a long time ago, me and my brother, Jeff, at this. Mm -hmm. And my, even my own brother tried to set me up with a stolen truck, and then he tried me to sell him dope over a jailhouse phone. And I know better than that at this because I've been in jail, and I know he listened on those phones. Right. Because he monitor everything what's going on. Where is your mother now? Is she alive? She's in Newberry, Vermont. And she doesn't want to have anything to do with you? No. When nothing. was the last time you saw her? The last time I saw her is I got a picture. It is when we all met together it is at Hanover Hospital. It is when my father was having a bowel operation because he had trouble shitting out of his rectum. So she, so, so she has nothing to do with you? Seriously. She yeah. had a blockage. A blockage. She has nothing to do with you now. No, no. She she probably, no you, she, you're probably a no. lot to handle. My father had a blockage. You went to visit your father, and that was the last time you saw your mother. Yeah. Like, can okay. your father shit now? Yeah, he can. Oh, he can. That's good. <laughs> hmm. All right. Well, let me tell you something. Have you ever had a similar problem, Bigfoot? Yeah, I do have a similar problem. You can't shit? No, I have blood come down my record. Oh, well, yeah, you know why? I see what you And I've heard even people get jealous of this 
I shit it in somebody's toilet the other day at this, and he had playing for an hour and a half. And he goes, oh, you shit in my toilet. I, was just, I can't have blood in there. Wow, that's dangerous. You better see a doctor. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Line 19 for real. It's Bigfoot's mom. Oh, good. Really? It's your mom. I don't believe it. Mary? Yes. Are you really Bigfoot's mom? Yes, I am. Is this your mom? Yeah, you sounds like her. That's... Hi, Mark. Hi. Hey, you know, Mary, what's going on with you and Bigfoot? How come the two of you can't get along? I think we just lost her. No, she's there. Mary? <laughs> we get along, all right. When's the last time you guys saw each other? It seems kind of sad. Well, it was a few months ago when his father was in the hospital. Right. Do, that do, was do, the last time. Do you love your son? Yes. Can, you, could he and, come home to live? No, we don't have a house. We live with our other son. I see. Stephen. Stephen, yeah. Yeah. I see. So so you and your husband live with Stephen, so you couldn't even offer him a place? No. Right. Is he a difficult guy to deal with, the Bigfoot? At times. Yeah. Is that why it's hard for you guys to get together? Yes. Yeah. And would uh, what would you like to see for him? I mean, he's telling me he's uh, when he defecates, blood comes out of his rectum. It sounds like he's sick. Well, I don't know. I haven't. Uh, right. I don't know anything about that. Yeah. So how come sleep. he never learned how to read? What happened there? Uh, I don't know. No. Yeah. When did you first realize your son was special? Uh, when he started school, when he was in kindergarten. No. Yeah. Because things don't seem to be going too well for him now. He's talking about suing Vermont. and He can't yeah. find a place to live. Bigfoot, what would you like to say to your mom right now? I didn't realize she cared about me in this. Well, she didn't say she cared about you. Yeah, do you care about Bigfoot? Yes, I do. Yeah. Are you worried about him? I do worry about him, yes. Yeah. What happened? Did you? Well, how long has it been since you guys were on good terms? Oh, quite a long time. I what see. was the falling out over? I don't really know. Wait, so what is the falling out over? Why, why is there a problem? Oh, really, it was a problem. Is my father it is, said we were never going to amount to anything. Ah. Uh, well, he was right. <laughs> right? No, he's not really right. He is. At least I can manage to get on the stern show. That's true. That what is about, true. When you say... We weren't going to amount to anything. You meant your brothers and sisters? You would say that to us? No, well? he just told that uh, Jeff and um, the, and and me. Jeff's your other brother? Yeah, Jeff is my other brother, and he's a little off the wall at times. Yeah, I was going to say. So Jeff has not amounted to anything either. Oh, he's amounted to more than I have. At least he has a marriage and. Ah. Uh, has a couple of kids at home and stuff like that, and I'm not even amounted to that. Yeah. Can Jeff shit? Huh? Can Jeff shit all right? I don't know. <laughs> right. So you, do you I've miss your mommy? Two love triangles and everything like that. Why don't like, you say something sweet to your mom now? Maybe you could wait yeah, back. Mother's maybe Day's coming. Mother's Day's coming up. Maybe you could guys could get on track again. And she then sounds your mom's concerned, Bigfoot. Right. She, yeah. does. she does. I, well, I don't know. What it is. It's just, I've been in school alone for so long that it's just. Can't say anything loving to your mom. Happy Mom's Day, and uh, I miss you. I miss you. I love you. Happy Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thank you, Mark. See, I'm good for this family. <laughs> I bring people together. And as much as I don't want your father to have trouble shitting, if it's the only thing that will get you together, <sighs> it's nice you went to see your dad in the hospital. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did do that. Yeah. Now, do you think uh, you could take your mom out for dinner on her special day? You want how do I do that? I don't even know exactly where she lives or how, how to even get to Newberry, Moran. She's probably glad. <laughs> yeah, Is that probably. Right, Mary, on purpose. You, you don't really want to tell him where you live, right? <laughs> well, I, I gave him my address. Oh, you did? Your yeah. mom says she gave you the address. Yeah, I know that. I just not had a chance to send a, a picture of the newspaper yet. I've been so busy with paperwork it is with the state and everything and all the landlords discriminizing me and Did you know the, the uh landlords are discriminating against your son? Yes, I have heard that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you what would you say Bigfoot's problems are? Uh, I don't know. You don't have any idea? No. Do you feel your son needs to be in a hospital of some sort on a regular basis? or No. No? 
No. You think he can live okay on his own? Well, he has been for a well, lot of years. But clearly he hasn't, though. You know, he, he's not, not well. He's not well, living no, well. not well, but he has been on his own for a long time. But no. what kind of an existence does he have? I mean, look, I, I think don't you, know. you should reach out and try to help him, I think. Well, what do you want her to do? Well, I don't know. I mean, I think Bigfoot's a guy who needs uh, guy care. Yeah, he care. needs care. He needs people around him. He, he has some medical issues now, and he's trying to sue Vermont. I mean, you can't let him go on like that. He's talking about not paying taxes. He needs help. I mean, I think, you know, he's someone who needs care. What do you think, Mom? You think you could maybe hook up with him and... No, I couldn't. No. <laughs> uh, why is that? Have you tried everything? In oh, your I pound? have tried before. You have. No. I mean, just at the last, you can't do it anymore. How does it go wrong, Mary? Like, like, in other words, when you try to get in with Bigfoot, like, what happens? Is he just start getting angry and stuff? Well. Well, you sound like you're at the end of your rope. Uh, well, I have my husband to take care of. Right. That's all I can manage right now. Yeah. You what sound if, like a nice lady. She does. What about Steve? What about his brother that you live with? Oh, he just sounds like they don't know well, what to do with Bigfoot. Well, he has his wife, and he has his family to take care of. They don't want to take care of Mark? I mean, he can't. I mean, do they want to chip in and maybe maybe should be in a hospital or something? Hospital? How are they going to pay for that? These don't sound like rich people. Well, I mean, the state would have to take care of him. I mean, but you can't, you can't just let him walk into a hospital by himself. You go and you take care of paperwork as his guardian. And, you, I mean, I think that's where he needs to be. I can't even keep a guardian. It is every time I do get a guardian, it is somebody, an essential person to read for me or something. He end up turning around and stealing my girlfriend from me. <laughs> like that Lori Greenwood. Right. Yeah, you don't want to do that. You don't want to get involved with this. Well, he I mean, I'm, in, love, I'm because... in a vicious circle whatever way I go. Right. This is sad, right, Mary? Yes, it is. Yeah. Well, I've been through two love triangles, Mom. You know that? No, I didn't know that, Mark. Where I've been bounced from one woman to another, it is, and another woman and another guy and... A guy got in there. A guy was in there? <laughs> you know, I mean, did you ever tell your mom you had SEX with a D-U-D-E? I've had that before. Did you other. know that, Mom? Why is no. Yeah. He, yeah. He, he, he. I've been involved in so many different ordeals. that It's it, it just unascribable. Yeah. Mark, do you feel you need to be in some sort of facility where you're under constant care? I don't feel like I should be in any facility. Uh, every time he put me in a facility, he put me into a locked ward is right. where I feel like I'm a prisoner in this. Right. Yeah. So you don't and like I that. feel like a prisoner either way as I look at it in this. I feel like I'm a prisoner out in public it is I'm still doing time for something I've already done time on it, is, and he claiming, oh, we can't help you because of your criminal record. But who the hell can help me? Not even your mom can help you. Yeah. Well, where do I go with something like this? We're out of options here. Yeah. You have fallen through the net. Yes, yes. I've fallen down through the cracks. George That's Bush right. has let you exactly. down. Those are big cracks. <laughs> <laughs> well, but Mary, I, I think you have to be honest with each other here. Mary, do you feel do you feel your son is uh, is retarded, like mentally retarded? Well, that's what I was told. No. So how do you care for a person like that? What do well, you do? I don't know. You just let him go. What are the experts? What's she supposed to do? She didn't know what to do. She said. Well, you get him into a halfway house. Halfway right? house. Or one of those houses. You where don't even have a regular assisted house. Assisted living houses where you know. People, you don't want to be in a halfway house. Like him, have somebody. Well, I wouldn't to mind being in a halfway house as long as he didn't have locked doors and right. tell me what time I have to be in at night. Oh, like well, some, that's what they do. They do. Yeah, that's what he that. do. He yeah. want you to be up at eight o'clock in the morning. And he want you to be in no, at see, ten o'clock at night. Difficult. Yeah. I mean, I'm not a little kid at this. I know, but your mom can't help you because you don't listen to anybody. No, I'm too ignorant to listen to anybody. Exactly. I'm, I'm like a bull in a china shop. Right. <laughs> well, no, he is lovable. Mary, he is, he he Mary, he is, he is a lovable boy, though. I know. He's a good boy. Yes. He is. He's a good boy. And they've tried to make him out to be bad, but... Yeah, he did some bad things. Oh, I know he's done some bad things. He did some time, and he paid yeah. for it. Yeah, yeah, and I'm seeing like I'm still paying for it. Well, yeah. you've been paying for it all your life, I guess. Yeah. Well, Mary, I'm sorry to meet you under these circumstances. I wish there was happier news. Mm -hmm. I, I could offer Bigfoot $500 cash right now. How's that, pal? Wow. 
That would be excellent. At least uh, it would pay for some of the room. I mean, I had to get washed up at a motel room it is before I even got here. I got it from Vermont Teddy Bear. And you can send your mom. Speaking I would like you to Vermont, I yeah. would like you to send your mom a teddy bear. A, a teddy bear. I would. A beautiful handmade Vermont teddy bear. All right, I'll do that. It is with the paper right behind it. Very nice. 1-800-829-BEAR. And that might repair your relationship. You shop online at VermontTeddyBear.com. Mom, you would like a bear from Bigfoot, right? That would be nice. Right. Winners can choose one of the... Has he ever done anything nice for you? Uh, when he was uh, young, he, he yes. did, yes. Yes. Uh, there's, a, there's a whole bunch of... You know what you get? Your mo mom kicks ass bear. That's a good one. <laughs> I think of the one there with the little uh, goggles. That is the uh, bandit bear? Bandit, yeah, the bandit bear. Oh, your mom. That's and that way she'll mind me of me at this. Oh, you're the bandit. <laughs> you know right. what you need the, for your father, too, the, the trouble shitting bear. Oh, stop oh, it. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mary. Mary, well, I like that one. It was nice to talk to you, mother. Yes, Mark. I don't nice. Good to hear from you, too. Yeah, do you right. two have each other's phone numbers? Yes, yeah, we do. My phone number. Oh, well, you should call your mother every once in a while. Tell her I you do, do once in a while you when I have good news me. to tell her. It's, it's, it's been a long time. And when you call her, don't lay all your problems on her. Just say, hey, Mom, I'm worried about you. I want to know how you're doing. That's all. Yeah. Yeah, make it a nice conversation. Yeah. But when a, a family... Yeah. That but when you got this many troubles, it's really hard to not to dump. Dump them on somebody. At least. I know. Well, that's not if, nice. If, if, if you know what I mean. I know exactly what you mean. You be I your mean, mom. You, you, you want you, someone uh, to take care of you. Uh, you feel like uh, after a while, there's, everybody brings all your troubles to you. There's, you feel like you're one big burden to everybody. There's, uh, you don't feel like you want to be around anybody. Right. You feel like you want to be isolated away from everybody. I understand that. So, are you? Do you have a girlfriend right now? Not right now, I don't. I'm working on one, and she's really curious as what's going on with me. I got this thing going on with this male person. It is. Uh huh. Is she and still locked in your trunk, or you? No, her? she's not locked in my trunk. <laughs> she's right. up to that yard <laughs> place. It is. All right. And she's trying to get back to me every time I got money. And now I got somebody, uh, another friend of mine, saying I've already got another girlfriend. Well, I don't even have another girlfriend. All right. Well, listen, I'm, I'm going to let your mom off the hook because she's probably had an earful. <laughs> yeah, she probably uh, made her ears sore. That's right. Mary, thank you. All right. All right. Very nice. Uh, your mom sounds very lovely. She sounds a little bit beaten by the whole well, experience I was a little bit of being with you. Surprised that. Mary, when you, you had must kids. You've been a tough kid. Mary, when you had kids, you never expected this, right? No, I didn't. Uh, this was more than you bargained for. <laughs> How many kids did you have, Mary? I have three others besides Mark. Uh, well, you put, you've done your time. Yes. <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, here's so your, now your reward. <laughs> of the four, so, so Mark and Jeff are off the wall, uh, and the other two are okay? Yes, they are. That's good. Well, all right. Two out of four. Hey, you're, you're betting 500. <laughs> yep. My sister was good. My mom always says that. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Mary. Okay. All right. And Bigfoot, I want to thank you. Uh, oh, always real quick, enlightening. Your ex landlord is on the phone. Oh, dear. Uh, hi. How are you? Hey, I want to tell you something, okay? Yeah. I made an ass of myself. Trying to get to a phone to call you at a specific time. All right. Now, now he's directing this toward you, Bigfoot. So no, let's I'm listening. That. Okay. I'm going to fly out there for the day just to straight you out. Now, this Bring it a, on. He sounds mad at you. Bring this it on. I just don't take my anger out on somebody. Well, let's listen to what he has to say. Make sure you bring your own band-aids. Well, let's listen to what he says. Go ahead. I'm going to straighten your ass out. Now, I don't think you could straighten out in your, your own life. All right. Well, let me tell you. <laughs> I'm not going to play it with you either. All right. Let me just say, uh, Robin, what can we say? It's always we great. We can't say anything. This has been amazing. Out what of has us. to happen immediately is you have to get some roughage in your diet. I have learned oh, so Oh, yeah. Much Make sure you uh, take foot. some coleslaw. That's when you, good bleed, for when you bleed from your ass, it could be a sign that something really is going yeah, wrong. Yeah, it could be your colon. That's right. So you need yeah. to go to a doctor. Yeah. I know I do. And yeah. I see I've eat. just been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. Yeah, and but I've... that's not good. Things go bad on you. and you then... Oh, well, I'm, I'm just like a walking corpse. Oh. You could have bad meat in a can. I watched the big Hey, I should have green out in the morning. It is. Uh, who knows what's in me? Maybe I'm marching. You green? Shit, you shit something green, can Yeah. 
Wow. I didn't figure out that. I didn't eat nothing green. Was that peppers? from a What does it mean, Fred, when a shit comes out green? I know, I seriously, I know these shits mean something. Yeah, they do. I, you know, let me check on, uh, uh, on they, the internet. Yeah, because there's a, they, there was a book called uh, Why Do Men Have Nipples? And they would, answered questions about shitting. I would usually it. think like the ate Play-Doh or something. No. <laughs> well, it, uh, it usually indicates a bile, I think. Just, That's a what I'm saying. A lot of bile in your stool. Yeah, let, let's you, find out. Crap, something green. Yeah, you might have a liver problem. Do you drink an excessive amount? Ben, I drink okay. a lot of coffee. Yeah. I drink a ton of coffee. You uh, take pills? Okay, yeah, I take all of... kinds of pills. I didn't drink take any last night. I've been up, I'm not even gone to bed since last night. Do you take pills to get high or for antidepressant stuff? I take uh, Seroquel. I take uh, stuff for schizophrenic. I take stuff for... Acid reflux. I take uh, <laughs> uh, Seroquel. I mean, see, all that has to go through the liver. Of course, what it has is, to go through uh, the liver. Uh, Whatever Benji, goes through the stomach has to pass through the liver. Have you found on the internet, Benji? Don't you know, you know yeah, that much well, about your stomach? It, it, it could be a sign Sorry, of uh, <laughs> salmonella. Salmonella. Oh, come on. It no, could no, be no, uh, no. giardia. Get out. Of here. What's giardia? That's it's another like a, parasite. In, in water, usually. Okay, this, this, uh, he's going down the wrong path. It's right. either too much, uh, like, leafy green vegetables can also be caused by an excess of iron in the diet from dietary supplements. Did although you eat I don't an think iron? he's taking that. Right. Uh, he doesn't eat vegetables. Let's see. How do you know he's wrong? Once once salmonella while. could be. This can happen when a person is affected with diarrhea. Mm -hmm. Do you have a lot of diarrhea? Uh, depending if I eat cheese. Mm. <laughs> What's. <laughs> What's the texture, Bigfoot? This is becoming the most gross conversation I've ever had. But Why are we here? Hey, Bigfoot, on, on the on the Howard TV special, I saw you eat that pizza. How how often do you eat a pizza like that? Oh, about once a month. A you have a pizza. whole pie like that? Yeah, usually. What uh, what do you eat? Sometimes on I usually eat more than that. But on a, what about on a normal day? In a normal day, it depends on how hungry I get, depending on how long I'm on the road. If you have that much cheese, I can uh, like see what in I... one day I've ate in like a 32-inch grinder all in one day. Wait, does, he, does he eat a lot of ice cream? Do you eat ice cream? Frost no. Cream? Hey, wait, uh, your uh, your uh, ex landlord is on the phone. Yeah. How long do you think I should wait for the money? Oh, this guy says you owe money. Oh yeah. How long should I wait for the five grand, you cocksucker? What five grand? What five grand? What are you talking about? Who are you? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, dude. I what? haven't gotten paid yet. When am I getting the check? What check? I don't know. Let me tell you something. You, you, you I sold that. I'll have, have to go out to Linda and Linda and, and, and write you out one. And you said <laughs> I'll give you $5,000. When did I supposedly say that? Now you're starting to piss me off. I mean, I want you to call me. Oh, come right up here and just see you. Never. I never got a fucking phone call from you. <laughs> you're really fucking pissing me off. You really are. Uh, bring it on. But what does that have to do with anything? Do we got to draw you a map how to get to the studio? <laughs> this was completely out of line, man. What are you trying out? Not to pay me? Is that is that the experiment we're working with? <laughs> oh, it could be. What does that have to do with getting money that's owed to me? It's my money. Take me to court. Hey, that works, it is. I have to judge you to come out and just took it care of. Shit. What was that, sir? You're a fucking loser <laughs> faggot. Oh. I know that. Shit. Tell me something I don't know. This guy's rude. He's an asshole. Whoever this is is out of line. You're yeah. stupid shit. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. <laughs> Well, that was pretty harsh. Yeah. Bigfoot, I'm giving, you, I'm, worth her. I'm giving you $500 from Vermont Teddy Bear, so I hope you can use that money. I know you can. Of course I can. And uh, good luck to you. Yep. I really mean it. Yep. I know. You're a little boy inside. I know that. You suck your thumb at night, don't you? When you Yes, sleep? I do. Yeah. And I even got a picture to prove it. Right. I know. I believe you. Yeah. I, I was told that you suck your thumb. Does he wet his bed? Do you wet the bed? No. Nope. You do not? No. Nope. The sweat. The only back. time I ever do that is when I have a seizure. Why do you suck your thumb? Do you think it's uh... uh one reason it is, and when I dream it is, like uh, that incident with the pickup truck, it is running into the wrecker. Mm -hmm. I dreamed about a couple of nights before then that truck loosening up and rolling down that uh, Dane Dunico Hill. Wow! Before uh, the well, truck was given it. to me. Well, I want you to know that I think you're terrific. <laughs> and believe me, I was almost rolled over by it. Wow. You what is it, Johnny? Happy. Johnny Thank in the Bronx. You woke up.
All right. Thank goodness you Hello? woke up. I woke like, up. It was, it was a that dream. was just the brain. Yeah. It just yeah. came to real yeah. life. Johnny, go ahead. You're on the air. Yeah. If this guy can't read, Howard, how the fuck is he driving a car? <laughs> because I studied the <laughs> test and cool. memorized it, dummy. How did you pass the written test? Yeah. You yeah. didn't give me a written test. Orally. Oral oh, test. Oral test. test. Yes. You didn't have a written test before? You, right. You have Oral to pass test he had. Four people who don't know how to read or write. My father don't even know how to read it right. Wow. Uh, I think it's how some... How the fuck did he get here? <laughs> By my manager, stupid. They're stupid. Can you read at all, Bigfoot, or is it... Uh, I can read stop signs, and I can read, uh, read eel signs, it is, and I can read uh, do not uh, enter. What do not enter. In read. one way, too. Okay. Can you read no freaks allowed, too? Oh, uh, that's not that's not called for. Yes, Artie. What does this can say, Bigfoot? Some kind of cola brink. Okay. See, he cola can't brink. read that. It says Hawaiian punch. Yeah, we were close oh, enough. I'm curious. He, can, he can't read. What? He, he can't read. No, I can't. In terms of, could he read that, considering that's a... Could you read that? That, that, that would a, be a... a that stop sign. Ah! See? Right, I was job. curious, maybe if it was the red color or the shape, but he knows how to read that. All right, well, yeah. listen, Bigfoot, I wish you luck. I do. I know you're Can struggling. Can you say your ABC? Yeah, I am. I'm wickedly struggling with it. I have, I've had to change the battery in my car. I've had to have training worked on four times. Who are you supporting in the next election, presidential election? <laughs> I'm supporting myself. All right. No, no, no. But, no, no any of the candidates? I think I'd be you're a running? better president than any vote? of the ones that have ever oh, been president. Really? Would you get us out of Iraq? I'd just take them... All the poops right out of Iraq and bomb the whole fucking area. All right. Nuke yeah. them. Well, you got to. Oh, wow. Yeah, I like well, it. Well, he's radical. You got to start leading a healthy life, though, because, you know, see, the end is near when you stop shitting. When you can't shit, eventually you go. Oh, don't worry. Shit. I make sure I shit every day. If I have to make even think about you, it is, and I go. <laughs> <laughs> nice. no moan over it. Uh, who, did, uh, who, did, uh, who got upset that you shit in their place? I couldn't imagine you being a guest. Somewhere. Oh, some girl named Jane. And you She's a her. big heifer. It's about the size of a house. <laughs> and you shit in her in her bathroom? Yeah, and I shit in her bathroom and this guy this guy Ronnie is oh imagine? he's a prep and a half of this. He leaves in spirits and goblins and uh, <laughs> and, and, and witches. You're and, not even buying into that sir. No. And he said and he said uh, I mean between uh, him talking to me and me talking to him, it's like Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs> Seriously. Well, he, he, in other words, asked you not to shit in the bathroom because there was yeah, his other Yeah, he blood. was a little offended. He had to sleep with Jane, the big house did he, girl. Did, but how did he see house. the blood in the toilet? If you oh. Did you flush the toilet? I don't know. I don't pay no attention to the toilet. No, I mean, after you shit, do you flush the toilet? I did flush it. Um, I guess you know, all of it didn't go down. Oh, <laughs> boy. Yeah. Oh, and when I take a load, believe me, um, it can be quite a load at times. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, then you better start looking back. Make sure when you're in somebody else's house that you clean uh, it out. And do you wipe your ass properly? Like, how am I supposed to tell that when well, the light switch don't times. work? Oh, the light switch doesn't work. Hey, Bigfoot, on the phone is a girl. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Bring my cigarette lighter and say, is there any blood down there? Uh, Bigfoot, there's a girl on the phone who says yeah. that you trashed her house when you were staying there. Yes. Oh, which one is this? I don't know. Fuck you, motherfucker. Oh. Hello? You know what the fuck is going on, period? Fuck you. Now, what happened, ma'am? Now, get straight on and help. If you can't, if you can't help them, help me. You, you fucked it up, goddamn you. you she, he fucked up your house. I've had it up to here. Yeah. Do you know this woman? I don't even know who, who help she is. Help me. Who the hell are you? You the one I met by the motel room this morning? Who knows? Who knows what's up? I don't have a fucking idea. All right. You probably need your fix for today. Leave me the fuck alone. Who the fuck are you start with? Fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> I don't fuck my mother. I fuck all the other whores. Oh, shut up. <laughs> All right, thank Could you, man. you imagine man. Bigfoot as your guest somewhere? Oh, Any shit? I mean, do you like like all I would be thinking about is when is Bigfoot gonna shit? Right, and and you how do I get to I move see shit afterwards? The side of the road it is. You what? shit on the side of the road? Sometimes I have to. <laughs> like, how do you do that? <laughs> I just pull my pants down and just show everybody the moon. Really? And, and like, where do you wipe with? Whatever I can find. Yeah, newspapers. 
garbage, uh, <laughs> There's no way. Do you wipe properly? Like, how many times? Do you get a good wipe in there? How's he going to get a good wipe? Leave. Uh, I'm saying, but not, not. Hey, I'm like that Harry and the Henson. You could all make a movie with it. Is. But when you <laughs> shit in a person. Maybe I should go into your house. No, no, no. Don't ever do that. But when you shit. <laughs> Why not? I'm uh, 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 it's been your neighborhood. Hey, wait, can't Bigfoot come to your house and take a yeah, shit. Can't <laughs> Did, say, um. I'll probably plug up his plumbing. You're right. What is the size? Is it because you're a big guy? I mean, what is the size of your turd? Is it like? It's almost the size of the logs. Wow. wow. Another thing you got to see is, and I don't know if I dare bring this in the studio. I had this walking tall stick. He purposely made it. That's for me. Yeah. I used to work down at Howard Connolly's. It is. Yeah. And he made me a fence post. It is. Uh, that way, I used to have riots come after me, 15 people at a time. Yeah. And I'd be there with this ball for <laughs> All right. And I'd aim for the head. wild. I just wow. want to know how well you wipe your ass when you're in a person's home, like, and you have paper. Uh, do you wipe it properly then? Yes, I usually do. Hey, wait, there's a guy on the phone. He says he's your neighbor, and he wants you out of the neighborhood. Yes, go ahead, Gary. I'll tell you something. Well, I'll tell you something right now, you fucking asshole. I now look at you and see you for the human piece of shit that you are. Why are you mad at Bigfoot? Want me to put some shit down on your front lawn? Which one of us has been to jail? Not me. Oh, a big fucking deal. You not been to jail? Want me to show you what it's like? I'll bring you right there. Yeah, go take in another Cadillac hairbrush. style. What is that, sir? Yeah, go take another hairbrush in your ass. Oh boy. Say it again one more time, so I get a fucking restraining order against you, and you go in jail. Oh, go right ahead. You want to be the first one I've had put on me? You are a fucking piece of shit. All right. Thank you, sir. He's obviously mad. Wow. Hey, but it does sound, though, like you have a lot of friends. Oh, yeah. He just love me up there. I, I, oh, you got to hear. Do you have to take a shit? Can Howard, TV, can Howard TV film you? For, for, uh, do you have to take a shit now? No, not right now. I don't. No, well, maybe if you're here later, uh, they'll film you for taking a shit. Yeah. Well, have you that shit be yet today? Yeah. Have you oh, I got a lot of gas in me. You wouldn't want to smell the wow. gas. It might it might curdle your soda. No, you're right about that. <laughs> well, Bigfoot, I love you, and I hope everything works out for you. Yeah, anyways, yeah. I walked in this liquor store. And this Bigfoot, girl, winding down. And anyways, this bottle. Oh, this girl <laughs> stole a bottle of liquor, it is. Yeah. Just because I was standing in the store, I got kicked out of the store. It is just because I was standing there, and I was the one driving the car. And you had nothing to do with her. And I had nothing to do with it. Nothing. Did you see? And I got a restraining it? order not to go in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. They put a restraining order on you. Yeah, he put this a was a stranger. This girl, you didn't even know the girl. Yeah, and I didn't even know the girl. This just because she was riding in my car. Why What's was she, she in doing your car? In your car, if you don't. Because know her. she wanted to ride. She was supposed to go buy some liquor. How did you meet her? So you did know her. I knew her through another friend of mine. It used to be another. Oh, so she said she was going to buy liquor. She stole it, and you they drove her to the store. Well, right. I thought you and were it, an accomplice. Right. Right. And, yeah, and he probably didn't say that I was accomplice, and I weren't. Mm -hmm. I was well, just an innocent bystander. Hey, there's a guy on the phone who wants to have gay sex with you. <laughs> oh, God. Right. Come on. What'd you eat high? Big fan. Big, big fan. Good. I'll give you a bucket of chicken for a hand job. <laughs> wow. Would you have Which a... Which hand do you want? Would you give us... Can I ask you a serious question? Go ahead. When will I get tired of sucking cock? Did you ever get tired of sucking cock? I never sucked cock. Oh, that's right. You took it in the ass, right? No, I I had him suck my cock. Oh, okay. Oh, my. Hmm. I could lick a man's balls with his dick in my mouth. Wow. I once sucked a black cock. It, it was so big, I puked all over his balls. <laughs> you puked on his balls? <laughs> hey, that sounds like that girl Jane, what she did to me is when she sucked my balls. What are you, a fucking comedian? <laughs> yeah, I try to be. Tickle my lungs with your huge cock. Well, if you, I did that, then your uh, your uh, uh, Adam's apple would be dying for more. You looked like the last shit I took. <laughs> okay. Well, listen, you sound like a very nice man. Hickory dickory dock. I can suck my own cock. Hickory dickory <laughs> I wouldn't dock. doubt that. I can suck your cock, too. You're not going to suck mine. Well, why not? That's my second. Probably has eight. Oh. All right. Thank you. I love a hot load on my face. <laughs> All right, you've said enough. <laughs> I'll call back in five minutes. All right. All right thank you. Go yeah. Fuck yourself. 
Oh. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, he's about to get off the air. Bigfoot, thank you. Five hundred dollars from Vermont Teddy Bear. Yep. We wish like, you the best, and yep. uh, we'll be don't back. Don't spend it all. Oh, in one don't place. forget the pictures that we got on the internet too. Oh, okay. Where is that? Let's see the website. Yes, Guiding Light Marketing at Yahoo dot com. Bigfoot, yep. get him in for appearances, and that would help him out. He'd like to appear at your parties. Yep, and, and he uh, will be signed by me too. All right, and he's willing to make autographs as part of his fee. Uh, he wow. does a lot of things. What kind of money do you charge for someone to show up at a party? I don't know. You would have to ask my manager okay, that. He's the one promoting that stuff. I understand. All right, so that sounds reasonable. When we come back, a magician, do you like magic? Yeah. Yeah, a magician is going to pull a card out of a woman's vagina. Yeah, that's all I would like to see. You want to see it? Yeah, I'd like to see that. All right, I'll let you see the, the, tra the trick. I, I would absolutely let you see that. Yeah, that would right. be nice. All right, we'll be back right after these. Yay, this is all right, it is time to play. Let me see if I, if I, if I have this right. What is it? Well, Bigfoot just went to the bathroom. Oh. I tried to stop him, but he just walked uh -oh. right over there. Is he making a turn? I, I don't know what he's doing. I'm like, We're, you're about to go in the air. He's like, I have to go now. Or should he I does go? this all the time. He always shits right. <laughs> Howie, give me the piece of paper so you're not tempted. All right. Here's the piece of paper. I want to know this, this is untainted. No taint here. <laughs> My friend. No taint for you. Oh, wait a minute. It is pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Oops. Was it even close? No. You won't, don't even say. Don't give any hints. Right. Uh, what, what is it, Will? He's taking a shit. Yeah, but he's supposed to use his ass to guess. I know. Oh, that's <laughs> awful. Uh, what an, oh, my goodness. Makes that's the shit way better. How, how are you yeah, gonna as long as you're not playing. That kid knows how to make a bit better. <laughs> Who's the guy at Howard TV that's in charge of putting it's the object uh, in uh, Big Isaac Success? or I are going to uh, do it. Either Isaac or myself. If you, you're you going to catch a wicked I'll lift. do it. I don't care. You're going to get that mask? So you yeah, you're going to get a mask now. <laughs> put on gloves. Yeah, well, put some sort of hazmat suit on. Oh. Uh, by the way, the uh, we have a money prize for Bigfoot and Blue Iris, and the $500 prize for Guess What's in My Ass is provided by ClipsForSale.com, the number one site on the net for adult and fetish video clips with over 500,000 clips to choose from. That's Clips, the number four, Sale.com. When is a Bigfoot going to be off the potty? He's off. Oh, he is? Yeah. All right, let's get started. Bigfoot and Blue Iris are here. They want to play uh, Guess What's in My Ass. Well, I think it's only fair that Blue Iris now go. Go take a shit? <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe that won't help her. <laughs> Whose ass did we use for the What's in My Ass uh, promo here? Do we know? <laughs> I don't know. That looks like Crispy's. I think Richard Crispy's You think ass. Richard yeah. Provided. Definitely oh a guy's God. ass. Up oh, here they are, Bigfoot, and uh, oh, Bigfoot's in a suit. In a suit. Looks very good. And Blue Iris, who's very thin. Sexy Blue Iris. She looks thinner. Well, maybe it's the outfit. We can't hear you, honey. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. We don't know what you're saying. All right. Very good. Hi. Blue Iris, you are a porno star. You're an old porno star. You're actually an older woman who is into porno. Uh, a Bigfoot, everyone knows you and loves you. You've been on the show many times. How are you? I'm fine. All right. And you're wearing a suit. Where'd you get the money for that? Oh, I got it during a few of my uh, um, appearances on the... Uh on stage there and when I was in Burlington and when I went to uh, New York. Now, Blue Iris, you're breathing very heavy. Is that you with that noise? Asthma. Asthma. Oh, Blue Iris, I see you looking at Bigfoot like you're attracted to him. Are you attracted to Bigfoot? I like Bigfoot a lot. I'm not attracted to him. But Beetlejuice and I are attracted. Yeah. And uh, Bigfoot, uh, what about you with the ladies? Have you uh, ever made love to a woman who is as attractive as uh, Blue Iris? Uh, not really. No. She's way She'd out of your league. She'd be a catch for you. She'd be a catch for you? Um, no, she's not way out of my league. I've had some udders in my league. Some udders. Like, like her is. Right. When, when he came up from Vegas is. Right. And I shared them with three other guys it is. Oh. And would you we, make love to her, though, if she said to you, uh, Bigfoot, I will have sex with you? Would you, or is she a turn-off to you? Uh, I would make love to her. You would? Yeah. Right. Well, that's not nice, Blue Iris. Bigfoot yeah. would make love to you. 
And Blue Iris, what have you been working on? You had any movies coming out, any porno, anything that we'd want to see you in? Um, yes, but they're not done yet. Uh -huh. You've been are... working hard? I, I have, yes, I have. I have three videos that I made with Enemy and Golden Hill Pictures, and they're for sale on my website. And they're, they're like three-minute movies, and they're very funny. They're like... Uh, an off-color Lucille Ball stunts. Oh. I see. And and as far as porno goes, have you done anything kinky or weird lately? No, I can't because the porno uh, website isn't up yet, and I promised them I wouldn't do any other porn. All right, fair enough. They want to keep you exclusive. Is that it? Are yeah. you under contract? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know this. It's my own company. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're under contract to yourself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. And you promised yourself you would not work. No, uh, I promised my partners I wouldn't work. All right, fair enough. And what about you, Bigfoot? Are you making any money these days? I know you've been having your oh, problems. Oh, I've been making some money today selling my um, aut aut autographed pictures of me and you standing side by side with okay. your little puppet there at the Oh. Where your cardboard puppet is. What? Right. And bumper stickers I got. I think you must be talking about a cardboard uh, stand-up of me. Yes, yes. so I am. You, so you're not actually standing next to me. You're standing next to a cardboard stand-up of me. Right. I see. All right. Well, Bigfoot is uh, making some money. And how much can you get for autographing a picture of myself and you? Uh, $15. No kidding. Yes. Well, that's terrific, then. I'm, I'm not... 15 bucks. Glad, and he's glad to pay it. Wow. And uh, on my website, I have a shirt that goes for AIDS for rent for people with AIDS living on the streets. Well, that's very nice. Now, Bigfoot, it says here that you are taking a drug or an anger problem. What is yes, the drug? I, a couple weeks ago, I had this guy kept getting in my face and got, got in my face twice in one weekend, it is, and my... Other girlfriend that is Mel there it is. She got her art business going it is. <laughs> and she got in the middle of Terry and me it is and I was about ready to snap his neck. Uh, Why would start... some you're a very large, big muscular man. Why would anyone get in your face? Why did he get in your face? What was his problem with you? He has a alcohol problem it is and like I told the people in the back room and there it is. It's like I'm my own judge and jury it is when an argument starts happening. Of it course. Is. I have to intervene and try to simmer things down in a peaceful manner before somebody gets hurt. All right. Well, so why would you intervene? Huh? You intervene on your own behalf. Yeah. Right. Right. First you're in right. the argument and then you intervene. Right. I and why do, you, why do you think all these people start in with you? I think because I intimidate them, it is, and I'm so large, it is, I scare them in different things I do. So you, you went to a doctor and got a medication of sorts to calm you down because you're afraid that you might snap someone's neck? Right. Right. And what is the drug that you're on? It's, uh, pam um... Pampers? Not, no, not pam. <laughs> Pam, uh, Pam, something it is. Pam? Yeah. What is he talking about now? <laughs> Pamela Sue Martin. Lorazepam? No. no, it's, it's, it's like a, um, I'm trying to think of the name of it is. It. Diazepam? Yeah, there you go. Diazepam. <laughs> what is it? Azapan. Azapan. Yeah. Better bring the psychic back to figure out what he's talking about. <laughs> anyway, it's like a Valium in this. Yeah, that would be diazepam. So now if a guy gets in your face, what happens? You just kind of laugh it off? Yeah, you, know, you just kind of take a half a pill of this and just uh, put it in my mouth. It is, and after a while, it'll calm me down just like a little baby in a crib. Really? Now, now, some of the guys say you're going to try and feel things with your ass today and guess what's in your ass. Uh, some of the guys said you just took a dump. Is that true? Yes. Wow. Are because you embarrassed? I had a bunch of hot Ooh. chili peppers. Uh, <laughs> some of the guys claim that after you made a duty that you didn't uh, wash your hands. Is that true? I washed them. You did? Yeah. Oh, okay. Some of the guys said you didn't.
He kind of fibbing. He's fibbing. What yeah. amount of uh, acids and hot, scalding water and industrial soaps do you think it would take <laughs> to officially clean your ass, Bigfoot? Do you, do you clean your ass on a regular basis? Yes, I do. I take showers uh, whenever I can able to find a house. I can able to take a shower. When's the last time you were able to do that? Uh, this start of day, it was... Not yesterday, the day before that. So you haven't showered in two days. Yeah. And you just shit. Right? Yeah. Let's play what's in his ass. <laughs> Howard. And, yes. This is the fifth time you shit today, by the way, too. Oh, really? Oh, right? And I looked at your hands. Those are not clean hands. Look at your nails. My nails are always like that. Oh. Covered with shit? Yes. No. What? That is dirt. It is from... Your ass. Yes. Doing whatever I do out on the street. That's shit. Like, dude. wipe your ass. Bigfoot. Why are you going so much? Yeah, why? Five times in one day is crazy shitting. Uh, anyways, yeah. coffee works like a laxative like me. All right. Yeah, you're like everybody else. Uh, you're the, between the hot chili peppers and the oh, coffee, oh, the oh. black coffee, it is. Oh. It's just like taking an X. Excellent. Well, is that what your uh, breakfast consists of? Hot chili peppers and coffee? Oh, that's a darn lunch. Oh. Well, um, I only eat one meal a day. Is that right? Yeah. I didn't know that. Is that because you can't afford food? I can afford food. It is. I just, uh... Well, are you sucking on your dentures? Is that what's going on in that noise? You keep going... Oh, I'm sorry. What is that? That's from St. Francis Hospital, Tardive Dyskinesia. <laughs> from what? Tardive Dyskinesia. Tardive Dyskinesia? Yeah. Is that what you have? Yeah. And what, and what does that cause you to do? Suck your teeth like that? It's it's involuntary movements because they committed now to come out practice on me. They committed now practice? Yeah, and I shut them down. Yeah. All right, all right. You want to hear something from me? I didn't mean to get a cold sore or, 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 or eat in a bush too much. You got a cold sore? Eating a yeah. bush? No, yeah. the a, bush. A, a, the bush. Eating pussy? Uh, yeah, eating pussy. You must get you some great herpes? pussy. No, That's I herpes. got a cold sore on my lip eating a pussy too much in this you, one night. You got a mouth ache. That's a herpes. No, that's not a herpes. Yeah, this is yeah. cold sore from eating pussy too much. Oh yeah, yeah, but the, I'm God, telling you, that's what that's up. what a herpes is. <laughs> herpes is a cold sore on your lip. You too. Are... Oh, I thought it was just from eating too much pussy. Well, that's no. what happens when you get you eat too much bad if you pussy. Eat bad pussy. Yeah, you, you eat bad, bad pussy. <laughs> you gotta get oh, good which pussy. Which ones do you know? Which ones are good? If we need uh, the ones that are bad. Yeah. Why are they wearing masks? They're afraid of when you pull on your pants and feel shit with your ass, it's going to be weird. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. So anyway, you ate bad pussy and you got herpes. <laughs> right. It were lip. herpes. It was just a cold sore right in the middle of my lip. Yeah, that's what that is. A uh, cold sore is caused by herpes. Oh, I didn't know those were herpes. Yeah. We hate to throw the cold water of life into your face, <laughs> Do you look but at... uh, you have shit nails and herpes on your mouth. Oh, that's as normal me. I'm going to try and take out the hearing Anderson. You know, when you... Oh, eat... I got the little, little looking beard it's just like them. When you eat pussy, do you look at it first to make sure that there's nothing on it? No, it don't matter to me. It is. I just lick it clean. Right. Oh, Jay. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, you must be turned on, Blue Iris. Uh, Blue Iris, you say you went to the hospital and now you're suing them? No, no. It, it was an unfortunate thing. And I uh, started a group called Citizens Against Shock. And Howard K. Smith, before he passed away, did a 90-minute special on me called Madness and Medicine. Uh, they destroyed my health. All right. All right. Well, let's get on to the game. I think it's yeah. time. Yeah, Big we're foot. getting bummed out here. Uh, yeah, I don't want to be bummed out. By really? Way, I could listen to this for seven hours. Uh, Bigfoot, by the way, congratulations. I understand you just bo You see that noise you're making? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Make it again. No, I can't. <laughs> it's awful. It's, it's, in, tartar, it's in tartar nesia. <laughs> Maybe I will she's make it. She got. She makes a noise now. 
Well, they gave me 1,400 milligrams of Stelazine, 1,400 milligrams of Prolixin, 1,400 milligrams of Melaril, and every four hours. I have nothing but scars on my body from that particular hospital. But, yeah, I only take 500 milligrams of Seroquel. Not every four hours. You just trying to knock, you just trying to knock out a horse. You take enough drugs to knock out a horse? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you take 500. What other medications are you on, Big Fun? Right now, I'm on like 16 med medications. All of them for what? <laughs> All kinds of things. Which ones do you want to know first? Any of them. What do you want? Yeah, we uh, I have a seizure disorder. Oh. I'm schizophrenic. I, I got uh, acid reflux. I got <laughs> salt water disease. I got, salt uh, water disease? <laughs> yeah. Salt water disease? Well, yeah. salt water. I, I, I go in the salt water and I get the hives. Oh. Where do you go to salt water? Well, you go to the ocean and swim? Yeah, that's where I came from. You came from the ocean? You came from the ocean? In a sense, we all did. <laughs> we all evolved from the ocean. Yeah. Yeah. And why do you keep trying to go back? <laughs> <laughs> that's a heavy thought. Are you sure you didn't come from Ocean Township? What do you mean that's where you come from? Maybe. Where do you come from? The ocean? From Connecticut. Yeah. And There's the ocean is in Connecticut? And you suffer yeah, from salt. Really. <laughs> and so why not just avoid salt water and then not take the pill? Why not just not go in the ocean? <laughs> because I like going in the ocean. It is because there's, there's no rocks in the ocean. There's no what? Rocks. Rocks in the ocean. <laughs> At least you're not going to worry about hitting a ledge that is out in the ocean. <laughs> All right, never mind it's that. hard for you to avoid in everyday life walking so into big, ledges. Bigfoot, what is this? I understand you just bought a car. Yeah, I bought a uh, Geo uh, Metro. And you paid $190 for the car. Yeah. yeah. And it runs, actually. And it actually runs. Yeah, and I wow. got the title and Bill sales still on it. And you, and you, this is how you make a living. You pick people up in the car and drive them places. Yeah. Who people must be shocked when they hire a, a driver and a hundred ninety dollar car shows up? <laughs> does, your, does your air conditioning work? Yeah, when you roll the windows does down. Does it have a back You don't have air conditioning. I don't either. You should see what I do. I, I have air conditioning. This is when I turn the fan on. I see. So, so the thing runs. You fill it up with gas, and then you pick people up and you take them to the airport. Yeah, it's, okay. yeah, it's oh, actually cheaper than my caddy. Well, now it's time to play a game. <laughs> the game is called. Well, guess what's in my ass? What we're going to do is uh, you're going to lay down on the on the bed over there. Yeah. And we'll place things on your ass. Right. And you see if you can tell what it is. Try and feel it with your anus. And if you can tell us what it and is. And your butt cheek. We'll give you $100 per item, whoever uh, wins, okay? All right. All right. Sorry. Good to me. All right. Blue Iris, can you handle this? Are you going to be able to do it, baby? Oh, no. Oh, you just pulled off Blue Iris's wig. <laughs> oh, my God. Put that thing back on. You saw Isaac, you pulled off Blue Iris's wig with her headphones. What did you do? You need to that thing on, man. All right, let's make it like that never happened. All right. Iris, sorry about that. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. She you still look beautiful. You know you look good without the wig, honestly. Yeah, I know. You do. You're but this is my... Look. Never mind. Thank you, Howard. <laughs> you're pretty. You're a pretty girl. Pretty. Okay, I gotta go. Already this made show out. Is too crazy. <laughs> this is too crazy. All right, let's. Uh, what let's... else can happen? All right, you got. Yeah, Howard, you want me to take my pants off? Yeah, in order to, uh, Iris, you're gonna have to pull your pants down in order okay, to. Okay, I will. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and same with you, Bigfoot. You yeah. Pull, oh God. Pull no, it down. Was... Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Howard, there's big stains in his underwear. underwear. Did you make stains in your underwear, Bigfoot? <laughs> Those are natural. Those are skid marks. Yes, you're right. They say kosher. Kiss me, I'm kosher. <laughs> now, uh, Blue Iris, you pull your... <laughs> Blue Iris. <laughs> All right, okay. obviously. Now, now, guys, I'm going to take nightmare. it. The first item is up for bid. I'm going to uh, first do uh, Blue Iris because she's a lady. Ladies always go first. Now, Blue oh. Iris, we, obviously we can't, uh, you know. Oh, you're putting blindfolds on them. Good. Blue Iris, you okay? I'm fine. My kids are going to kill me. All right. Uh, Bigfoot, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Bigfoot, you got a lot of zits on your ass. Anybody ever tell you that? 
Oh, oh, I know that. I sit down too much. All right. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh, my God. What is it, uh, Will? What is going on over there? I can't tell if his underwear is bloody or if it's a skid marks. I told you I bleed out my ass. Oh. oh. You bleed out of your ass? I told you that. You didn't believe me? Well, maybe, maybe you should see a doctor. About that. Can we get Dr. Jules down here again, the Kairoga? I was going to say, can we get some healthy asses to play this game? <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm going to throw up. Oh, my God. This All is right, terrible. Are we ready now? <laughs> now, obviously, Iris, we can't, you know, shove this thing up your ass. But So what we're going to try and do is put it in the crack there, and, and hopefully you'll be able to tell what it is. Yeah, you'll okay. have to sort of help them with your hands without touching it to right. get Right. Guide it. us, okay, because we certainly don't I want I can't it. touch the item. No. Uh, only with your ass cheeks. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Here we okay. go. Here's item number one. And I'm not going to say what it is. All right. Now let's put it there. Let's see if she can tell what it is. All right. Iris. Is, oh, my goodness. Iris, are you able to tell what that is by squeezing it with your ass? <laughs> That's a pen. Say again. A pen. A pen. A P E N. A pen. <laughs> Correct. Is that your final answer? Or do you want to feel it one more time? Final answer. Uh, that is not correct. I'm going to give it to Bigfoot. Now, Bigfoot, here's the same item. Not the same one. No, no. <laughs> now, put that... <laughs> Sp spread his cheeks a little so he can get it. Oh. Oh, oh my God. Oh. No, no, get the... Get the... Get it, get it, yeah. Come on. <laughs> there, that's it. So he can feel it. All right, Bigfoot, now, squeeze it, it and try and feel it with your ass. Oh. Don't touch it with your hand or you'll be disqualified. All right. What do you think it is? Is it a microphone? <laughs> no, it is not a microphone. Is that your final answer? I guess it is. No, right. dumbass. <laughs> the answer to both of you is that was a toothbrush. Oh, my. Well, he should have brushed it up and down. Yeah, a oh. toothbrush. You feel that, uh, Bigfoot? Yeah. All right, let's try another item. Bigfoot, the, I mean, in all fairness, that's an item I don't think Bigfoot's ever seen. All right, uh, Bigfoot, here we go. We're going to put another item. This one, uh, I'm going to let you go first this time because Blue Iris went first the last time. And give, him a, give him a good shot there so he can feel it. All right, it's lodged in your ass. What, Will's got it in there. Uh, can you tell what that is? Squeeze your cheeks together, see if you can feel it. Can you feel it? Oh, jeez. A rubber ball? What do you say, judges? Got to be more specific? Uh, more specific. Try to be more specific, uh, Bigfoot. Take another shot at that. You're pretty close. Um, um, what, what? Can you, can you come up with a, 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 squeeze it with your ass cheeks? <laughs> I'm trying to think what he call those balls that is, uh, he bounce so much. It is, um. A Benoit ball? <laughs> no, um. No help, Blue Iris. Um, You're playing against him, Blue Eyes. Okay. Don't, don't help him. Um, uh, make sure you can feel it there, uh, Will. Make what sure does he call those things? Uh, squeeze, it, squeeze it again, Bigfoot, and see if you can feel it. I feel it. it is, I just can't remember the name of it. It's it like a Super Bowl. It is. Uh, Super Bowl is not the right answer. I'm going to have to move it to Blue Iris. Iris, feel this and tell me if you can um, get it. We're going to put it in your ass. Blue, when's the last time you took a dump? <laughs> okay, come on, come on, Isaac. Use your hand there with the glove. You got a glove on. What's the matter with you? Make this happen. All right, there. Squeeze it and tell us what you think it is. Um, a ball. Well, you have to be a more. Grape? Specific. It's not a grape, is it? All right. I'm a gonna, I'm a, gonna have to a just... rubber ball. No, a it's jack's a, ball. It is a ping pong ball. Oh darn! A jack. A ping ball. pong ball. Uh, a big foot. Oh, sorry about that. All right. We're going to try one more object now. So far... I knew neither one of them would be able to figure out it. All right, Blue Iris, you'll go first this time. Let's uh, try the next object. Okay. No, not that one. Go. go uh, all right, here we go. So far, nobody's won any money. No one's won a dime. All right. Help. Blue Iris, go ahead, Isaac. Put it... No one's a winner in this room right now, Robin. <laughs> get it. Get it in there so Iris can feel it. Iris, there it is. What is that? Come on. I don't know. Uh, well, I give it to Bigfoot. There's no way he's going to get it. Bigfoot, squeeze it. I'm Big trying to squeeze it. 
Come on, Bigfoot. Come up with an answer. Come on, you can some trying to come up with an answer. All right. A rubber. Um, oh, um, Both of them are laying flat on the ground. Their pants are off. They are examining these objects with their buttocks. Oh, no. <laughs> Bigfoot, I guess. Um. Robin's looking at it. She can't even tell what a it is. Toy, a toy doll? No, it's a bar of soap. I oh. I thought it was. Gonna get that. All right, I'm going to give you one last time. Go to the last item on the list. In my house, we keep the money under a bar of soap. <laughs> <laughs> all right, soap was not... Uh, all right, go give this one to um, Bigfoot first. It's his turn. Bigfoot, can you tell what this is? Yeah, it's a cloth. A what? It's a, not a cloth. A Sorry, go ahead, uh, Iris. What do you think this is? Get it right, and you win the money. Just well, You just have to A get banana? It. No. Ah, oh, shucks, Robin. <laughs> Close. <laughs> it was corn on the cob. Oh, no. Yeah, well, neither of you win any money, oh, but wow. you know, maybe we could, just for being good sports. We have a $500 prize for Guess What's in My Ass. What if we divided it up equally between us? Oh, that'd that be would terrific. be terrific. Yeah, yeah. 250 yeah. apiece. How's that? Thank you. Is that okay, uh, um, uh, Bigfoot? Sure. Another way to put it in Bigfoot's terms is you want another car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this sounds like a better game show. And you have money left over for gas. <laughs> well, there they are, our two contestants. And I want to thank um, ClipsForSale.com for sponsoring What's in My Ass. It's the number one site on the net for adult and fetish video clips with over 500,000 clips to choose from. That's clips, the number four, sale.com. Everyone, what's in my ass? And we'll be back right after these words. All right, I'm going to give you an opportunity to win some uh, money. I've got $500 thanks to our friends at Vermont Teddy Bear. And they remind you to send your mom or wife a beautiful handmade Vermont teddy bear for Mother's Day, 1-800-829-BEAR. Or you can shop online at vermontteddybear.com. And uh, not only are you playing for $500, but I'll also throw in a bear. You can get the barefoot and pregnant bear, the mom kicks ass bear, or the angel bear, okay? Cool. Thanks, All dude. right, so you'll decide on that. All right, this is called the Bigfoot Couples Match Game. So we say to Bigfoot, Sonny and... What would you say, Robin? Sure. All right. Batman oh. and Robin. Robin. Is it sunny and cloudy? And so you... you're asking Bigfoot these questions, oh. and we have to determine if he comes up with the right part. Uh, that is right. correct. What do I have to get? Three out of five or something? You have to get three out of five. Yes. Okay. That is correct. So you're telling me Bigfoot can do some of these? I'm not telling you anything. <laughs> oh yeah, Artie. Congratulations, by the way, on over 300. Way to go, dude. Wow. Artie now weighs 303 pounds. It's Jeez. amazing how it's, it's a direct parallel to hitting in baseball. I love that analogy. What are you eating right now? I can tell you're eating. I can hear it. Well, I, I was going to eat. I'm eating chocolate chip cookies, but Benji's grossing me out. What is Benji doing? That's grossing you, you out. You got to see what he's eating now because the floodgates. <laughs> oh, open. now he's making it's, up. For I'm eating time. real slow. Or what? He's got a banana. It's just the common. There's something yeah. gross about it. The banana, three hard-boiled eggs, and he a immediately, salad. He immediately jumps into gorge mode. I'm not gorging. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to eat all this stuff. I ate a little soup because you have to be really careful. <laughs> three eggs, a trough. But they already ordered my lunch, and I just I might have it. I might not. You gotta save room badges for your tent. No, no, you have to be. Salad. I probably won't eat all this. Right Is that now. a soup carton too? I had a soup. You have to be. Okay. You have to eat real slow. I'm not eating fast. It would be real. You know what said? I mean, if you, I, I, if you lost another 50 pounds on the doctor, going to have the it. doctor just offered you an incredible thing, liposuction. He, absolutely, very cool. And I'm going to. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep dieting. I'm going to keep doing the yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, you just said it was so easy. Well, so the coolest thing is that I got into exercise. Is that right? Yeah. Good. Yeah, but you'll be 150 pounds. You're gonna that that's a weight you want to be. I think I should be probably anywhere around 170 or below. How wow. tall are you? Uh, I don't know, like five eight, five eight and a half. Yeah, you should, should be around 170, 160. 160. Yeah. yeah, I mean, when, when I get to one like after under 200, which is a like really under 200, not just fasting like I did now, I start looking really cute. And then like <laughs> under, well, I was gonna say, don't oh, you want to look like a movie star? Have I ever seen you that thin? Never. When I first started, I I was probably a little over that. Did you get checks when you were thin? Yeah, I get checks now, too. No, I, I, I know check. you do. You have a check. But yeah. I'm saying... You got check. Did you get girls when you were real thin? Yeah. No. But I was I was always up and down. I was always up and down. 
Well, do it. I, that doctor said he can remove all the excess skin, and you need that. Thing. I completely agree with you, and, right. and I, I'm motivated and excited about it. Is that going to help him get to work on time now, or what? I don't know. Yeah. It, should, it should. should have more energy. Uh-huh. All right, here we go. Let's play the game. Batman okay. and... Oh, there it is. Batman and... Will he know the answer, Robin? Jeez, I don't know anything about his level of awareness. Oh, what, so you give me the answer, and I have to guess if it's right or wrong? No, you have to one. You have to now see if you can match with Bigfoot. Will he say Robin? Uh, I got okay. All right. Um, I'm assuming yeah. that would be the answer. Right. Um, yeah, I'll say he knows it. You say he knows it. Or I, he could guess what Bigfoot would say too. <laughs> if he's right. Yeah, I didn't, that's what I mean. I well, didn't I'm, I'm making it easier for him. I'm saying, will he <laughs> get it, or will he? You know, if you want, are you guessing Batman and Robin or anything else? No, I'm guessing Robin. Right. You want to say that he'll do anything else? I'll accept that. <laughs> or as an would he say Batgirl? <laughs> I don't or Batroom? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going with Robin. All right. What do you think, Robin? Do you think he knows it? I haven't a clue because, I mean, we've never asked Bigfoot anything. I, I got to tell you, I can't imagine someone wouldn't know Batman and Robin. What if he says Batman and Spider-Man? That's wrong. Yeah. Superman. Right, here we go. Robin. All right, you All right. know something. You got one right. I'm very Ooh. impressed. One right. Yeah, he seems like a big kid, so you think you'd know that. I don't know. All right, here we go. Here's your second one. All, All right. you need is two more, and you're done. Okay. Singers, Donnie and... Donnie, and now you can say Marie, or you could say anything else. What was it, singers? Singers, Donnie Sing and... Yeah. Donnie yeah. and... The obvious uh, answer would be Donnie and Marie. Or he might say Donnie Osmond. But it was Donnie and. It was Donnie Why and. Why would you yeah, say yeah, Donnie yeah. and Osmond? <laughs> Fred, you, you're because, a bright Because guy. he's Bigfoot. Oh, I'm not saying geez. that's the answer. I'm saying that's what he would say. Mm, so are you going to say he can say Marie or not? How, how old is Bigfoot? I'm going to say Bigfoot's in his 30s, isn't he? Older. Maybe a little older. Maybe 40. Uh, all right, yeah. I'll go with, I'll yeah. go with 43 Marie. 43 I am. I don't think he can do this. I don't think so either. Yeah, I'll go with Marie. Okay. Clyde? Donnie, Donnie and Clyde. And Clyde. <laughs> oh, didn't, Donnie and Clyde. didn't see that coming. You know, remember Bonnie and Clyde? Yeah, he just misheard Donnie. There were, there were two apparently. criminals named Bonnie uh, and Clyde. That didn't count because he didn't understand it. Well, he understood Look, it. Look, it's what he said. No, that counts. I don't think uh, we should be giving this guy the obvious answer. Right, I'm not going to because let's see if he knows. <laughs> All right, here's your next one. Let's see if you know this one, sir. All right. Comedians, Abbott and... Ah, uh, yeah, Costello. All right. Bigfoot's not going to say this, is he? I say there's no chance. He but... might like the show. I don't think he's going to say it. Yeah, he might surprise you. What do you say, sir? I'll say he knows Costello. Okay. Abbott in... What What those other actors are... Mo and Curly. <laughs> Abbott, Mo and Curly. <laughs> Abbott, Mo and Curly. <laughs> uh, oh Kill me God. with this guy. <laughs> well, you've got two wrong and one right. You would need to get the next two right in order to win the five hundred dollars on the table. Uh, all right. All right here that we go. was funny. Abbott and Mo and Curly. <laughs> what a douchebag. <laughs> TV show Cagney and. Oh, he likes to watch television. He does. Yeah, he watches it all the time. I think. All right. Uh, what do you know? Do you know the answer, sir? I would say Lacey, but I'm going to say he doesn't know Lacey. Okay. Here we go. Lacey. He got See, it. I think he watches television. Well, it's, uh, it's an impossibility for you to win, so I've got to. Ah, uh, come on, give me one more. Right. For the record, I'd love to see a movie with Abbott, Moe, and Curly. <laughs> I think he's onto something. Come on, give me that would have been great. Yeah. Abbott, Moe, and Curly meet the Invisible Man. It's yeah. a shame Bigfoot wasn't around to pair them up. All right. He's let's... the only one who thought of it. Ah, well, come on, give me another chance. I'll right, tell you what I'm going to do for you. I see you're a nice guy, but you see, people do this. I want to have a real game yeah, where people lose. Yeah, it's not a lose. contest if we keep waiting till you win. Yeah. See, I wasn't sure how you, you know, at first you were giving me the answer. Then it was, I was supposed to guess what he was going to You were confused as well. Yeah. Did. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll He's play like you, Paris Hill. I'm going to play you three more. Hey, Rob, and he's I'm not a celebrity <laughs> card. I'm going to play you three more. And you got to get two of them. you got to get two of them right. Gotcha. All right, that's fair. Done deal. All right, done deal, pal. Singers, Simon and... 
Wiesenthal. Oh, come on. Simon and I bet he said, do you know the answer, sir? I would say Garfunkel. That's right. I thought he was going to say Carbuncle. Right. <laughs> ah. I'll accept Garfunkel or Carbuncle. Simon Gar does Bigfoot like music? I don't know. I don't think he could possibly think know this. What do you say, sir? Um, I would say he does know it. You sure? Wow. Uh, how old is he, 40? Uh, i I got to tell you something. I'm going to help you here. I can't imagine he knows this. How are you helping him? But I don't want to. Well, I mean, I'm giving him my expert opinion. I bet he says Schuster. I don't even think he can come up with that. He couldn't even do Abbott and Costello. That's what I'm saying. You're you're going with he can he do can Simon do and Garfunkel. Right. Even, could he, maybe he'll say Simon, Paul, and Randy. He did Cagney and Lazy. That's more obscure than That's true. You know, I'm not going to say anything, sir. Go you know with your he's going to say Paul and Mary. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, what? I don't want to mislead you, so I don't really know. Go ahead. What is your answer? I I say he will not know. He will not know. Okay, here we go. Garfunkel. Oh! Now, real I told you not to listen to me. Give me two more. Oh, man. No, you got that one wrong, so you, you do get you gotta, two more. You got to get these two uh, right. Dude, and that's it, and then you don't get the money. Uh, don't listen to me. Uh, you got to be your own man in this thing. By the way, Bigfoot is 50 years old. Oh, wow, I didn't know Is that. he really? Yep. Okay. Singers, Sonny and... I'm not saying what I think. I do think that he would might know this, but Corleone. Uh, I think he does know it, but yeah. But I'm not. Don't thank me or hate me. I don't know the answer, but I'm telling you, I think. Yeah, he I, know he's got to know this though, yeah. doesn't he? Now, uh, what is it? Singer Sonny and Cher, right? Right. Um, I'll say he does know it. All right, here we go. You got to get this one right. I hear you. Cloudy. Oh, You're done, dude. Oh, That's what I said. Shit, I should have bet he would have said oh, cloudy. Oh, gee. Who'd have won the muddle That's Sunny, not bad. Sunny and, and cloudy. cloudy. So funny. Come <laughs> on. I would have bet the farm that he knew that one. I'm oh. playing with a retard. <laughs> Duh. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's what makes the game so sweet. Oh, come on, Howard. Well, come on, Howard. You blew it. Would you want us to ask a person of normal intelligence these questions and you try to match? <laughs> well, it'll be a little bit easier. All right, I'll tell you me. what. I'm going to give you one mega try. Okay. This is for everything? This is for the whole mother load. you got to get this one right. If you don't, you got to say, Howard, I don't want the money. I'm hanging up. No, here's the deal ahead of time. You hang up the phone so you don't guilt me. Uh -huh. I don't want to hear you whining. I don't want to hear you being a bitch. All right. All right. I'm going to give you one mega shot. I'm, I mean, I couldn't do more for you. I hear you. But then you have to hang up immediately. Uh, if you, lose. you lose. Is that a deal? Uh, yeah, I guess I don't have a choice. If you win, stay on the line and win your money. Okay. You, you agree to the terms? Yes. You're going to hang up? If I lose, yeah. Okay. All right, fair enough. I'll hold you to your word. Hey, can I ask Artie something? Quickly. Uh, eight and a half. Where are you at over under on your snacks today? I don't understand. What do you mean eight and a half? Uh, how many snacks already he's had? He's it's over, over, obviously. He's already eaten over eight and a half snacks. All right. Probably. What have you eaten already this one? How many Hawaiian punches have you had? Well, if we're going to count that as a snack. Yeah. I mean, it's tons of sugar and calories. I mean, the guy weighs now 303 pounds. He's over the 300 mark. You don't get that size without the, without missing a snack. 299 with the without the pants. Bullshit. Those pants don't weigh that no. much. No. You weigh 303. Were they, were they lead pants already? <laughs> what is the next goal before you start thinking about a diet? 325? I don't know. You're... You don't know where the mark is yet, huh? Yeah, but for some reason I'm very casual about it. I, I know. You're know. not even alarmed that you weigh 303. I wish I was alarmed. You know, I'll, I'll get know. alarmed at another yeah, point. Yeah, because we thought three was the number. At what you point know? do you think now you'll get alarmed? I don't know if I have any more alarm than me. I mean, 300 once seemed impossible. You said to me, I will never, you know, if I hit Did 300. Did you eat your alarm clock? You said to me, if I ever hit 300, I believe that this would send me into a panic. Now you've hit over 300. And I'm not panicking. 300, <laughs> what, does 400 seem impossible to you? Yes, it seems impossible. Let's not even. <laughs> Artie, please. But I never thought anybody would beat Hank Aaron's record either. <laughs> so you're not alarmed. In other words, you're not going to slow down or change your diet habits. Right at 303. I don't have any immediate plans. To do right. It, no. How many snacks have you had? You had cookies just now. You had how many Hawaiian punches? Pancakes, cookies. 
Yeah, do we already had your pancakes? There's a whole breakfast out there. Oh, you you having more pancakes? Everybody, no, I didn't. I have no. One what did pancake. you start today with? No, no, no. Have you had pancakes yet this morning? Yes. I know you having more pancakes. Not right now, no. What's out there waiting for you? Well, they I guess because of the uh, the uh, last day of the contest, they brought up a huge breakfast. So you, it's the fact that you've already had pancakes doesn't mean a thing. You will now have an, an additional breakfast. Maybe, yeah, sure. Yeah. You didn't bring in your usual bagel today? No, I had the bagel. I uh, see. He's not talking. I told you he's overweight. He's had pancakes and bagel. Bagel, so, pancakes is two. Because he didn't get enough carbs. <laughs> so where well, we had one bagel. bagel. Wait, how many bagels have you had? One. Okay. How many pancakes? One. Okay. How many? Three Hawaiian punches. Three Hawaiian punches. I'm going to count that each as a snack. No, no, no. One Hawaiian punch. One Hawaiian punch, that's three. You had cookies, and cookies four. Two. And what else? That's it. You didn't eat anything on the way over? No. I don't have time. I was late. Now I just have a bagel waiting for me, and I'm like an executive. All right, that'll be five. You have another bagel we'll get. No. No, 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 no. That's oh. his early oh, morning bagel. Early. And what's going to be the breakfast, do you think? I had breakfast. No, you're right? having another one, you said. No, I didn't. I said maybe. Oh, you know you are. What it else depends. is out there that I you can't, were thinking of? First of all, of? the problem is I have to shoot Rescue Me today till 9 o'clock tonight. Oh, so wait a I'm going to be like fucking, I'm going to be eating. I'm gonna, and the problem is that craft service is good. I'm going to be grazing all day. Are you a series regular now? Uh, they hired me for seven episodes. Wow. wow. Yeah. Way to go, one, Art. And you shoot one day a week or, or more? It depends. I Last week uh, I shot two episodes in two days. This week, uh, it's going to be just one day, and then next week, too. It's, it's varying. When will your character appear on Rescue Me? I'm going to have to start when watching the that show. show. Start? It starts June 12th. I come in like the third week, maybe. I'll let you know. Okay. I'll let you know. Did you see yourself in the paper in the real estate section this week? No. What did it say? The home section? Oh, no kidding. You're kidding me. What yeah, did it say? Yeah, they were just talking about, you know, stars who live in Hoboken. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that right? People, yeah. Realtors yap more than anybody. <laughs> no kidding. I thought, I thought you meant because Ari's as big as a house. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. What, um, what, no, uh, but they practically gave your address. I brought it in. I'll show it to you. In what paper? It was, I think the daily news i was surprised i wasn't in the real estate section it's really weird i have a you know, friend now i know how you feel man uh, doesn't you feel invaded it's aggravating i have a friend who called me up he says you got to come over and see this place it's bob guccione's old mansion uh-huh it's for sale it's 59 oh, that townhouse yeah, listen to this oh it's gorgeous gorgeous fit but you need you, it's they're asking 59 million bucks <laughs> wow so yeah, i mean man, i could not have? i could not afford uh, uh, that that townhouse get out of here howard I couldn't. you oh, make shit. that's a half your no. yearly salary by no, the way but you know that's what? not what i make you and, know what? And that's I, what I, 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 I guess you didn't see it. yourself in page six either they, 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 they said that i made more money than oprah they still not made fucking 304 true. million in fact last week i didn't even bring this up they had a list of the highest paid people in show business and you were like number three on the That's list. That's what that was with quoting. With Steven article, Spielberg yeah. I know. and other people. But meanwhile, I am telling you right now. <laughs> so, so, so people read no, this. I shit. believe you people because read, I've been a victim I know. of it now too. Well, Full pe- shit. Well, people read this in the paper. So right. the guy calls me up because you got to come over and see this thing. I got to tell you, it was, I mean, some rich guy's going to buy this. And have, I mean, it's wait, so a guy on. read the it's article a, and called you? No, no, no. He's a friend of mine. But but it's <laughs> twenty thousand square feet. With an indoor pool, wow. gardens, the whole deal. In Manhattan. In but Manhattan? Probably, yeah, in Manhattan. That's and you'd great. probably need about another $10 million in fix-ups. I'm sure. It's yeah. a little run down? Uh, well, yeah, you got to put a roof, this and that, the other thing. Taxes, so, what are the taxes on that motherfucker? But I, I, I was over there looking, I said, I bet you I'll be in the paper like I'm buying the fucking thing or something. <laughs> and because they are? always have, no, uh, I couldn't buy that. No, but I'm saying, were you in it the paper? It didn't make by? the paper yet, but no. it will, I'm sure. Yeah. So, I, so I said, well, if I go over and look at it, they're going to think that I'm like, you're I, in the market. I'm going to spend Ending spree. Yeah. Uh, it was pretty wild. You know, right next to me, they built a... I want to read that article because there's all sorts of rumors going on. The construction workers are talking to me. But they just built a gorgeous new uh, complex right next to me where the Maxwell House uh-huh. uh, thing used to be. And I'm hearing a couple of... List names are moving. Well, they there. said um, no, Eli Hoboken? Manning lives over there. Well, yeah, he, he's on the Giants. He can't be a list. Uh, <laughs> so in Hoboken. In Hoboken. Wow. I heard uh, again. This is just a rumor, but the construction guys swear that Reese Witherspoon bought a place there in Hoboken. And yeah, right next door to me, literally. And uh, a Rod. I hope you got binoculars. I'd love to see her naked. Oh, dude, believe me, I got a terrace. Like a binocular. And now she's dating. You'll see her banging. She's fucking. I'd be beating <laughs> off. Her. Hopefully, she's dating women. That'll be more fun. There is nothing. 
nothing more exciting than like, like like in my apartment. Sometimes if you use the binoculars, sometimes if you look at, you can see like a naked chick maybe walking by. Yeah. You know, but hardly, and it's just so erotic. It is. It's it amazing is. to me how people in Manhattan forget there's a building right across the way as tall as theirs. <laughs> yeah. They do forget. I feel bad. Is that fucked up mention that she's there? I guess. No. Well, you're worse than this real estate page because they didn't mention her. <laughs> All right, you ready? Here we go. This is All your right. one mega match. Mega match. And you and you remember the deal. You have to hang up. Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Thieves, Butch Cassidy, and. <laughs> uh, come do you know on. the answer to this one, sir? I would say Sundance Kid, but okay. I don't know about him. Well, why are you give me all? Come on, it's a game. What did he say to Butch Cassidy? I mean, he's come up with the wildest pairing, Sunny uh, and Cloudy. <laughs> and the Partridge family. But yet he knows something. <laughs> yeah, that Cagney and Lacey thing was like a monkey wrench. That fucked everything yeah, up. Yeah, that blew everything up. All right, Butch uh, Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, does he know it or not? Uh, oh, shit. Uh, he said Cassidy? He said Butch Cassidy, right? Butch, Butch Cassidy, he did say that, yeah. All right, um, oh, shit. Like it's gonna, uh, Dude, it's $500. You must be real desperate. Well, you don't know. I mean, I, I hear you. You're breathing heavy. I mean, you're you ready to have a cut. Well, I want to get that lovely bear for my mom for Mother's Day, too. You know what I mean? I think Obviously, you're, trying, you're not going for the I heard $59 million. I think dollars you were trying to buy, yeah, I think you were trying to buy Bob Guccione's house. Yeah, do you need the 500 this bear? <laughs> Come on, here we go. Um, all right, I say he does know it. You say he knows it. Yeah, uh, damn, now you got me thinking the other way. Uh, I didn't say anything. Look, I'm... you got to make up your own mind here. All right, I'll say he knows Sundance Kid. All right, here we go, Robin. $500. And the Bears from Vermont Teddy Bear. You're looking for Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid? <laughs> Answer is? Sundance fun da Dance Kid. Yeah. Wow! You did it. I would have right. I would bet the farm he would have no, known I that. No, I thought maybe he was a big fan of that movie. You know what? It's on all the time. Yeah. You know, it was just on this weekend, as a matter of fact. Right. I... So, Brian, here's the deal. You've won 500 cash from Vermont Teddy Bear. Thank you, Al. You know, 1-800-829-BEAR and VermontTeddyBear.com, and you can choose one of the following bears, Barefoot and Pregnant, Mom Kicks Ass, and Angel Bear, okay? Okay. I right, hold the line. We're going to get your info. Thanks again, Howard. There you go, brother. You see? He only I still needed... can't get over sunny and cloudy. That was ah. the best. He only needed 75 <laughs> tries, and he got it. Yeah, really. Ooh, we bent the rules there. <laughs> Hello, is Mark there? Yeah, it couldn't be. What do you need now? Mark, it's Richard from Howard Stern. How you doing, buddy? Uh, hey, uh... You people don't even realize what I'm doing, do you? I've discovered something so big, bigger in fucking life itself. Really? What did you discover? I've discovered where I'm being a scrimmonized housing. I mean, I can't even get my car worked on properly. It is. You got to slip in and everything else. Nobody cares anymore. I'm not taking my pills anymore. I'm getting beef jerky. It is. Supposedly, uh, with my face on it, I don't see none of that. And you stop. You want stuff out of me. Well, I mean, I'm being a scrimmonized housing up here. Do you even care about that? I do. I care about you, Bigfoot. From house to house, I got fucking judges that think you don't know me. I got cops lying on fucking uh, telling their fucking uh, proofs, and you don't even know what the proof it is, and I know more of the proofs than they do. Well, why, why would people hate you? Because I know too much. I figured out the crooked system right down to their judges, to their cops, their probation officers, and the fucking FSU people have more fucking civil rights than the fucking homeless do. You know that, too? Well, no, I didn't know that. Yeah, I do. Well, now, do you understand what I'm saying? I do, and I feel bad for you. You don't realize what you're dealing with, do you? I'm the one that goes around and investigates things, other things that can't be done. And I do it by myself, every day, by watching your crooked public, how he acts, what he do. Uh-huh. Do you realize what I'm saying? I do realize what you're saying, absolutely. Right? Right or wrong? Yeah. Wow. wow. That's no, that's my fa I made I actually made Richard give me that call on CD. Did you? <laughs> I love it. I want to play it at like tailgate parties for a giant game. <laughs> Do you love this one? And 
we're back with the Jack and Rod Show. I'm Jack Mayhoffer with my partner, Rod Stivington. And today is Powerful Political Monday. And we have a special guest, Alex Stewart, author of Moral Health, Why Lobbyists Are Running Congress and What We Can Do About It. Hey, you want to tell us a little bit about your book? I'm sure glad you brought this up. You've got to have a little background on this because... This is a little complicated. Actually, we have a special guest in the studio today that I'd like to introduce now. That's right. He's, he's Professor of Political Sciences, Brutus Kennedy Rutherford III. Hey, this is me, Brutus. Let's be very specific about this. Congress knows that how the old system works. And they don't want to go back to it. Hey, what what you want to do about the system it is? Well, we have to pass H.R. 235, which would restore the old system. Well, well, I have a cure of how to cure the deficit. It is, if anybody takes the time to listen to me, it is, because the people used to run moonshine unlegally, it is. <laughs> you can run the other stuff, it is. The same way it used to run the moonshine in this. Right or wrong? I didn't quite understand exactly what your point was. Would you mind bringing it by, Glenn? So messed up in the fucking head, that he don't know their What's fucking that? ass from their fucking nose. But what, what are you talking about? Lobby this, or whatever you're talking about. <laughs> it is like standards, it is. Not knowing which way to go about the fucking or anything like that. You lost me. <laughs> Excuse me. Is the moderator still around? To talk to a host there? I am right here. You talking to him? Oh. Well, I'm t that's, that's one point. Now there's there's several other points that I think are points apparently... about what. Well, I was trying to explain it. Are you can explain it to me all day, and you'll be all day explaining it to me. <laughs> I'm trying Apparently. to explain something to you, and you, you just, we just don't seem to fucking get nowhere. <laughs> well, we're not, we're not making much progress here, are we? The problem with Congress is they don't even know nothing about their own fucking uh, Sanders there at this. <laughs> well, I'm really not tracking you. Uh, you would only listen five minutes, and you would have the problem cured. Yeah, th this is kind of ridiculous. Talk about the Democrats. How much longer are we supposed to be on the air? Legalize marijuana. <laughs> We're not communicating effectively, and so I'm going to sign off. I'm hanging up. Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> wow. He chases everyone away. He's like a monster. Too much. Um, I, I wonder, could we match any of these? Maybe we'll make a little money here. Cartoon, Beavis and... He knows this. He knows it. Yeah, he yeah, knows I'm, it. He's yeah, a big cartoon one. fan. He must have watched a lot of Beavis and yeah. Butthead. He could have been the voice of Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> Beavis and... Uh oh. Butthead? Oh, he did. Butthead. It. It's close enough. <laughs> Bitehead. <laughs> Bitehead. Bite head it is. Bite head is. That's a pretty good impression, Fred. But well, you got to hold a pen in your mouth. You got bite head is. Oh, you need an appliance. For oh, you can't do that on your own. Oh, bite head is. Well, kind of. Ice cream, Ben and. Ooh, Ben and. I say no. I bet he knows every ice cream combination. Oh, that's Vermont too. Those guys are from. That's true. Field, he is. Yeah, he knows it. Yeah. Yeah, he's all into Vermont. Jerry's. Yeah. Thing. He just throws that one on. He was insulted by that question. Yeah. yeah. Don't don't make me feel like an idiot. Oh, come on. From Sesame Street, Ernie and I wouldn't even know that's that. Not that's fair. Bert. Bert, Bert and, and Bert Ernie, and. not Ernie not and Ernie Bert. And yeah, but he can't give them the. So I think he uh, no, but he's saying the you know it always is Bert and Ernie, not Ernie right, and not Bert. Ernie. But he probably watches Sesame Street. I doubt if he knows this one. Because of the way it's worded. Yeah. Right. I bet he says Grover. Mo. Mo. <laughs> it's always the three Stooges. When in doubt, go to the Stooges. <laughs> Ernie and Mo. He's Ernie. another one of those Stooges. Comedians. Cheech and. Hmm. I say he, he knows loves it. marijuana. He knows that. Happy smoke. Gotta know it. He knows it, right? Yeah. Has to. You think, Art? Yes. Chong. Yeah. 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 
But he knows some shit, that guy. He's not a total idiot. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my teachers used to say about me. He'd say, my parents come in for parent teacher. He's not a total idiot. <laughs> I swear. But what can he do with what My he father would go like, the teacher says you're a moron. Oh. <laughs> ice cream. Baskin and. Mm, he's going to know the other ice cream? Jerry's. Line? Baskin and Jerry. <laughs> Let me put the pen in my mouth. Goo. <laughs> and elf. I don't know. Baskin <laughs> Robbins. It's not even an ant. No. It's not. He's not going to know that. Baskin and Robbins. No, it is. Oh, it is? Baskin and Robbins. Yeah, it, it is, is an ant. Yeah. Okay. Baskin Robbins. I don't know. Maybe I, I'm wrong. I think it's it hyphenated. is Baskin Robbins. Yeah. I think it's hyphenated. It's Baskin Robbins. It's Sal's an idiot. <laughs> yeah, it's not Baskin. Did he, did he write Baskin Robbins? Yeah. He wrote Baskin and. <laughs> He's the retard. <laughs> Let's see. Weeping. I, I didn't say that. Baskin and weaving. He's Baskin, saying basket weaving. Baskin and weaving. <laughs> The Odd Couple, Felix and... No way. Yes, because maybe Robin's TV theory. I'll bet you a hundred bucks he doesn't know that. Mm, I don't know if I'm that confident. Twenty? Want to go with twenty? Again, he's saying the wrong name first. Right. Good. That's even more reason So it's going to be Felix and Curly. Yeah. And the cat. Felix oh, Felix the Oscar. cat. Go right, twenty with me? I'll bet twenty that you know. All right. Well, you think he's going to know Oscar? Yeah, no yeah. way. Make it interesting. Mo? See, I told you, the three stooges, every time you say the how name, could they, in the wrong how, could, how could Mo always be That's the answer? That's my default <laughs> answer. Here, Give get, me my 20. Get that Gucci on the counter. <laughs> I'm buying a townhouse. That 20, put him over. Comedians, Laurel and... Oh, does, he's got to know that. He knows right? that. Hardy, he knows it. Yeah, I think he knows it. Too. Mm. Hardy. Yeah. yeah. Singers, Hall and hmm. Johnson. I say he, he doesn't. Know Sonny and Cher. No way. Hall and. He'll say Hall and our studio. He'll Hall go Hall and, and Door. I, I got 20. I mean, I'm playing with the house's money. What do you so. think? What do you think he, he. I say he doesn't know it. <laughs> I don't think he knows it either. Oats it is. Yeah, Oats they're not a TV no. couple. <laughs> um, Pink Floyd. <laughs> I love these associations of his. Television show, Laverne and... Oh, he'll know this, sure. Hands down, he knows it. Has, yeah. to, know it. Has to know it. Surely. Yeah. TV show, Regis and... Now, mm. what is the right answer? Kelly. Is it Kelly or Mo. Kathy well, Lee? We should take either one. Okay. Mo. I say he doesn't know either of them. <laughs> <laughs> I say he does. Really? See, I don't think he does. Not that... I don't either. I got $20 of Artie's money. It's too bright... Of a day. Yeah. It's too bright of a subject. Too early in the morning. <laughs> 20 bucks right here. Ah, uh, Artie's got me I got Artie's doubting 20. myself. I'm going to say he knows it. I say he doesn't. All you right. got a bet. All right. 20 bucks. We just then. Uh, I don't know what Come to on. say. Come on. I believe you owe me $20. Yes, Kelly, oh. you idiot. <laughs> Kelly. Want my 20. <laughs> when he starts. There's two left. Two left. When you start really thinking about it, you know you're fucked. Right. What you gonna think of? <laughs> Animated movie, Lady and Lady and what? The Tramp. Oh, oh I didn't even know that. The <laughs> way he knows it. Good diver, it is. He doesn't know it. I didn't know it. Again, maybe he like... loves cartoons. No, I don't care. Gonna, I, not, I'll give you guys both a chance to win back your money. He's not gonna know that. Artie twenty, Robin twenty. Yeah. I'm playing with the house's money. I can't risk that. No, I can't do this one. I mean, yeah, I just right. I have no passion Here we about go. either way right now. The Prince. Yeah. Uh, and the Prince. Good. I'm glad I sh kept my mouth shut. Are you your last chance to win back your money? Opposites. Ying and... Oh, forget it. No way. No Aren't way to make any back? money back here. I say he doesn't know Yang. He doesn't know Yang? All right. <laughs> I'm in. 20 bucks. Here we go. Yang. <gasps> Here's your 20. Oh, my goodness. I could have made back my money. Smart man. Are you still up 20? Why'd you guys think it was so impossible to know that? That's kind of like, maybe you might hear that all over the place. I only think they say that on Regis, so since he doesn't know <laughs> Kelly. What are the odds you'll bet on, uh, bet me in this one, the odds on whether he pisses on Sal's face. <laughs> oh. Holds him down. <laughs> uh, I also see a clip from the Bigfoot suicide. Was that Lisa G's interview? Yes, must be. Yep. 
After being rushed to the hospital last night and getting his stomach pumped, Bigfoot got discharged this afternoon. I spoke to him right after his doctor said he could go home. I'm a little off balance it is when I stand up it is, and he had a tube down my throat it is, where I felt like I weren't breathing it is, and the machine was breathing for me. How you feeling now, Bigfoot? How am I doing now it is? I'm, uh... I'm doing fairly well. I got people willing to me to stay at their places now. It is, and now he's willing to get uh, me an apartment here, and I'm willing to. I took 153 pills. Why'd you try to hurt yourself? Because nobody would help me. I went to the homeless shelter. I went to uh, uh, the police station. Nobody wanted to do me any, any, anything for me. Bigfoot hit bottom. One of the reasons, he claims his manager wasn't paying him. So your manager owes you money? He turned around and charged me for some of the trips going down there and back. I was paying for some of, it, some of the time. I fired him, I did. And a woman he was dating was making him nuts. Right, you can't let a woman make you kill yourself. Yeah, I know. And say, you women, it is, you want to be the way you are, jump from one man to another. And it's, oh, Melanie, it is and everything. She finally admitted she was a whore. That's what I got to start overlooking at, it is. Bigfoot seemed to overlook one big thing. The Bigfoot love. Stern fans love you. Yeah, I don't see them up here. Yet. I got people yelling out up here. Yet. You rot, Bigfoot. You are rat and everything else. What about the fans that are here that <laughs> really care about you? tragedy. He, he walks around and, and people are yelling at you, rotten Bigfoot. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what are you talking about? That sounds crazy. You can't laugh at his no, I mean, that sounds insane. Like it sounds that. again like Frankenstein's monster. Oh. You rotten Bigfoot. Thing is, the guy's just trying killed. to live his life. They're yelling out and rotten you're Bigfoot. laughing. I never heard any of the townspeople sound terrible. I have to admit, I drove up there this weekend and got drunk and started yelling out, you're rotten Bigfoot at them. <laughs> you, what do you want to say to them, the ones that really what love I you? What I want to say to them, I'm going to promise now I'm not going to do that anymore. Yeah. So we've got a promise from Bigfoot. His caretaker, Carl, is his new manager. And come Monday, he'll be looking for his own appointment. For Howard Went Under News, I'm Lisa G. Nice. Where'd he get all the pills? You know, I mean, those things. Well, he yeah. takes a bunch of medication. He just uh, took them all. Well, Matt, well if, if he takes antidepressants, maybe, shouldn't he just be really happy at that point? Not when you can't <laughs> find a place to live. I guess that breaks right through the medication. You're making a new film where you're looking for someone you want to blow. Mm -hmm. I have three guys standing behind a curtain. Each one is going to stick his penis oh, out. Oh, my goodness. I I'm just a... realized the holes in the curtain. Yeah. yeah. There are holes in the curtain. Now, what is it you're looking for today in our game called Pick a Penis, Tabitha? <laughs> Tell everyone. Okay. Well, this is like a glory hole scenario because, you know, in the movie that I, I'm putting together, I don't want to see them. I just want them to come through and just get them done and just leave it sloppy, crazy. You know? Now, you're saying that whoever you pick today... There are three gentlemen standing behind a curtain. When they put oh, their penis, there's oh, one in. Don't, guys, don't put, don't <laughs> put them through yet. There. Don't put them through yet. Oh, don't put them through yet. When um, when they put their penises through, yes. you will look at each penis. Mm -hmm. Will you will you touch it? If I'm allowed to touch it, yeah. Uh, okay. You well, um, what is she allowed to do? That's yeah, I need to know the rules. I don't know the rules myself. <laughs> That's you game. Well, well, take a look. you want? We, uh, take a look at them. Okay. And uh, don't get into blowing and all that. Say that. Oh no 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 that's. The movie, okay, right. you're going to look at all three penises, and you're going to choose one of these gentlemen to be in your film, yes. and, and they will get what a, a free blowjob on your film. Yes. Oh, isn't that exciting? It is exciting. That is. I've seen you do that on your website. I'm pretty good. And you're very good at it. Thank you. You're tremendous at it. Oh, thank you. Look at that. Robin, you got to see it. It's real good. Tab <laughs> TabithaStevens.com, by the way, and I, I, I recommend it. I think now. Um, so what do you want to do? Do you want to stand over there now? Look, if you want, uh, yeah. I'm going to have each gentleman, number one, put your penis through first. There's okay. a big wall, there's a curtain, and a hole. And here comes number one's Where's wiener. Where's number one? <laughs> number one's wiener is coming through now. It's barely able to poke through. It doesn't look like it's super large. Tabitha, keep a microphone on yourself so we can hear what you have to say. Number one is trying to get present. <laughs> one second. Number two, wait until we call for you, please. Number two is raring to go. But All right, Tabitha, no number one is trying to put it through. Let him put it through. Help it. No, just, just let, let him do his own thing, Tabitha. It's really little. Oh, All right. is that the problem? All right, number one has put his through. Wait, does he have testicles? Of course he does. I don't wait. know. 
Yeah, they're there. Okay. All right, so there it is, Tabitha. That's number one, okay? Okay. Wow. Number it's two. waving hello to me. It's waving hello. Number two, put yours through. There is number two. Wow. That is his penis. <laughs> That's, That's number nice. one, waving hello. How many inches is number two, would you say, Tabitha? Number two? Mm-hmm. Um, well, it's unerect. I'd say almost about eight. That's unerect? Boy, that's what mine looks That's like. That's completely erect. It looks like he's, he's aroused. And uh, <laughs> is he semi-aroused, Tabitha? Um, I'll tell you in a second. Oh, yeah, he's, yeah, it's getting a little yeah. more. Yeah. All right. Number. All right. Wow, boy. <laughs> and number uh, number one, God, I'm in major, bro. Number this. one, Tabitha, back up for a second so we see number one again. He's, he barely gets through the hole. <laughs> I, I see a thumb. There's a thumb. <laughs> That's his. Oh no, that's my his, God. Okay, and then number number three, uh, put yours through. No! Number three, three barely makes it through himself. Oh, what oh, kind of penis is that? Tabitha, what do you see there? I don't know. Does it look strange? Yes. There, wh- it's and, like okay, like all right. If we go to the head of the penis on number two, you know, yeah. it's fully out. there. It's kind of looks like oh. it's stuck to the rest of the. You see what I'm saying? It's like wait, I'm gonna have to separate. Does it separate? It, it doesn't. Oh, Whoa. Oh. It's a strange penis? I don't know. It's nice right. and now, powdered. Tabitha, one of these penises gets to be in your film. The other two do not. Okay. You gonna, now, now, number three would be a novelty, I imagine, if to have a penis like that in your film. Number two seems to have the biggest one. And number one uh, has a uh, very, very small little button of a penis. Yeah. Now, which guy are you going to choose? And tell us why. Give us your analysis if you share with us. Okay, I'm going to have to go mm-hmm. with number two. Why? Because of the size and because of my work. You know, I need to use my hands and I want to go down and get it all crazy and all the saliva everywhere. I want so large really is really the answer. Not, large isn't always the answer. Well, number two is the only one who has a penis. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have and any I can other see that. All right, before you meet the man you got, I'm going to introduce you to number one, the guy with the tiny penis that barely made it through the hole. Number okay. one, come on out. Let's hope you use a microphone on you. Number okay. one. Come on out and say hello. Here he comes. And look who it is. It's oh, an old friend. Oh, high pitch. Oh. High pitch. Hi, I didn't high pitch. Know your wee-wee was like that. High pitch, say hello. Uh, oh, hi. How high are pitch, you? High pitch. Oh, what happened there? You hardly had a penis. Well, he can't get it cock. past his stomach. Aww. What happened? You couldn't even get it through the hole. I had a small cock. Yeah. What a shame. You could have gotten uh, on film with Tabitha. You could have been in a porno. You could have received uh, uh, oral sex. I know. And you missed out. Do you but feel bad? But look at what that yes, little thing was fighting. It was trying oh. to get. He was trying to get his stomach out of the way so he could get it forward. Is that what happened? That's crazy. Yeah. Really? It got in the way. I pitch. What yeah. happened with your penis? Oh. My, my belly. It yeah. got in the way. Yeah. No, yeah, that's sad. You have an enormous belly <laughs> and a minuscule dick. Well, I lost some weight from working. Uh, Actually, you did lose weight. Yeah, you do look a little How better. I stop my new job tomorrow. Where you? What? Doing construction again? Construction in Huntington on Alloy oh. Harbor. All very nice. Must Put be... a whole trash and lumber. Yeah, I'm sure the owners are thrilled to see you there. Wow. Move the fuck out of Lloyd Harbor. Feet. You're getting back on your feet. Good. Yes. Tabitha, are you disappointed? Wouldn't it have been an asset to have high pitch in your newest porn? Oh, yeah, because I would have loved to hear him. Oh, get off. Right. <laughs> All right, high pitch, you didn't win. Now, let's meet number three, the other loser who had a very strange penis. Tabitha has seen a million penises and couldn't figure out who it was. Number and could, three. It, yeah, yeah. She'd never seen one like that. Ah, it's Jeff the Vomit Guy. Oh, of course he'd have a strange penis. Jeff, hi. Hi. Jeff, you have a very odd penis, according to Tabitha. Do you know that? It, it does get stuck in there. It doesn't seem to uh, protrude uh, when it's not erect. You're right. Yeah. Uh, Are you disappointed? Oh uh, yeah, I'm. I'm a little disappointed. You would have up. liked to have been in the porn. Yeah, yes, Aww. my my whole life is, seems to be disappointing. Would you like to have a little throw up so <laughs> yes. you can get erect? Yeah, that's that would be one technique of of getting stimulated. When you say your whole life is disappointing, yeah. describe to me what you mean. Well, just coming here on the train today, I was saying to myself, you know, I have a way of putting myself down, saying I'm everything that's wrong with America. Right. I, that's why I just feel like I, I don't get any respect. I'm I feel down, you know. I, I feel like I was given this uh, uh, since birth, this 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 curse. unusual fet- this this uh, fetish of mine, Roman shower. Yeah. That uh, you no, like but, to be vomited on. Yes, by a, by a woman. beautiful woman. Now, uh, yeah. not Tabitha. by men, but by women. You know? Would you have entertained that in your film? Would you have vomited on Jeff? I don't. It's hard for me to vomit. I'm, I can deep throat. I don't know if that. Mm, right. But you would have liked the oral sex, well, I'm sure. Yes. Well, it's kind of a little like Roman spit and saliva is a little like you know. 
puke, I guess, in, uh, in a way. How is your life going because of the vomit thing and just who you are? It's just people don't like you. I just feel like a, 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 low, a misfit. I just feel like a misanthrope. I feel like a, an anomaly. I feel like I'm just, I'm not, made, I'm not unique because I do hear from rumor that uh, there are some other guys out there like me who... But who you've like never who, made actual contact with another person. Uh, right. As Robin said a couple years back, uh, and it, it, it's, her words seem to be true. I never yet found myself uh, an ideal vomit mate, an ideal female who's uh, into uh, not and necessarily Jeff, believing. It had to make you feel bad when Tabitha looked at your penis even and said, <laughs> oh, it's weird. I mean, even that didn't turn out normal. Oh. This poor guy's going to kill himself now. Don't kill yourself, Jeff. Are you thinking? Are you suicidal? <laughs> Uh, I just get the the pre, the pre, you know very uh, depressed because I, I feel the only way I can be able to uh, uh, go you know maybe go to a dominatrix or something and I don't even have any money, any money to, to do that with. You know? Wouldn't it be great if there was a whole planet of people like you and where you were the normal one and everyone else was weird where it was a planet vomit where everyone just vomited on each other? That's uh, bulimia. Yeah. Why doesn't he go out with somebody? The plant, why don't you go to why don't you move to bulimia? Yeah. Well, bulimia really is is, is, is they, they refer like a sickness and illness. I, I would rather meet some uh, some chick who's you know really into uh into the fetish for the point of uh, euphoria like they they because they get off it not so much because they they're sick you know they're sick or want being you want a healthy vomit I would like a healthy vomit or a natural vomit or Jeff, someone who you're just setting your sights too high uh, oh I am so sorry you didn't win today. Jeff you're setting your sights too high in the fact that you want a girl that's actually alive and breathing <laughs> <laughs> Well, Jeff, I'm sorry. You didn't even win the, the oral sex from Tabitha Stevens, who shot at the uh, porno. Uh, it's well, kind Jeff, of have my, you ever... My penis couldn't cut the mustard, I guess. Yeah, might. but have you ever tried just sort of normal things? Does that do anything for you at all? Um, I... Over the years, I'm 50. I'm 50 years old now. Over the years, I've very rarely, uh, um, you know, had an opportunity or been in the right place at the right time to have a social, any type of social horizon oh. where, where I can meet anyone and, and you know, do, All right. do well, anything. You know? I'm sorry. Today was not a winning day for you. Uh, I would be. Mm. I wish I could get some form of consolation prize or something. Jason like wants to do it. Jason will give you a blood job right now. <laughs> no, you I won't. Won't. Uh, again, a misnomer. I'm not into the male aspect of it. I'm just misnomers. Yeah, I know. We don't understand your fetish completely. Again, uh, uh, Roman missing, shower. Uh, I'll tell you what, though. I'll tell you what. Understood. I will give you something. I'm going to make a vow to you. We're going to have you back again at some point. Yeah. At some point. Yeah. And I'm going to find a woman, hopefully, that will vomit on you. Well, Is that okay? That would be that would be gr that would be great. All right. Okay. I'm going to try and help you out with that. That would be all right, nice. Pal? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to look into it. That's all I'm I'm promising. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Maybe could you? Could you spare a little so I can go to a dominatrix and maybe... And, oh, know, my God. I'm not paying for you to go to horse. Get myself uh, <laughs> connected. No, uh, no. Jeff, if you and uh, High Pitch want to have lunch with me mm. today, I can guarantee I'll throw up. Uh, <laughs> your, male, your male thing, I hope it's just not a male thing. that I'm. You know, it's uh, I, I like heterosexual. I keep claiming I... All your offers are from guys. Yeah, it yeah. seems like that's that seems to be the only... what what. What goes on here, Jeff? I'm gonna try and find you someone other than a dominatrix, as yeah. you say. Yeah, that, and, uh, it's just hard for us to believe you can't get a girl to throw up. Uh, well, they they feel it like like maybe I want to get them disgusted. It's just that uh, I seem to feel. Have a Tabitha, view. can you throw up on him at all? Would you be able to? I don't know if I can. I mean, I hardly eat as it is. If you could stand um, over him naked, nothing to throw up. Could, could you stand over him naked and just vomit a little on him? Is there possible? I don't think I can. You don't. You don't have that ability. What if you kiss them? No, but wait. This if you kiss weird. him, won't you vomit? I don't know. No, I, I bet you would. Well, I don't know. In the, in the, in the, in the, in the industry, isn't there ro Roman showers? Doesn't that have you ever? Isn't that doesn't that exist in the in the industry? Haven't you heard like? No, they in, do in like the really nasty hardcore porn. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but they kiss him, like tongue kiss him. I bet no. you. I bet you. Does it make you angry, Jeff? Right. That that no, that none of these women understand your fetish. No, uh, I understand. Everybody has a fetish. I, I totally get it. It's just to me, it's. The smell. Do you like the smell? Yeah, the vomit? smell. Yeah, the is smell. The eroticism. There's a smell. The smell is kind of you know, erotic. Uh, yeah, the, get the sound effects. The yeah, uh, have you ever yeah, achieved a full orgasm just, with a woman uh, uh, vomiting? Well, yeah, yes, like on a one-to-one -one private in a private type of situation, but. Uh, uh, and I guess I'm not exactly a, 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 a male stud porn star who could, you know, cut it, boom, you know, in front of, a, you know, everybody, uh, you know, when why don't you an go, audience. Uh, why don't you go to a chemo uh, clinic and stand outside? They, oh, a lot of women, lot of women do chemo vomiting. vomit. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's a good place for you to hang um, out. But it's not that healthy. Remember, he wants again, oh, it's, again, it's I'm encouraging. Basically, uh, it almost makes me feel like a, a stalker or 
or you know, uh, oh. someone who's encouraging, uh, looking for the wrong uh, thing in the wrong type of place. Uh, Makes you feel like a weirdo. Right? I, ra I rather. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not a weirdo. I, I, I rather just. Right. Uh, Jeff, I'm surprised I'm that sorry. he hasn't found his mate. He's been looking for so long. Jeff, how many hookers have you killed now at this point? Uh, no, uh, no, no one. I, I like really haven't had a good vomit scene in, uh, in, uh, in the longest time. And for my 50th birthday, I was hoping I would be able to come up with some. Which was just last this past July. I was hoping I would be able to go to a, dom a dominatrix, but I just can't get any money. You like to be spit on? Does that um, get you off? Well, you, you, that's a part of a humiliation, like a humiliation scene of seeing saliva come out of a, a girl. Where? You know? do you, on your penis or in your face or where? On, you... on my face, on my stomach. Uh, it's just like being a. Do you want uh, Tabitha to spit on your penis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. On, the, uh, on your face? stomach. Uh, um, I, can't, I couldn't promise any erection, though. You know, I get a little again. It's so it's like. <laughs> So uh, awkward, uh, you want Tabitha sorry, to spit on you? Uh, would you I, like that? I mean, if you like it. Uh, yeah, if you would like, if you would pull like. it out. Okay. Well. All right. My mom better not be on the line. Uh, well, know. spitting it. <laughs> would you like that? Would that be a good reward for you today? Uh, uh, well, that, that, yeah, I guess that that would be uh, uh that would be. Do you like Will he like be able to like or just any kind of spit? Uh, what? What could be like a big thick spit or? Um, a big uh, like a big thick drool. Uh, oh, uh, like God. Kind of, like like sticking out the tongue first and you know, just like. Uh, I'm know. not doing the blowjob uh, here. Uh, like, <laughs> no, there's no blowjob going. Uh, on. Yeah, Jeff, tell us exactly what you want Tabitha to do uh, spitting wise. Um. Well, maybe saving up a lot of saliva for a, a few seconds, a lot of saliva in your mouth, and then just uh, uh, spitting uh, spitting it out on me. Uh, has really nothing to do with uh, puke or you know vomiting. It it's almost seems in a way that I I get a, a thrill out of seeing, and this is all my life, seeing a girl getting you know getting sick and 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 puking. Uh, I just seem to. Why is your penis? Maybe, maybe isn't it dangerous to have to even have spit on your penis? Maybe a, a herpes or something maybe can be transmitted. Or something. Well, maybe your I, chest. How about your well, chest? On my well, on my chest, yeah. You would like that. Yeah. yeah. All right, go ahead. Yeah, I don't sure. have herpes, by the way. No, I know you don't. No, 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 no. You're 100 percent clean. Don't sure you don't. We don't know what anybody has. We, we don't. I'm just saying, why take a chance on a spit? Why would you have herpes? Yeah, right. Artie? I'm fucking around. Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, Jeff, yeah. and again, a chick shitting on you is no good, right? Um, Tabitha, could you shit brown, on him a little brown bit? Show, yeah. Brown showers, I've heard of that. And oh, a lot of guys like are into, uh, seem to be right, into Tabitha's that. Tabitha's going to spit on your belly right now. Here you go. I'm, I've been watching carefully. Oh, That's fun. That's, 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 I brought like, up a good one. You ready? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Now what are you doing there, Jeff? Your and it Jeff, you're rubbing it into your belly. I said, I try to smell if there's a distinctive some type of odor. There is some form of odor to saliva. It is. I had to brush my teeth again. Jeff, what are you doing now? You're rubbing it on your broton belly, yes. and, you're, and you're smelling your fingers. Yes. Oh. I'm, I'm trying to see. You know, there's sometimes there's a some type yeah. of, of uh, odor uh, that. Oh yeah, like your breath. A uh, uh, saliva, saliva type of odor. Do you think maybe it's your belly that smells? Uh, no, <laughs> S saliva usually has a you know has some type of uh, odor to it. Usually saliva is like a a pure like it has really no odor. It's like odorless. Do you think odorless. it's a grotesque film that's covering your body from you? <laughs> All right, why don't, Jeff, why don't we say goodbye to you now and we'll meet the winner. Yeah, of there this, is a winner uh, back there, huh? Thank By you. the way, TabithaStevens.com to order a Jeff the Vomit Guy autograph. You can go to HowardShrine.com. Uh, High Pitch Eric now is a working man. And now let's meet the man whose penis was most attractive to you and who is going to be in your new movie, Tabitha. Okay. Uh, big fun. <laughs> That's right. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. Tabitha, you've won uh, Bigfoot. Bigfoot, how are you? I'm fine. And how how the heck do you have such a big schlong? That is some man. Oh, oh I work man. on it every night. You, you do? Know. Wow. What wow. do you do to it? Oh, just pet it. <laughs> now, Tabitha, I, you're gonna you're gonna put him in your new film? Absolutely. You really are. I'm gonna go shoot it. Right and, now. And, and, and Bigfoot, you'd like to be in this film? Sure, I don't care. And you're going to receive oral sex from Tabitha? I don't film? care. And you're going to be able to blow a load and everything, right? Sure. 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 I'm positive. Okay, I believe you. If you if you say so. Hey, I'm... <laughs> Tabitha, does I've he... been still ruling over your picture. Oh. <laughs> Tabitha, does he turn you off at all? I mean, he is a little bit... Uh... No, but you know what? He's... 
You know what? There's something so gentle about him. Yes, uh, he's a gentle guy. No, it's giant. true. He is. He's such a sweet man. I really like him. Now, Bigfoot, I see you staring at Tabitha's body. I think you like what you see. Of course I like what I see. Yeah, I should look. Tabitha, give him a full view. You turn around a little okay. bit. Let him take a look at what's okay. going on there. Mm -hmm. Look at that, huh? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> well, Tabitha, tell me about this movie and where are people going to see you and Bigfoot carrying on now that he's... I'm uh, going to stream it on the site, on the website. On TabithaStevens.com. TabithaStevens.com. And then I'll, um, I'm putting a bunch of the glory hole scenes together. I see. Tabitha, you're not scared of this, huh? No, I'm excited. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Bigfoot, you are breathing heavily. I think you're Yeah, are very... you going to be okay? Yeah, you're going to... I'll be fine. Don't you're... worry about me. I've... I've... I've had my workouts. All right, and you know the do you, you wear do, do do guys wear condoms in this film or no condoms? As long as they have a test, it's okay. Oh, I see. So, so Bigfoot has to have a test. Bigfoot, are you going to get a test? Whatever she wants me to do. You Can never, he pass the test? You never did well on tests, but this test I think you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, this test I think I'll, I'll do well on. All right, that's nice. Well, Bigfoot, you won. I think yeah. it. What was it about Bigfoot's penis that really got you? It's the overall, he has a really nice looking penis. It's just the head of it is perfect. It's nice and it, it's it's a little big. It's not crazy big, which is nice. But you could just tell that once it's erect, it's going to be a nice. Hey, Howard. Yes. Yes, uh, uh, Gary. Tommy couldn't be more perfect to wrap this segment up as Barbara Walters waits on the phone. And I have not put her on hold because I don't need her to hear this. Yes, you're absolutely right. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, let me congratulate Tabitha Stevens, TabithaStevens.com. And let me, of course, congratulate Bigfoot on his big win today. You are a winner, you see? Yeah. I told you things are turning around for uh, you. Yeah, uh, I uh, see that. You even see though, Thank yeah. you, Howard Stern. Even though you shit right. in, in random parking lots, you're a winner. You are a winner. Today you are a winner. And beautiful Tabitha Stevens. Stevens, I mean, come on. Uh, yeah, Steve. I've been dreaming about her ever right. since that Christmas special. Right, oh. and you don't mind being on a film? And I don't, don't mind being no. on a film. He can right. put me in as many films as he want to. By the way, see Tabitha Stevens and her mom on Dr. 90210 tonight, 10 o'clock on the E! Network, where uh, Tabitha discusses plastic surgery and things like that. And uh, that's very exciting. Congratulations to you, too. Thank you. All right, isn't that lovely? Bigfoot is on the phone. Bigfoot is uh, just won an appearance in Tabitha Stevens' latest video for TabithaStevens.com. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, what's going on right now? Where are you? Ah? Uh, where are you? Oh, I'm fine. No, I said, where are you? Oh, I'm at the motel. Are you with Tabitha now? Yes, I am. Are you filming? Yes, we are. And you're receiving oral right now? Uh, I'm receiving head. <laughs> oh, head. All right. You're receiving it now? Yeah. Right I don't believe now. you. Put the phone near the uh, tab of his mouth so I can hear it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. That's a brave See, he girl. really is there with her. Man. Can you hear I do hear it. Well, I guess he's in this movie. And there are cameras. You're working uh, fully erect in front of cameras. Yes, I am. Are you able to get aroused? Huh? Are you aroused? Of course I am. Yeah. And you'll be able to complete this act. Yeah, as long as you want to keep it up. How long has it been going on? Oh, uh, for the last 10 minutes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Does it feel great? Oh, it feels wonderful. Why are you holding out so long? I mean, I can't imagine I could hold out that long from a tablet. Yeah, I can hold out all day long. Oh, that poor girl. <laughs> <laughs> Let me speak to her for a second. All right. Hello? Has this been going on for 10 minutes? Um, yeah, for a little bit. And is that ridiculously long? Shouldn't he have Aren't finished? Aren't you tired? No, but you know what? We used a, um, a condom because we didn't have a test. Oh. So it's a little bit harder to do it that way. I see. Yes, otherwise, I think I could have done it sooner. <laughs> I'm sure you could have. You're a real yeah. pro. Now don't well, call my mom and play the sport, please. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll keep that off the air. All right, Tabitha, get back to work, and uh, congratulations to you and Bigfoot. Thank you. All right, there it is, Thank Tabitha you. Stevens and Bigfoot in the motel shooting a new movie. That'll Hello, be on. Where? Oh, yes, I am. All right, just checking. All right. <laughs> what do you think of that? I was trying to interview Tabitha while she was actually uh, w with you in her mouth, but uh, we couldn't get that interview. <laughs> and so now she's, oh, jeez, yeah. sucking on the rubber? Ow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he says he could do this all day. I guess he can. You know, uh, you're not allowed to kill her when you're done. <laughs> I know that. I never killed nobody. I know. I'm just making a joke. <laughs> On purpose. Well, Bigfoot, congratulations. Enjoy it. Huh?
Yeah, you want me to come on the phone? Um, she wants you to come at some point, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Finish it off. All right, we'll try to. He doesn't even moan. No, he doesn't seem to be interested at all. How could he have a conversation? Is she tickling under your balls? No. Well, maybe she should. Tell her to. He says tickle underneath my balls. <laughs> tickle underneath my balls. Down there. The charmer. <laughs> what yeah. a way to make a living, Miss Tabitha. Hey, Tabitha. Let me speak to Tabitha. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hello. While I interview you, can you can you do your business with him? I can try. Uh -huh. right. Go ahead. Isn't this horribly depressing for you at some point? <laughs> <laughs> you're in no, a, I think it's more depressing for you. <laughs> I know. I mean, you're in a hotel and you're with Bigfoot and you. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's over. Okay. He's wearing a rubber and. I, it's different. You can't even get him finished. I mean, what's he wearing? Is he naked? No, he has his. Sure. Uh, yeah, it's just hanging out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> God. <laughs> when, you, when you go home, will you just like have tons of mouthwash and just like? Oh yeah. Yeah, I just picture you like in the shower, sitting there, like staring at the wall. How do you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? For like a half a day. Like with her mascara running from yeah. crying. <laughs> and right. Yeah, a razor blade. Position. Why don't you tickle his balls and play with his taint? Maybe then he'll finish. I uh, know. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Is it a turn on at all? Um, it's, no, you know, it's work. It's my work. Yeah. It's my job. No, that is work. Yes. Um, <laughs> can you get him to finish right now? I, mean, I can try, but I have to do my thing, too. Do you want to talk to him? All right, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk to him. Okay, okay. And the poor girl's got to make him finish. Yeah. Hey, Bigfoot. Yeah. Give the girl a break and finish it up, man. Go ahead. I'm trying to with you, dude. Hey, it's suffering a little bit sometimes. You're not gay, are you? I'm not gay. She needs to work a little harder about this. Oh, boy. She's not doing it so good. She's doing it all right. It's just, uh... Wait, uh, maybe you should tell her to take the condom off and just use her hand. What do you think of that idea? Take the condom off and use your hand. Okay. Because <laughs> maybe that'll make it finish. Yeah. You know, just an idea. Let me talk to her. I'll, t I'll give her some ideas. Let me talk to her. Yeah. All right. And don't shoot yeah. your load on her, for God's sakes. Oh, there you go. Oh, that feels good. Uh-oh. Uh, now we're oh. going somewhere. Yeah. Now we're going. Work that. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 Robin's playing with herself. All right. <laughs> Is it going to happen, Bigfoot? Huh? <laughs> Is it going to happen? It's going to happen. All right, go ahead, go ahead. That. Get back to work. Let us hear. Let us hear. 2007, 2008, 2009. <laughs> Father Luke, <laughs> <laughs> your father, where I am. <laughs> the force it is. You are a rebel spy and a traitor. Take her away. <laughs> Come on, Bigfoot. I'm trying to. I bet you the cameras are inhibiting you. She using her hand a lot. Yeah. Rubbing it. I feel like it's going to happen. That's why I'm hanging. Oh. <laughs> Tell her to talk dirty to you. Stubborn. Tell her to talk dirty to you. Let me talk to her. What do you it. need? Big I know what she's got to do. Th th let me talk to her, will you? Uh, you want to talk to Hello? Hey, listen, honey, you got to get this thing wrapped up. Use your, fine. Listen to me. Use your hand and then talk real dirty to him and like tell him how hot he is. I think you'll get confused. And get close lie to, to him. him. Yeah, <laughs> lie to him. Go ahead. Now, give him the phone and, and go ahead. Okay. All right, gotcha. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. go ahead. to him. Maybe I'll talk to him. I was going to say, foot. maybe you should. You are so hot. Oh, who's so hot? You. you. <laughs> Me? Yeah. You're so big and thick. It's about? Bigfoot, I need you. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's not helping. Huh? Wait, there's a girl here who wants to talk to you. Bigfoot, I think you're really hot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I want it in my ass. I don't give it in the ass. I only give it in the cunt. Oh, That's what I have. I'm, I have my vagina. Oh, it feels I good. Do me what? harder. Do me harder in my vagina. Do it. Do it to me so good that I can't even think straight. <laughs> I can't think straight. <laughs> Suck my cock. I mean vagina. <laughs> you don't even know what you're talking when you turn <laughs> Don't make him laugh. Let me talk to Tabitha. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Isaac. I, I think he's. I, I mean, she's really working hard. I, I think he's just not finishing on purpose. <laughs> I, don't know. I, think wants, I think he wants to prolong it. It's gonna go for hours. I mean, think about it. He's in a free room. Yeah. He's using all types of uh, grips I've never seen before. She's got like a continental grip and a, a double handed. I mean, yeah. Crazy. Artie's right. He didn't care about the hand job. He's just happy to be in a warm place. With the home. Food. The homeless con man in his head is like. If I don't go, I stay here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll get lunch. This might be the world's longest hand job. <laughs> I mean, she's doing. Uh, I mean, she's basically killing it. She's doing everything she can, right? Everything. I'm gonna put him back. I'm gonna put him back. All right. Coming equal equals homelessness. <laughs> it's true. He's out on the street once he comes. <laughs> hey, um, Tabitha. Uh, this is not Tabitha. This is Bigfoot. Let me speak to Tabitha. We know. Let me speak to Tabitha. <laughs> this is not okay, Tabitha. Hello? You realize he might it might take him days to come because Thanks a lot. Well once he comes, he knows he's out on the he's street. He's gotta get kicked out. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> All right, well listen, uh let us know tomorrow how long it took, okay? Okay, well so far where do we at? Twenty <laughs> twenty minutes. Good luck. All right, speak to you later. Okay, bye. You picked a winner. You should have gone with high pitch Eric. He would have been done. We want to measure it is. Remember I told you I had nine and a half inches? There it is. <laughs> is it nine and a half inches? Yeah. Uh-huh. Ask Tabitha if you don't believe All right, let me ask Tabitha. Get the tape measure out. All right, let me ask her. Hello? Is it nine and a half inches? Probably about close to nine ish. Wow. I think it's big. Yeah. Wow. It's big. Jesus. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Was I lying? You still there? Dude, what are you doing? I mean, you're going to spend all day with this? <laughs> I told you. I'm, I, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, I got to get out of this. All right. Thanks, Bigfoot. Yeah, no problem. <sighs> Imagine you're in that room, Robin, and that's how you make your living. Uh, Jerking off Bigfoot. Yeah. I can't I can't say that mm. I could get the job done. <laughs> well, I haven't come yet. Looks like we gotta camp out here for tonight. <laughs> do you think if I said to him I'll give you a hundred dollars if you come in thirty seconds he would do it? That's a possibility. <laughs> they might have to bribe him. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um Bigfoot, you're quitting? Uh, Are you tired? I'm not tired of you. Tabitha is. Tabitha is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got to blow your load at some reasonable amount of time. Yeah. Uh, 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 we seem to have uh, too many cameras and too much action in the room here. I see. The 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 uh, the Bigfoot uh, things are squared off. All right. Well, you gave it your best.
Yeah, yeah well, we asked you. We asked you if you were going to be able to perform in front of cameras. No, he thought he could. Yeah, I thought I could. It is, uh, I don't know what happened. All right, Bigfoot. Well, at least you had some fun, and you were in yeah. a warm room. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, for a little while. Bye. Check out the tape of Bigfoot not coming on Tabitha Stevens. Oh, they're going to put it up anyway? I, I would imagine. You know, she puts everything up there. <laughs> I was on there. It's plenty of clips. What? They're... I'm trying to hear Tabitha. Yeah. <laughs> trying to get out of there. <laughs> Can't blame her. <laughs> bon Jovi. So broken hearted. Yeah. Little the, Bigfoot rocks. The broken hearted. Naked hearted. Naked hearted. It would be really cool if we just stripped out the music and just played the Bigfoot game where you try to guess what he's singing. <laughs>